Hello, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, first and foremost, we are super excited that we actually have in the flesh here with us tonight the wonderful Ashley Johnson. So glad. We missed you so I much. I missed you. <clears throat> Everybody. You are not allowed. Yeah, we're just going to put her in a locked we room. Okay. Get out of this room. I'd be okay with it. You eat your rice and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> rice so, is too good for that. I'm glad you could join us here for this. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so uh, next up, I believe we have uh, Laura. We have some new merch, I think. Oh, hey. Apparently, which I forgot about until you showed me before the show. Yeah, I know, right? I was just showing this off before the stream. Oh, um, we just have this oh. amazing Matthew Mercer shirt. Oh. Oh. It's kind of wrinkly because I was sitting on it, but. It's kind of a mumbra vibe. That's usually the way you. I have, a, I have a shirt. So, hey, that's in the store. That's in the store right I have now. A shirt. Go look at it. It's got the logo on the back, too. Logo. I have a shirt. You have a t shirt. I have a shirt. And it's subtle. I like that, it, you know, anybody like that doesn't know what it is would just think it's like a cool silhouette design shirt. Design or something. And then anybody that does know what it is, it's like they're in. Is yeah. that the kind DM shirt? Or is that no, the evil smiling. sort of He's smirking not, evilly. It's it's a, that is not it's a good evil smirk. smirk. You know the meme yeah, when the, the dungeon the master smirk. smiles, it's too late. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. it's how it's yeah. done. So. I, I really like it. Yeah, I think there. It's, it's like inspired, reminiscent of another project I work on. And, exactly. it makes me, and it makes me happy. That's why what inspired us to do yeah. it. By the time he's yeah. smiling, you're already getting choked out. <laughs> Good Strangled. Times. Good time. Good death. Uh, all right, uh, next up, um, let's see. Rehab Just a reminder, we have uh, <laughs> the Critical Role Box Machina Origins comic book available on Comixology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, where is it at now? Number. The second yeah. highest rated uh, comic book on Comixology at the moment. Because Critters are oh, awesome. Oh, 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 it's at the moment. Oh, sitting, oh, at, oh. sitting at the nine on, no, the, on, the, on the current yes. best of, of all time? Of all time. On Comixology. On Comixology. Fantastic. Comixology That's in Nigeria hasn't ridiculous. been around forever, but like, we have, the, we have the best fans. Yeah, pretty, thank, pretty much. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, it's a, it's a it's good big book. Heart? It's so good. It's a good book. Good. It's a really good book. Next, next one comes out soon. We saw you. We did. Yep. Yep. Excited for you guys. It's got so much. It's got so much. Yeah. So next, we'll have. I got it today. We'll have information soon on when the next comic comes out next month. Um, don't forget, we have uh, Talks Machina next Tuesday to discuss this episode. Uh, so it'll be next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific with our fantastic hosts, uh, Ryan Foster, to discuss. Um, Schlub. <laughs> <laughs> to discuss uh, Travis's third testicle. So. Um, wow, they found out about that. Yeah. It's on the list here. Um, also, don't forget, it's the last month of September. So uh, if you haven't had a chance yet and you've always wanted to, uh, to go ahead and join the Geek and Sundry Twitch community uh, and subscribe, or any other Twitch community that you've uh, been waiting for, they're half off this month. So now's the time to jump in. Uh, and Laura and Travis, you're going to be at a uh, convention in Atlanta this weekend. Why, well, yes, we leave tomorrow morning, actually. Yeah, oh. bright and early. Anime right. Weekend Atlanta, we're there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Come down, see us, throw things at our face. Sunday, It'll be Sunday. great. Yay. Glorious. I love this pen. Yes. Yes. Very well. And Anything? we're also going to be in Australia. In a couple weeks. Middle of the or summer. November. Yeah, not awesome. at the same time. No. That's a, yeah, that's Brisbane that's 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 Ashley, what's going on with you? Any anything to plug? Any other projects that you're working on? Are you working on? on any kind of shows or anything? Writing yeah, a novel? Or? It seems like you've been so busy. I just didn't want to come. <laughs> 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 just like of other things to do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Shop online. Yeah. And we're just busy, guys. Lots of Amazon. Sure. Just lots of Amazon, Amazon these past few months. You know, cute emergency on Twitter. There's just like so many more important things to do than this. Just kidding. That's not true. You do retweet cute emergency quite a lot. You're how I found cute emergency. Oh, really? That makes me so glad. We post a lot. We love animals. Oh, my God. Holy crap. All right. Well, then, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in to tonight's episode of Critical Role.
<laughs> a little late on the draw there, bud. What an accident party. that was. Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome back. So last we left off, Vox Machina had made their way through the innards of the undead risen primordial Earth Titan, of which on its shoulders was held the long, abandoned until recently city of Tharamphala from the Shadowfell, a city that once held the armies of Vecna, the Undying King, who has since risen once more and achieved godhood in recent days. You traversed to this titan, through its innards, up into the city of Tharamphala, which you notice the outer wall currently manages to maintain an arcane dome that holds at bay any of the outward assailing forces of the Wyvern Riders or Devosa, the Brass Dragon, where the inside of it contains, in wait, a cloud of various gloom walkers and apparently a skeletal dragon that just perused the city in safety as you make your way through the streets in search of the now recently reassembled and standing Tower of Entropis. Now, upon seeking a sword that was you were notified had historical binds to the hatred of Vecna and hopefully his downfall sort of cause. Uh, you went seeking this weapon, apparently long ago discarded and bound within a buried catacomb of some kind, within a pit of acid, along with many various corpses left over from an ancient war. And in doing so, unfortunately notified Vecna of your arrival as Vex passed through into the ethereal plane, the ring that she contained that kept any sort of scrying at bay was lost, and both Vax and Keyleth came to his attention. Surprise! The both of you, all, all of you managed to flee back to Scanlan's mansion where the rest were in wait. However, with a notification fresh at hand, the skeletal dragon swooped into the chamber where the mansion was set, and on its back riding Lady Delilah Briarwood, mm. and apparently the recent re-risen Silas Briarwood. Teddy Sprinkles! <laughs> the mansion was dispelled, you were exited from the pocket plane, and barely maneuvering due to a very lucky roll, uh, having your uh, plane shift dispelled, you made your way to the Feywild as a Hail Mary, and where, through a dick drawing, <laughs> made contact with the one Archfey that you had encountered in your previous you journeys. You uh, welcome. <laughs> of Artagon. Um, drawing her around the world. <laughs> upon being summoned and your knowledge of the strange, time-altering nature of exiting the Feywild, you asked if it was within his power to ensure the condensing of the time passage were you to the return. He agreed under two conditions. One, when this was all said and done, you would help him assemble a doorway in the prime material plane in which he could visit your space. And two, upon realizing that uh, Vax was of some undying or re-rising uh, nature, wished to strangle him until dead. <laughs> you agreed, and shortly thereafter, Vax expired into ashes, and you all spend time awaiting his return. So, uh, we left off with the return of Vax, but if there's anything you wanted to do over that period of time before his arrival, now would be the time to do it. Before his arrival? Like, uh, before his before arrival? Walks back. The clock oh, oh to life. so that we can actually yeah, do, do some stuff. spells that will be in effect for a day? So he takes a while to come back. He takes a little while, yeah. So we should do some of our spells like right before we go to sleep. Yeah, for sure. Anything? Is that now? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Is sleep now? It's up to you. Oh, uh, no. We do need to do Heroes Feast. Heroes Feast. I have we one have, chalice have, left. Okay. Um, okay. But then yeah. Vax won't be in. Just leave me a plate. That's, that's we leave him a plate. Okay. Well, the spell, the <laughs> meal appears for a short time. Then we need to do that right when he gets it. back. Okay. Does is he right before we sleep? Yeah. Hopefully right. he'll be back before. We'll wait a few hours. We'll wait a few hours to see if he shows up, and then we'll cast it to see because we okay. want him to be able to do it. We'll, we'll, It'll be a hero supper. We'll say for for the truncating of the wait period that eight hours go by. 
12 hours go by. It's hard to tell time in the Feywild, since it never, it doesn't have, not have a day-night cycle. It's always on the cusp of sunset. Um, and the longer you wait, and the more the boredom sets in, the more the stress of the coming fray creeps into the back of your mind. You find that it seems like far too much time has passed, and you begin to worry, you begin to, to twitch, you begin to do search parties around the surrounding forest, the possibility he returned and got lost. Um, you don't know how much time has passed until you convene to desperately ask if there was any possible sight. At that point, you hear the snapping of uh, foliage beneath a distant foot, and you all turn, and by the nearby tree, you see entering the uh, pale, nude, uh, long, dark-haired body of Vax returned in his revenant form for a second time. Oh, thank God. Yep, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a thing. <sighs> Does anyone have my clothing? Yes. No, they took it and ran. It was like part of the penance. We, we fought bravely. It's it's buck naked from here on it's out. It's right? to make tomorrow a little squirrely. Scanlan awkwardly put it in like a weird druid circle rock thing. It's over there in a, we in a rock. We were protecting it for you, for you. He doesn't know how to do druid circles really right, but I... The goddess Ayun told me <laughs> to protect it in a circle, reminiscent of the circle of my third eye. I don't think he's telling the truth. D do you have all my shoes and glasses so I may have them? As Ayun wills it, yes. <laughs> okay, could you lead, lead me and my penis towards them now? <laughs> I am be pleased, I will. <laughs> <laughs> We're still standing here. Uh, it's getting awkward. <clears throat> I'm a holy man. It's supposed to be awkward. Right? <laughs> yeah. Start the hero's feast. I'm right, just going to get the chance. Yeah, help. I'm, I'm, I'll help with that. Yeah. That sounds like a great use of time and not watching this. Uh, <laughs> Pike? I have a question. Yep. Should we ask um, the Sword of Kaz, since it's fought Vecna before, like, does it know of any weaknesses? That's yes. really Pro smart. Tips. Wow, yeah. that's really smart, Grog. Oh, wow, yeah. good idea. Don't think too hard about it. <laughs> that was we a perfectly can't, adequate we, idea. We can't hear him, so you'll have to talk. Hello? Grog, you'll Sorry. have to really <laughs> talk a lot out of you that, yeah. We we'll need to sit. Grog, I have an idea. I have an idea, Grog. Why yeah. don't you ask ask the sword if it has any idea of Vecna's weaknesses or anything that... that <gasps> That's a good idea. I'm so Percy. glad I had it. Oh my god, yes. Wait, wait, if I pull it out of the sheath, right, to talk to it, can I talk to it through the sheath? Yeah, you probably have to draw it from me. I might have to draw it, and then it's going to need that. Here. You? You can cut me. No, listen, I made a promise to your brother. He was very adamant that He's I'm supposed naked. to stick him. I'll take I it. I was. It's my Bosh. turn. Percy, what a tough thing for you to do. Was... Do you want, like, just a hand slice, or do you want to up the ante and I'll just stick it in your thigh? Uh, oh. I do have to. I do have to bathe it. It has to be quite a coating. Uh, mm. just, just do it. We'll heal him up. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hey, come on, Percy. <laughs> <laughs> Buy the ticket, baby. We're all right. So can I uh, unsheath Cass? As you pull the blade out with this very silent, kind of uh, glass <laughs> against uh, textured metal sound. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Um, the blade itself is is so dark that barely any light seems to crumb across it. You can see the, or the blade is up close, so you can barely make out uh, the outside of it, but as soon as you draw it, the voice goes, hungry. All right, oh. just on the count of three. Do I get to pick where? Okay. Two. I, mm. no, and I reach around to the back of his knee and I just Why pull it Why is it taking so long? Oh, God! Oh. 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 Are you trying to take him out of commission for future fights? I don't know. Yeah, that's that's you yeah, yeah, I, I, I said yes. I'm I said cast yes. Cure wounds at third level on he Percy. Oh, okay. Celestial with that knee. You can't. Okay. That was the bad knee. Yeah, you shave your legs. The back of the knee is like the now. tricky part, it's right? It's just so I can swim faster. It was not for you to have a target. <laughs> so as as you deal with the nearly hamstrung self uh, that is your right knee, uh, the the sword itself is is coated well enough in Percival blood as it seeps into the darkened blade, and the voice goes. <sighs> Yeah. You got respectfully, Cass. Uh, I had a few questions. Just because I am on board to satisfy your maniacal desires to fuck up Vecna and all that he stands for, right? Oh no, Cass. Yes. Oh, thank God. Might need more blood soon. Do you know of any weaknesses 
that Vecna has or opportunities that we could exploit. <laughs> <laughs> he is intelligent than most, but his arrogance gets to the best of him. He likes a show. Apparently he's really smart and he's Arab, Arab, Matic, and um. He smells. He's. It, it, that's what he says. Enigmatic. Acrobatic. Yeah. What does he mean? He, like, he likes to put on a show. I think. Aromatic. He likes to put on a show. Yeah. He and, builds uh, webs of plots. So many things intertwined. Doesn't make much sense. Apparently, he builds whips out of plots. Cut. And like, cut. Threads. Oh, threads. And the web can falter. Oh, right. He, he strings things together like a web, you know? Oh, okay. like a, Yeah, like a, a dog web. makes. Oh, that's much. Oh, that's smart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I so. can cut these threads. Bring me to these threads. Bring me to him. I must cut him down. Jesus, yeah. No. He just really wants to no. cut. Yeah. Oh, God. Cut. He's really adamant about well, cutting the webs. It's a sword. He cut. cuts. I mean, that's yeah. his thing. Mm -hmm. I Wait, say. cutting webs? Yeah. I guess Vecna has spider abilities. Oh. Um, Pro be. tip. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Yep. We didn't notice that before, but yeah. Yeah. any physical weaknesses, yeah. or weaknesses or things yeah. that he is um, uh, uh, vulnerable to that we should know. <laughs> Him. Him. Okay. Cool. I think we've got everything. Oh, the sword. Right. Yep. Yeah. All right. He's vulnerable to. to Oh, to, oh. Yeah, to, to him. I got, got it. I got what they got. All right, next got time it. I pull you out in the light, it will probably be to kill Vecna or someone Something. that I don't like. Shink. <laughs> 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 you put it away, you know. <laughs> You're eventually going to pull that sword out and it will have committed suicide. How's your own Is it okay? <laughs> it's feeling much better. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Should we maybe talk out our plan for the moment? <laughs> Sure. That sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't, but I, I do think we should probably have at it. We've got the trammels. Yeah. Dog's got them. Uh, so Silas cool. is back. Oh, yeah, that. Along with Delilah. So you that's should. fun. So my um, my blessing from Taylor. Um, hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> um, gives. Radiant damage to anything evil that attacks me with a spell. That's good. That's pretty that's neat, good. huh? That's, that's, that's so nice. So that's good. Well, that's good. All, all I have a feeling radiant <laughs> damage is going to be really important in this fight. So I, I recently yeah. was able to attune to this armor that I haven't been able to attune to for a long time, and now I'm resistant to spells. So that's good. What? Yes. Just You've just been story? wearing it and it's not done, done anything? Kind of. Well, I had to attune to my ring and my antlers, and then I got the staff, right, so I kind of yeah. let that go, but now, it, like, I it just wore it. It looks so good, though. Enough. I understand. Yeah. yeah. What, are, what are your three attuned right now? I have four. Four. Because yeah. I took a feet <laughs> and I leveled up. <laughs> That's got, pretty cool. I got a whole, bunch of more, whole bunch of more hit points. What's oh, a hit point? <laughs> It's like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I was thinking, I have all three trammels, right? And I need to get like real close to do anything to Vecna. Yes. Is it stupid for me to have all of them? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, yes. We need to spread those out. Uh, we need to decide who's doing what, at least what we think is going to happen. I think I should take one of the trammels. You're speedy, of course. Yeah. And I think it's smart if Pike and I dedicate a decent amount of our spell power to freedom of movement right before we go in. I won't be necessary yeah. for me, but for the rest of you. Yeah, so no, good. Parallel la la la. If Vax has a trammel and Grog has a trammel, who has the third trammel? One of these two. I, I could do it. Someone who can fly. You can I fly. I have a broom, after all. But Pike can fly now, too. Don't you have to be super strong to use these trammels? No. Pike is super strong. She's a monster. No, I know, but yeah, I'm fine with that. She probably. Maybe can she fly? Can you fly? She can fly. Like, I can now. What? How? How well, long can it's, you fly? It's for. Seren Ray's blessing. Really? For ten, yeah. ten yeah. minutes. That's all we'll need. Ten minutes is a long time if it's like right at the beginning of the like, fight. Well, yeah. that's when we'll need it's to use the trammels. Yeah. Like the giant wings. Trammels are actually. That, it's pretty tight. You oh my god, you can fucking fly! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I reach over the park, I spin her around. Are there any wings on the back? No. Oh, I, I don't know where they are. I don't know how to break this tree. They're not there yet. <laughs> oh, well, Sometimes they're I on think, the ankles. 
Oh. I turn her upside down and look at her feet. <laughs> <laughs> no wings. Good. Turn her back. <laughs> Just keep wishing. They'll grow in. Okay. okay. Well, thank you, Grog. Clap your hands if you believe in I'm, I'm not going to be So do you think help, so. you're stronger and you're more proficient with, like, actual melee weapons, right? Because I don't I think, think I can shoot a trammel pretty... from my bow. I feel like I'd be pretty proficient, because I, it, it's, it takes the strength to do it. Yeah. You've got that. And you've got, you got it. Okay, let's have Pike hold the other one. Confident. I know. I love it. Really confident. <laughs> okay, so Pike Snap holds the whip the front to back. In the and back. we just have to protect our cleric. What are we all? What are all of us doing? I'm, I'm praying into We're a book. Fighting. Sure. Fighting. To give you to give you a mechanical idea, just yeah. just in essence, and based on what Ayun had had notified you, the more damaged Vecna's avatar form is, the lower the DC to drive a trammel into okay. the body. Oh, so we gotta bloody him up and then. Trammel. Possibly, or roll really high early on. The choice is up to you. Okay. That is the risk you have to take. Okay, if we try, we don't know. If we try it with a trammel and it doesn't work, it doesn't break the trammel, we just have to try again. We don't know. You have, yeah. you have, you have two strong and one fragile trammel oh. in your Who, wait, Oh, wait, oh, who's right, holding the, the fragile like, one? I am. You're holding the fragile one. Okay, yeah. so save that one for when he's real fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 okay. Percy and I had a thought for Grog. Oh God, because I don't have any more. If, if you borrow, Percy's spider climbing boots. I can maybe make some pillars to one add for cover for some of us, you know, more rangy mm -hmm. people. But then if I add pillars of kind of different heights, you, you can, can straight up climb them. up them. And Do I have to attune to them? No. no. Also, but does my speed translate I, to going up things as well? Oh yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I don't know what boots you have right now. I have the feral leaping boots. Would you rather just run oh, like Spider Man? What would be yeah, better? To you. If he's more than 20 feet in the air, I'm fucked. Yeah, then spider climbing boots. How can we get Grog to fly, trees. though? Because these pillars, they can't go all the way to the heavens, can they? I, I mean, I could shape change into something and give him a, a mount he can ride me. A... Yeah, but you're a caster. What about you, Scanlon? Could you still yeah. cast if you're like a dragon or something? You're tricky. Mm. I can cast I, in I beast cast. shape. I can't cast. Shape change is a spell. So if I'm a dragon beholder, that's that's what you get. What's that? If the creature you transform into has it. spells, you can use those spells, mm -hmm. but that's the only circumstance. Got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's mm. coffee all over it. Yes, <laughs> there is. There's coffee on everything. Oh, we remember that episode. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> Your dice tray like dried nicely, though. I think it actually very, it has a little bit looks, of nice character. It does. Look at that. It's yeah. actually a testament to something I would, I would yeah. do. Uh, I accidentally <laughs> this, this got put in the dishwasher, and the leather I think got cooler after yeah, it got yeah. put in the dishwasher. Look at that. Anyway. I like, I like anyway, guys. No, no, no. We're focused. No, no. This is this is happening. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I mean, I guess we could use these pillars, but it just seems like a waste of your spell to get him halfway up towards Vecna if Vecna is flying. Well, the flying. thing is, is if I'll take the if you're flying, you can get knocked off. Unless they're I've been there, and then you and that sucks. It's super bad. So actually, the pillars are really wonderful in that regard. Pillars. If he's straight above us. Well, I can do six of them. I can do a lot of pillars. He could be off of the tower, yes, and then. If we're it's all ranged we attacks. We That's what we have. Arms of the all right. Ice world. All right. No plan. <laughs> the plans are easy. The magic users are going to be attacking attacking Vecna with all their worth. Hopefully, we'll be able to take out the Briarwoods before the fight. I can cause up to six pillars. Each pillar is a cylinder, five feet wide and up to 30 feet high. Can and can do six of them. Each other? Well, he wasn't—he wasn't that much more than thirty feet last no, he time. Just, he was above us, but I was about if he goes off of the tower, well, the, the air, I, was going to be I mean, if I get if I get Grog thirty feet up, you still have mm -hmm. your throwing axe. He's still reachable another thirty feet for you, right? Theoretically. Not with the yeah, yeah, I'm not, but I'm not using the axe or the hammer. I'm using the sword. You're using the big fatty. You can still attach the chain of returning to the sword. <gasps> oh, yeah, what? but it's only one—it's only one attack per action. Correct. Instead of three, but it's Why? something. If he's out of range, I also I'll have I'll have enough bullets that I can I may I may not be able to hurt him, but what I can make him drop. My my plan is to uh, not run away because we're gonna die fighting. Yeah. Or we're gonna that's we're gonna save the world, right? Yeah. Uh, so I definitely won't be running away. Definitely. Scanning. Are you convinced? I may that run that away. Like <laughs> <laughs> if you do, then he slaughters everybody and subjugates the entire world. I'll tell world. your story, and I'll tell it very well. <laughs> <laughs> as, the, as the 
Crumley, the little guy to Jabba the Hutt for Vecna. To Vecna and I will Scanlan. Be his... No, I was... promise you won't run away. I... I'll put this fucking hat back on. <gasps> and I bring out the stupid pointy hat that he gave me. That's You're... a deal. Like... So, so here's the thing. Last time we fought Vecna, <laughs> right, he went higher than 30 feet. He was like up there. He was up where Bax was before he fell. I was above him, though, when I was 50 or 60 up. He wasn't that high. Oh. You, you were 50 or 60. Up to you. That is an option. It is up to you. Okay. Um, but let me know because either way, I'm going to either keep my boots or not keep my boots. Do we remember how high the tower orby situation was? Did we get a, a number? The tower of Entrampas, the very height of it. I mean, you didn't gauge it entirely as you flew up, but even just a bit of distance, it was hundreds of feet high. No, no, no. I mean, there was like the dome, the, above, the that. dome above that. Oh, the dome above the that is probably that about another 100 or 200 feet above that. It's a big dome, it encompasses the yeah. entire city of Entropis. Uh, we don't, and we don't know right, yeah, who's right. casting, casting that, that, we don't know who, where, where that's coming oh, from. It's gem. Uh, Make an intelligence check. Okay. Oh. I, I mean, the, there's that gem stone thing that he's using. Natural 20, natural 20. Uh, no, but the 21 will do it. That's pretty good. You recall, <laughs> <laughs> the the Tharum Fallout that is currently embedded in the Titan is not the entire city. It's only the inner circle of the city. You encounter the inner circle of the city, and you you saw a little bit at the edges. There's a wall that is built on the inside of Tharum Fala. This was the same wall that contained the threshold crests that caused it to transport from the Shadow Fell to the Prime Material Plane. And that seems to be. You look at the energy of this field. You've seen it kind of pulse from the wall upward. Like we could break. We could break. We could break the, we could break the wall. Okay. Oh, unless we can break, 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 break the crystals, Wait, and, and then we could we could bring down the forces. Oh. And then, and then like, Jamon Saul Jamon will be able to help, help us. us. Yes. Help us! 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 So, okay, that's good. Okay, we go for the walls first. Here's the good thing about us bamfing to the Feywild, right? Mm. <clears throat> they think we left. Mm -hmm. And if we all actually stick together and don't fuck up with this fucking ring next time, they won't know that we're there again. Because mm -hmm. last time they had an idea because you guys, you know, almost died yeah. as we were going in. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I remember. I have an idea about grog flying that okay. just occurred to me. Trinket's big. He is. Trinket <laughs> could be polymorphed into something else big, like a flying eagle of some sort, if they and actually that. be useful. How dare you? <laughs> if they dispel that, won't he just turn into Trinket and he'll fall? Yes, but <laughs> with big risk comes big reward. Trinket. Trinket over there is on the side, just kind of arms, kind of it's playing pillow to the mouth. Mm. Okay, <laughs> bud. It's plan B. If, if you the fuck this up, work. if you fuck this up, Scanlan. Um. I say I, I cast. Oh, I don't have any more spells, do I? To do if it. You fuck this up, she'll let you fuck. He can understand up. me. I just can't understand him, with my speak with animals. Shit. Tell him to just shake his head. Okay. Oh, it's first level. I have a first level left. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. Scanlan wants to turn you into something that flies. You hear the slight squeak of a bear fart in his direction. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, would you be willing to? Are you okay with that for the, for the actual big bat? I mean, you could be up close and personal with fucking Vecna. Trigger walks up to you now. It's his fully grown form is, you know, a good foot and a half taller than you at the shoulders, and kind of comes up and gets really close and kind of, and then just butts his head against yours. Oh, buddy. And then licks the side of your face. <laughs> Yeah. And sits back. Oh. He's so you can do it. <laughs> Don't hurt him. Okay. It's a, it's a plan B. It's a plan B. Do you have anything gnarlier than. I mean, I'm a little invested too. I've spent a lot of years with this bear. Like anything gnarlier than. A, an eagle's cool, but like anything with spikes or, or rhino armor or anything like that. I like can. A flying rhino? Can you do a flying rhino? What flying things have we seen that are scary? A wyvern? Uh, I don't. Polymorph, I don't. Know I, don't I can't that. polymorph. I could true polymorph trinket and permanently make him. You can. Alive. It can still be dispelled if it is permanent on true polymorph. By the way, it can be dispelled just at an action. 
Uh, yeah, th that, that was an errata to the spell that I've discovered, as the internet made very keenly aware to me. Even <laughs> if it becomes permanent. Uh, correct. Wow. Then what the fuck does permanent mean? So can't you just it's meaning paper trade. cast you yeah. cast a spell just like magic a simple on him to undo level three to spell magic can, can get rid of a ninth level permanent. Well, polymorph? you have to know that the creature has been polymorphed into that form. Sure. sure. And even then, it's a ninth level spell that you're trying to dispel, which is not. So they have to at least cast a ninth level in order to dispel to be instantaneous, it. or they have to roll against. A roll against so I'm, I'm not going to waste mean, my true polymorph no, on that. Polymorph. Just no, no. standard polymorph. Does that mean okay. you could? Can permanently do it to him, and then we cast a spell magic on him later to undo yes, it? That's yeah, true. you could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, so you could use that tonight. Tonight to lock him in. Yeah, but it could still be dispelled if if yeah, but they would, they would spell, died, not not have the spell to, tomorrow. He would have to burn a, a dispel. At the and he would want the yeah. adept Wait, are you, are you talking about polymorph or true polymorph right now? I true. Was, I was I was just talking about polymorph. I think just polymorph tomorrow, yeah. and then <laughs> and then use your ninth level spell for something. Yeah. Major. Yeah, but if it's but permanent, what else why not you do got? it tonight? What else you because got? he can See, use a ninth level spell tonight for something. For something else. Because polymorph only lasts for like an hour. So what As else we're you doing have? this, we're making the feast because we're about to get ready to go to bed, right? Yeah. Nom, oh, nom, yeah. nom, 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 food. onions. Yeah, okay. so we'll like make our feast yeah. before we go to sleep. All right. Last. Mm. Mm. Chicken tiki. Polymorph is a concentration spell, so keep that in mind. Yes. Um, oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boots. You wouldn't have to concentrate with true polymorph. True. But. Those are just the, those are the specifications. Here. What's more important? Could he be a baby, like a, a, a young ancient dragon? No. Uh, yeah. I you can turn Trinket into a dragon. Well, let's see here. It has to be the same. He has a challenge rating, doesn't he? This yeah. Wormling or a young. I will dragon? put Trinket at about a challenge rating of six, I'd say, because he's not a full, powerful creature. Yeah. He's a com you know, compliment to you. Right. I'd put him at a six, maybe, the high end. So monsters of a six, I don't even know. I'll look at the list. Okay, think about it. <laughs> Regardless, who's casting? You said you're casting Hero's Feast? All right, so as you set up the table, you summon forth the meal that is infused with divine energy. You all begin to eat in this kind of solemn quiet, occasionally discussing plans and tactics. Um, the delicious. Daddy can join us. Oh, he does, don't worry. As soon as you guys begin to eat, in the far end of the table, you can see the orange mane kind of just erupt from the side of the table as he takes a seat. Oh, wondrous, I appreciate this, thank you. Mm. So did that look up to your expectations, then? Hmm. Hello. <laughs> it was all right. Hmm. New hobby, or? I don't know. I have to try when they're not willing. Oh. That's a, no, that's, that's a joke. That's a joke. Hey, Artagon, can you look at this wand? Which wand? This wand in my hand. <laughs> Which wand are you handing? Uh, it was a wooden wand see. from Which one of Vecna's hand? people that I just hijacked. Uh, it's a uh, uh, war wand. It's a plus one wand for anyone who's casting a spell through it. It's a plus one modifier. Oh, like plus DC. one wand. Oh, do you have to attune? Uh, generally, you have to attune to these. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Great. And there's, right, nothing, there's nothing special mm -hmm. about these symbols that they wear around their necks, are they? Just a, since it is in your interest to keep us alive long enough to build you a portal. Well, it doesn't require or contain any magic, if that's what you're asking. Yes. This is jewelry. Well, it's a focus, it's a divine focus for those who wish to utilize it to draw energy from the deity of choice and or just a, a token of brotherhood. Mm. Boring. All right. Delicious meal, by the way. Yes. Yeah, it's it? yours. Yes. Thank you. Oh, you're so, so good. welcome. All right. When do you intend to go back? Um, as soon as we go to sleep and wake up. Well then, sleep it is. He gestures over his hand behind you, and as you look back, you can see there's a series of beds that have all kind of constructed out of the oh, nearby wow. moss awesome. and vines. They kind of grow and lift up out of the natural floor of the Feywild. And as the beds form, you watch as the, uh, the tethered vines and roots of the ground begin to form these dome-like tents over each yeah. specific bed. Oh, good. Privacy. <clears throat> uh, are you doing anything? Oh, yeah, yeah, Make yeah. thing before I go to sleep? I mean, I, I, if I true polymorph him uh, uh, trinket into I could do a wyvern or a young white dragon or is Jermon a brass or bronze? Brass. brass. I could do a young brass, young white dragon, or a wyvern, or I could have another Scanlan. 
I'm just a fan I vote of, Scanlan. Yeah. yeah. I Scanlan, Scanlan. Can ca- Scanlan too can cast Polymorph. Fucking A, do that. I, I yeah, vote so Scanlan. I, that's a no-brainer. Dude, yeah. And he'll just hang around with us? Scanlan Jr. For Second sure. Scanlan hangs no, around with us until what? No bros. I mean, that is flat out amazing. Second Scanlan. We'll yeah. see. <laughs> Make another Scanlan. Well, the world is ready for two Scanlans. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll be apparent that he is not a real person. How and do you, how ve- you know which is which? That's true. Well, you'll know because two. come on, well, this I mean, charm can't be replicated. No, we need two hats. Hey, hey, hang, hang on, I, I, I will say, uh, Second Scanlan will immediately clue in Vecna that there's some trickery magic going on. Is there a way that Second Scanlan can be like definitely hidden, so he can just be support Scanlan? If we give him the, the counter if, if he gives him the 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 hat, hat of disguise, disguise yeah. then there's just can a magical field being us? about the magic. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. He could be the meat the, man. He'll be the meat man. Awesome. No, no true sight. No. Same I'm sure true. they have true sight. You, of course, Vecna's they have true sight. But I think you have to. You get the use sense. true sight. Oh, okay. It doesn't just happen. As a god of oh. secrets, probably <laughs> see through an illusion. He's no, no, no. We're everything. gonna pull it over on back now. We're fine. <laughs> just this is a great out there Based on your experience, even the creatures, even the creatures around the tower have true sight. Oh shit! So he's gonna know. Even like he's gonna know Trinket's not a fucking. He's not gonna know anything about. But well, he still has to choose that, to use something on that. Is that seen on true sight? Oh no, he's actually that animal, so yeah. he'd have to no, no, no. Do it, man. But then, do uh, it. Uh, do it. it. We're overthinking it. it. All right, do it. let's do this. Because he can also maybe just cast support stuff. For yeah, us, exactly. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. Vecna? Do you think just dispel the second Scanlan away? He'll, he can certainly try. try. Yeah, that will, that will, he will have to burn. He can dispel a whole bunch of other shit. Yeah. So anyway, and the only other thing would be like works. a second pike to do all of the freedom of movement stuff and That's things nice. like yeah. that. That's nice. So, but I mean, those counter spells are man. so clutch. Yeah. Keep in mind, a counter spell can't be done unless they're on the field to see the spell being cast yeah. Yeah. and within 60 feet. Boom. So, second scanlon would have to be see. in the frame. Mm. Do it. Can second scanlon be invisible, second scanlon? He can He'll for a while, yeah. Probably, he though. can. And things that see through invisibility, like a god of secrets, would probably you can see through. Never have enough Scanlan. That's true. There's always room for Scanlan. <laughs> these are good catchphrases so for sure. Depending on whether or not you have the mount, let me know if you want to trade boots or not, since these are not attunable. So, uh, uh, okay, hang on. If, if someone has to roll, oh my god. If, if you have to roll to to, to see if second Scanlan is dispelled, do you have to roll? Is it no. like a no? Second Scanlan has to roll. Vecna would have to roll. Vecna has to roll. Yes, and Vecna will win. You know how Vecna rolls. And we're definitely doing the pillars. <laughs> I think the pillars are pretty solid. I can, I can throw up pillars. No, no, I mean, are we or are we not? Yeah, we're, we we are doing the pillars if he's not doing something on Trinket. <sighs> I, I think the pillars could just be good for cover and other things. Because I'm assuming we're. Okay, cool. We're doing the pillars. We'll do yeah. the pillars. Okay. We need cover. Let's go to sleep. Do something yeah, do so it. that we can sleep. All right. I need, I need the strength of two me's. <laughs> To win this fight, <laughs> so I'm going to drop to my knees and wish, Please. wish to the gods that I, that there was somehow more of me that I could somehow <laughs> be in two places at the same time. I, w- I wish, I wish for more me, <laughs> me more, <laughs> me but more. Mas, Mas Scanlan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you, as the, as the words leave your lips, you can see Artagan himself as he finishes the meal kind of leans back, like taken, a, seemingly taken aback by the power of these words you've spoken. As you watch, as hints of nearby, slowly melting snowfall that seem to have gathered elements at the base of the trees nearby begin to slowly congeal into a form. You do realize that this is going to take you 12 hours to complete, right? Oh, yeah. So you should have started that earlier. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> so we, can we decide that earlier? No. no. That's cool. You guys can sleep, <laughs> then I'll sleep, you wait for me. Be you'll, be, you'll be arriving a little later than originally anticipated. Yeah. Who knows what ramifications that'll have, but. Just do Sorry. it, man. Just do it. I'm already, yeah, I'm, it's already committed. being done. We're pot committed, let's go. Yeah, all right, man. So. All right. Shit, we should have done that while we were waiting for fucking backs. I well. I thought that's what we were <laughs> doing. I didn't know it takes that long. We tried. <laughs> Wait. Simulacrum we totally is a 12 hour that. casting time. Shit. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's all okay. good. It's okay, it's done, it's fine. fine. So. 
what's done is done. <laughs> Over the next 12 hours, you sit there focusing on trying to, to press your will into this congealing snow golem of, of Scanlan and watch as it slowly takes form and breathes air. And with no equipment, of course, but has your knowledge, your spells, eventually the completion of the spell brings to life a secondary Scanlan under your beck and call. Oh my god. Hello? Scanlan, is it you? It's me. <gasps> oh, oh. You're, you're shorter than I thought you'd be. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Oh, you. All right, let's just see if you're really Scanlan. He's already <clears throat> naked. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Without my little measuring tape. <laughs> one inch by one inch by one inch. Mm -hmm. Parts the same. Mm hmm. Uh huh. How do we know I'm not the real Scanlan? How do we know you're not the real Scanlan? I think. I think there's only one way to find out. No! <laughs> no! Moto bene, moto bene, moto bene, moto bene, moto bene, moto bene. Well, that's everything I needed. <laughs> you guys are trying. You're halfway through your your uh, <laughs> your sleep. Yeah. Um, Shut up, Scanlans. <laughs> the spell is instantaneous unless it's it's copying the effect of a spell. All right. This worked. Scanlan, let's go to sleep. All right, Scanlan. Where to? I'll spoon you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you guys is, head off to your domicile. If you want, by the way, last check off your list. I think mm -hmm. There's some items for for other Scanlan. Oh, we have extra items. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Can carry things. Sure. Other Scanlan can wear things. He can just. He's fully. You can. He can wear things. You yeah. want a bracers of defense? Oh, yeah. Plus two to your AC. Because he doesn't have any of my items, does he? Nope. Got it. He is naked. Put him in that armor I gave you. That sure. you don't wear. Yes, yes, I will put him so in the armor of... Acid resistance? Acid, no, I have acid, oh. you had cold. No, I have cold now, it was... Oh, we had two acids. Yeah, that's what it yes, was. so it's acid resistance. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I have a shield of fire resistance. Also, I have this wand shield. of plus one. What about the wand of plus one for the spells? Ooh. Wand of plus one, what is that? The thing that he war just... Wand. It's a war wand. Yeah, great, yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> and then here. He's All also right. got bracers <laughs> of defense, gloves of missile snaring. And a dragon slayer and a longsword? Oh, sure, yeah. why not? All right, so there you go. You got those yeah, and you got some stuff. Um, all right, so you go ahead and find yourself to sleep. The rest of you, it's the night's rest. If there's any final gotta drop words before the fray comes, anything you want to do to calm yourself before the final battle, now's the time. Oh <laughs> this could be it, huh? This is real fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I'm real excited, actually. Like, you know, you always want to test yourself, see what you're made of, what is your metal really like? We're going to find out. <laughs> We're really going to find out. Nobody else excited? I don't know if excited's the word, but... You know, there, there's been a few times that we've all, you know, known we could die together, but this might actually be it. Huh. That's true. Yeah. You know what? We're doing it for a good cause, though. Yeah, it's, Saving the world. It's fine. Yeah? Yeah. Together, right? Together. And yeah. you know what? No regrets. No regrets. These no. last three or four years have been the best of my life. Same. Yeah. I had a good run a few years before that, but this is pretty great. That's yeah, fucked yeah. up. Just I'm going to remember you said that. Last year I was a crime boss, so. But this, the last few days have been really fun. <laughs> Everything since I met you all has felt like a dream. I Even know. the worst of it. I love all of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. He's honest when he's asleep. It'd be wrong to shave his beard just one more time. <laughs> 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 We need his head in the game. That's yeah, fair. it gives so. him strength. <clears throat> I think it's like his his focus, you know. Focus. Yeah. Well, one of them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. I feel like I don't want to go to sleep. I know. I know. We need to though. Yeah. I 
it's weird to say goodnight, right? Yeah. We can totally take this guy. Fuck it. We're not going down. Yeah. 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 Yeah, maybe he won't be. Doesn't know when it's gonna hit him. Exactly. The, the fucking... shits. Yeah. yeah. Fuck him. Yeah. It's been a while. All right. We've yeah. got other gods on our side. He's a fucking half ass god. Yeah. That's true. That's right. And you. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, Percy, get your rest, because your last words to me tomorrow need to be indignant and irritated. Yes. <laughs> I've already planned them out. <laughs> Good night, brother. Good night, brother. Oh, we sleep. All right. You all find yourselves resting. Uncomfortable at first, but the knowledge and the exhaustion hitting you, eventually it takes you. The dreams lead seamlessly one to the next. Memories of your meeting, of your story, of your experiences bleeding between your fears, your victories, and the people whose lives you've touched and have touched your lives. <clears throat> From Wilhelm, the fall of Kevadak, to the respect of your father and the vengeance of your mother. to climbing the destiny of the Aramente, to rebuilding the memory of one's family, and to spooning a second version of yourself. And knowing that you've taken your faith from a place of being forgotten to a newly built symbol of hope, these thoughts all mingle as the dark of rest takes you. And as you all awake in the center of this strange mystical meadow, peeking through the hints of purple and orange that signify the sky that breaks through the canopy of this forest, the pools of Nala that once brought you here long ago. <laughs> you all awake, the bed's gone, the tent's gone. You're all just lying amongst this field in a circle around each other. And as you come to consciousness and you all sit up and take a breath and feel the warmth, and the knowledge of what has to be done wash over you. The shadow between two distant trees reveals the orange mane of Artagon once more. As he steps forth, his high green collar disappearing into his long sleeves and a cloak that billows past his shoulders and loops into his back as he almost glides effortlessly through the grass. I take it you all slept well. Yeah. Yes. Well then, time is of the essence. You've been here more than a day. Just barely. Just now. But whenever you're ready, I'll see what I can whip up. And as he wipes his fingers against each other, you can see the sparkle spiral of purples and blues and oranges and colors just causing this glow under his face and his hair as he gets excited at the prospect of seeing just how far he can tweak the boundaries of the Feywild that he calls home. All right. Here we go. <laughs> what, are you, what are you holding over there? Myself. <laughs> my, my other hand. Make sure it's back in the necklace with the bamfit over. Okay. 
That's all I'm following. On the back of a Titan, on the material plane. Take them. As you concentrate and the spell begins to swell around you, this familiar energy begins to ride up in your stomach. You feel the butterflies take form, and as the realm begins to darken, the colors that you see spiraling out of Artagan's hand begin to consume you as well, and nausea takes over, and you feel yourself wretched left and right. And as darkness begins to swell once more and close in, the colors surround you entirely and you feel like you're being pushed through a window, and as you all land and catch your feet, the darkness subsides, the color subsides, and you all feel immediately queasy, falling to your knees. As you glance around you, you can see you stand in the rubble, the exterior of a building that has fallen long ago. You see large chunks of the secondary floor have fallen inward, and dust kind of around you as your knees hit. You look up and can see the familiar green-blue crackle of the barrier above you. You've managed to make it on the interior of Tharam Fala. Yeah, that's good. You look up to see immediately clusters of gloom stalkers in the distance that haven't quite gotten a view on you. In the building now! Yeah, no, 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 no. You guys all dart, make a stealth check, please. <clears throat> first roll, first roll, first roll, first roll. Hurry up. Hey, good luck, good luck! <laughs> that's okay to do it. Oh, natural 19. Scanlan 1, 19. Scanlan 2, 21. Do we have 19. <laughs> we diamond cast that. Uh, 28. Right. 35. 18. 11. Okay. As you guys dart, this building is mostly collapsed. There was a small alcove kind of in the corner where part of the secondary story is still there. You guys dart into the side of it and you rest there for a minute in quiet. And you suddenly hear a an impact of stone against the wall behind you. All of you guys immediately turn around and you watch as the heavy piece of stone that marks the outer part of this building is now cracked, and part of it begins to fall in. I need uh, Scanlan 1, real Scanlan, and Percy to make dexterity saving throws, please. Not good. 10. Uh -oh. um, I'm going to burn out resolve. What? No. What? I rolled really low. I want to do that a little so better. Take a conk on the head. Yeah, fine. No, you don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Which is what are you I'm... gonna do? Are you gonna take it or not? No, I'm gonna till it resolve one more. That's way better. Natural twenty. <laughs> okay, cool. You only take three points of bludgeoning damage. That'll do. Scanlan takes six. Just resolve. I got three. Six. Okay. 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 <laughs> you reduced three points of damage. I thought they could be trapped under the wall or something. No, it was fair. I'm not. We're all on edge, guys. I'm it's not okay. It's for that. okay. And resolves. I got plenty of. It crumples over onto you. You've managed to pull away. As you turn around, you can see right around the edge of the part of the building that's collapsed and fallen uh, a gloom stalker covered in dust, shaking its head as it attempts to stand once more. It looks like it's been slammed to the ground or it crashed into this wall. And you can see it. it's like on the ground, <laughs> shaking its head and trying to get back up its wings, trying to unfurl. Um, as it writes its head, you suddenly see a leaping blur of black armor and red scales climb to the back of the beast, grasping the side of its shoulders as it spins back and forth trying to shake it. So it's, you see this, 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 this humanoid figure trying to take something and throw around its throat and its head, however, it's just not able to grasp it around and gets thrown off the side into the back. You watch as the Gloomstalker tries to buck off, or bucks off the assailant and begins to try and get its wings up once more as the figure leaps up again and shoulder slams it into the wall a second time. You get a better look at it now. You can see now this standing at a pretty decent height, about a, a seven foot dragonborn of red scale and black hooked armor, bladed and angry. You see just a burning fury in its eyes. Joe, if you want to come to the table, please. Whoa. What's this? Brothers and all. I like that it's kitty corner right now. Yeah. Like, we're we're both on the ends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> So, Arkin, yes. uh, Arkin, as you've been trying to wrestle this Gloomstalker down, you spent days here trying to find a way to recover from the circumstances that left you here. This is the closest thing you've had at the circumstances. You've regained your strength, and as you leap onto its back, it continues to knock you off to the side. You guys see this confrontation happening. What do you do? Does it look like 
Uh, no, I'll run in. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Yeah, he's a tough I'll join in. All right, so what are you guys doing? I'm going to help this guy out and throw. All right, so go ahead and make two th- two attacks. All right. Uh, Wait, don't there. hurt him! <laughs> don't hurt him! I scream, don't hurt him! Well, he's, oh. he's thrown he's Good thrown two know. daggers. Oh, Good to know. I did, and they both hit. Yes. Oh, no. Technically adjacent, so you do sneak attack damage. All right, I will. One, two, four. Uh, oh, boy. Boy. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> four, it could be bad. Uh, 12. Uh, Oh wow! Oh, what are you no. doing? All of oh, God. Oh, oh God! Oh God! Save it! Save it! With, if I can, it's too late. It's triggered. There. No! Oh, God, don't do it. Forty-seven. It's triggered. I, I cover. I cover Tiny Scanlon's eyes. <laughs> the Welcome to the game, Joe. <laughs> I know. Yeah, this is what we do. Yeah, what were you trying to do? I hope you have a healing potion. Nope. Okay. So that's uh, 51. 50, 51 points of damage. Or you have 46 and 4, it's 50. Yeah, 50 points of damage. Okay, marking that down. That's okay. So you see these two daggers okay. into the side of the, of the Gloomstalker that gives this horrible shrieking shout in pain and rears up. Now that it's yes. distracted, does that give me some sort of advantage? Uh, I, I will say, given the pain it's had, um, go ahead and make an athletics check. I think it is here. Because you're attempting to grapple the entity. That's correct. All right, okay. Can we see? Does it look like he's got hands and eyes complete? Uh, and that's athletics. That's going to be a 19. Woo! Natural 20. Oh! Oh! Is it? Is it part dragon? No, it is okay. not. It's considered okay. a monstrosity. Okay, fair enough. Um, um, okay. So that's okay. Uh, yeah. So it, as, as you hear the dragonborn shout out, seeing the dagger slam into its side, what do you yell to them? Because they're attacking Don't. you. Now? Hurt this thing! Help me wrestle it to the ground. Wait, Wait, up on that at, which, at which point it now <laughs> thrusts the dragonborn off of its back, goes tumbling and rolling onto the ground, landing onto your back, and I you throw see out it. the rope of entanglement on the gloomstalker. Okay. I turn to Percy and I go, "Who's fighting who?" I don't know. <laughs> uh, so now I would like an initiative roll from everybody, please. Oh, oh no. What's that? Ooh. Plus. Oh. A D10 to my initiative now? That's not too Does bad. Does Scanlan 2 take With my advantage? initiative or oh, no? How does that work? Uh, now. Separately. Come on out, come on out. That's a You're 12. two people again. How does it feel? The best. <laughs> so, uh, 25 to 20, anybody? 24. Natural 20, which made a 23. 23. All right. All right. Oh, he's super low. All right. 20 to 15. Uh, uh, 17. Oh, 17. sorry. Scanlan 2 is also 21. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Joe, you're sitting on Scanlan 2. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 20, uh, 15, to 20, uh, 15 to 10. 12. No, really? What? Whoa. Why we would I be pipe with that? No, no, no. Wow. Did you get pipe? Yes. A 6. Ooh. Wow. Oh. All right. All right, got it. All right. So, Vex, you're up first. You're going to use the, um, the rope of ent- entanglement, is what I was going for. I can't find my. I have the sheet here. Okay. Oh, you do? Okay. So you oh, thrust- no, here it is. Yeah. So you thrust it out. It has to make It's a DC 15 dexterity saving throw. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Natural one. Yes. Natural 20 to natural one. Yes. Back to back. So, as you fall into your back and shout that out, you go rushing towards it and you watch as this glowing, long piece of thick rope begins to suddenly wrap around this Gloomstalker. It's trying to take off again. It gets like a foot off the ground before its wings get pulled up to its body and it falls back onto the ground, wrapped and restrained by the rope. Great. So, I can do my thing now? Uh, is anybody else going to do anything? Yeah, right I'm going to run, run up and just grab it by the head and I can lay on it. And just hold it? Yeah. Okay. Scanlins? Uh, I'm just watching, and I, I turn to Scanlan too and say, "So that's a gloom stalker." Yeah. And uh, that guy, I'm not sure what he is, but he looks really cool. Well, I know what he is. I'm not going to tell you though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Archon. I remove this this golden needled, five jeweled wreath from around my neck, and I approach the beast, and I fasten it around its neck. All right. So that is Shock a. Up. Shock kind of. So it's a DC 17. If it barks, it activates. <laughs> Five plus six, it's an 11. It does not succeed. <gasps> you watch as the, the, the thrashing around Gloomstalker on the ground is 
begins to slowly calm down until it reaches a point where it's not moving, it's just breathing, and you almost hear what you sound, what sounds like like a reverse purr. Like a Does this thing have horns? Uh, it has uh, not, it has like a series of spines along mm-hmm. the along the back okay. of the neck, but no actual horns. It mm-hmm. has a head that flares out almost like a cobra, but okay. it looks like it's made of shadow. And where the jaw is, okay. its tongue lashes out, but seems to almost instead of saliva, it gives off smoke. Oh, then I grab it by the back of like Never. the jaw so here, cool. and I put my forehead down to its forehead, and I close my eyes, and then open them, and they turn into that thing's eyes. Correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, the so, the, so the, the gloom stalkers, uh, they have no discernible pupil. It's just a glowing beacon of, of yellow white in where each eye is. And you watch as this dragonborn opens its eyes, its head butted against it, and the dragonborn's eyes now match the coloration okay. of the gloom stalker. I climb up onto its back. Okay, it's still bound by the rope. You get up onto it now. You watch as this, 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 this massive. Dragonborn gets up onto the Gloom Stalker, which is now currently on the ground, like trying to right itself now, still wrapped in the rope. You can, does it release, look the, like you any, can release the rope now. Does it look like anybody's noticed us? Make a perception check. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, that's Ooh, a good, that's a good roll. fighting silently. Um, uh, 33? Uh, you do look and see what appears to be uh, two more gloom stalkers that have broken away from the cluster that are making their way in your direction. Will this thing obey you? you we can should let get go inside. I let go of the rope and go back in the building so that uh, we can hide. Okay. Everyone I else cast following? Pass Without a Trace on all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone else following suit? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. You? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Do you do you leave the gloom stalker where it is and then step inside with them? Can I take it with me? Is if you room? want to. I'd like to say, yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, so as you guys all dart inside this alcove in the building, like most of the roof is gone, there's just a section of roof that's there. It can hide most of you. Um, the Gloomstalker is a bit a bit large as you all kind of cluster into the space as it kind of looms in. <laughs> this is the second time you've had an allied Gloomstalker this close, and it's a very upsetting proximity. Um, Uncomfortable elevator at a convention. <laughs> kind of. As you guys pull, pull into the side, I'd like you all to make a stealth check, please. Why did please. you wear wings? Stealth check. If I'm on its back. Oh, stealth check. Does that have anything to do with my plate armor? Meaning, am I relying on some form of stalking that doesn't make my armor clank around? Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, as you're still riding it and it moves and shifts, there is still the plates okay. hitting against it, so you will still be at a disadvantage. Am I the only one in plate armor here? No, she's got no. Okay, cool. I just didn't want to be fully responsible. She has something that makes her less clanky. Vex just uses that trace. Plus 10, plus 10 to your stealth roll. Yeah, so you don't roll at disadvantage anymore. Okay, great. Yeah, you got no clanky boots. And I am at disadvantage. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Add 10 to your roll. Yeah, yeah, fine. Okay. Fine. 20. Oh, okay. I'll live. I'll live. By the way, there's your stat sheet for the yes. stuff. <laughs> it's taken 50 damage, so you can note that. Uh, can I feed it a whole healing potion? Uh, when you have a moment, you can, yeah. yeah. Or, or Trust we'll, me. Or we'll spot you. It's hard. It'll work out. Yeah. You know, what could go wrong? We were jumping at him and, and punch him in the face. I thought, I thought wrong. I do that. <laughs> do, do you have a name for him? Do you have a name? Yeah. Do you have a name? <laughs> Who That's are you? True. I just love animals. We can kill you any any second, so be uh, scared of us if you're an evil person. You think so? You could, but I know these two. What? And there's a moment of recognition for Percival and Keyleth. Oh, oh my holy God. shit. No way. What? It, oh, it's been like two years? At least two years. At least. What? Percival, we've aged. I, Keyleth. You look almost like. You still look the same. <laughs> she got oh, oh shit! <laughs> Are you gonna let him do that to your girl? It's at this moment you hear two heavy impacts from nearby rooftops. <laughs> okay, maybe not the best reunion time. As you all stay as silent as possible, waiting, one of them takes off, and you can see it arc just barely over the opening, but seems to be doing a wide sweep. Just out of visual range, the other one appears to be stalking from rooftop to rooftop, not far from you. It leaps and lands on top of the small part of the roof that's above you guys. Oh boy. 
it holds. <laughs> a few rocks tumble around you as you're quietly in that space, hoping. Its head peeks over the edge and looks straight down, right into all of you. Oh, oh gosh, shit. darn it. What are you doing? Yeah, you what are we doing? A shoot yes, an arrow yes. into its eyeball. Okay, it. so as soon as the head passes over, make oh, your attacks. Uh, you're close enough to get one swipe up because you're on the back of a Gloomstalker, so as his head peeks down, um, you can get a strike at it. Okay. Uh, it's about, I say, 12 to 15 feet out. It's going to be good. 35. That hits? Uh, that's going to be a 31. Whoa! That damn, that's a Vox Machina number. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. It's about damn time. It's a level 17, I'll get you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Alrighty, so. A 20, 21 and a miss. Okay. Uh, 25 so damage. 25 damage already. Okay. Oh, and I get, to, I get to do it again? You do. Is its proximity close enough that either of these guys are within five feet, or anybody's no. within? Okay. Oh, I, uh, I'd say Ark on probably is. is. Well, 18. 18 damage? 18, does that hit? It does hit, yeah. Okay. Mm. Cool. Come on, insta kill this thing. I know, I don't want to have to do anything. But it's a bad. 18. Okay. This is the Paladin Dilemma. I think I, I'm going to save the spell slots. Mm. Um, yeah, but I am going to I'm going to swing at this guy pretty good. Go for it. Um, okay, I'm going to swing my, my uh, battle axe. Fane Eater. Okay. Oh, I'm bad. I'm bad so you get two attacks with that. Great. Oh, okay. Well, one was thirty-one. Yep. Uh, that's gonna be nine plus one plus fourteen. That's twenty-three points of damage on the first one. Okay. Nice. Um, and then second attack is gonna be a twenty-three. That hits. And that's gonna be twenty-one points of damage on the Ooh. second. One. Big hits. <laughs> All right. And with that. As soon as its head <sighs> peeks over the edge, two arrows <laughs> under its throat, and you watch as an axe cuts part of its head clean off as it <laughs> tries to make a noise, but the blade is caught in its throat and prevents the air passage. As the faint eater is yanked out of the side, you see the jagged edge of the axe arc back, causing blood to splatter across the back of the, the wall behind him. As Archon goes in with a second swipe, <laughs> and with one clean cleave motion, the head <laughs> Balls and plummets oh, no. into the ground. The rest of the Gloomstalker just tumbles in, oh, so lifeless, good. into the rock. And you see as it lands, its wings sprawl out, and slowly the body begins to dissolve oh, into black good. smoke I, and shadow. I run out and I say, wait, don't kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding with you, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Vox Machina, may we introduce you to Archon? Uh, yeah. Archon? Archon. Hi. You look like you, you know, you you look like us. You look like good. You, you got more stuff? Mm -hmm. We've acquired more stuff over the years. How do you know cool. this gentleman? Oh, we did some work ages ago. Yeah, forever before the we really knew him. Mm -hmm. How yeah. did you get here? It was a crappy swamp. Mm. It was good times. Good, good times. times. Yeah. I, Technically, it was a it was a desert, but yeah. It was crappy desert. Well, it was <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was the worst it was kind of swamp. Yeah. It was one with no water yeah. or anything. Yeah, just the driest of swamps. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are you doing here? That's a long story. <laughs> Weeks ago. We wound up attacked by a cult, my companions and I. This cult was left and bled by a death knight oh. and a sorceress woman. <gasps> Lady Briarwood. Briarwood. Yes. And then Vecna followed, and we were ambushed. My companions and I were marked for death. They were all destroyed, and I watched that death knight burn the closest thing I've ever had to a brother and he cut the still beating heart out of our Goliath. Ouch. And then these buzzards came to pick my bones, thinking I was dead, but I wouldn't die. The queen had another plan for me. The queen? What kind of queen? I hold up my shield. Oh. Make a religion check, Scanlan. Hmm, that's no good. Oh, that's, that's. <laughs> well. Uh, 11? You have passing knowledge that the symbols that adorn both uh, around uh, Archon's throat and the shield that he holds up uh, are that of the scaled tyrant Tiamat. Oh, which is the, uh, the 
patron god to chromatic and evil dragons all across the world. Ooh. Oh, he's evil. He's, he, that's evil. That's the evil dragon. Potentially. You uh, serve this queen? He's all kinds of evil. It's fine. I understand that because of my dogma, we belong to groups that would never mix. But I can assure you, if you help me get revenge on the one that killed my friends, I swear to you, I will fight for your lives with the fury of a man who is already dead. I yeah, think we have yeah, a surprising yeah. amount already in common. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Good pitch. Really good pitch. Devil's He's advocate, maybe cool. not. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I mean, I'm just going to do Stop an instant check on scandal. principle. I'm I'm principle. principle. I, I, I make the Doomstalker snarl at the two scars. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I rolled an eight. He checks out. He checks out. <laughs> um, can I quick, <laughs> quick question? Mm -hmm. Can um, we didn't <laughs> we didn't roll our temporary hit points for our hero's fees? Oh, we didn't. Oh, you did not. You should can do, that. do that. Or does Pike do that no. for us? Oh yeah, well, Pike, you roll the the temporary hit points for all of us, right? How many hit points? Just an additional two d ten. I'm pretty so roll two d ten, Pike. Roll two ten. And everyone was present for that. Oh, and we yeah, have I think you give us a speech. How long does that last? Oh, I don't think should give us a speech. Yeah. It's like 10 minutes, isn't it? it no, it's a short rest it. thing. Okay. But it's a later. thing that lasts later. until later, later. later then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I should have done it before, but I'll do it next time. What you doing well. over there, Johnson? I'm just looking for my tens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Two ones. Wait, Two are these twelves? No, those are No, those are definitely tens. All right, so you guys gain <laughs> Two additional hit points oh, to your max hit points. Oh, no. that's a bummer. <laughs> Is that everybody? Should I? Yeah. No, Meaning no, mine. No. No. Oh, you, you weren't there for the meal, unfortunately. Oh, okay. This is from earlier. Oh, but okay, the meal didn't do a lot, apparently. Oh, so so glad I'm here. here to be useful. Oh. <laughs> However, everyone does still have their advantage on wisdom saving throws yes. and yeah, your immunity to fear, so which is pretty huge. And, 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 and poison. So and poison. Right. It's fine. The hit points are more of like a bonus. Yeah. You're fine. Some beast. Yeah. Some beast. Some beast. Can I feed this thing a healing potion? I'm so sorry. You may. Oh, okay. real I really I thought I was going to roll two tens. Greater? Oh, I think greater. Uh, if you have, yeah, so I think it would be 44 plus 4. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I rolled the wrong. Probably, I actually those, rolled I think the those wrong were eights that you were rolling, so that's probably. That's, uh, cool. that's nine. That's and not great. And immunity to fear as well. No, that's yeah. Not great. yeah. And, and, and poison. Start. We'll figure it out. We can do lay on hands and okay. stuff. So yeah, wait. well, I have them. I you can't die. <clears throat> Is that true? What, when did he say he couldn't die? Well, he said like, she thought I was dead, but he my said that queen... he would fight like a man who was dead. But he it was didn't... a metaphor, Grog. Oh, metaphor. What? oh no, you're right. We've had talks yeah. about. I don't, this. I don't like those. Do you mean I literally? Know. Have you died? It's kind of a colloquialism for religious <laughs> folk. You know what I mean? Like I hit a death <laughs> save. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. tight, tight, tight. Ah, yeah. Yeah. It's a metaphor. <laughs> I, t I touch him to see if he's real. <laughs> I blow, I blow smoke out of my nostrils with <laughs> a little fire. It's kind of squishy. <laughs> <laughs> really soft. soft. Thank God he's wearing that armor, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Pudgy. Like Let's, uh, <laughs> all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pump 30 then back into this Gloom Stalker. Okay. Plus, plus the nine. Go so there was, what, 51 that came off? So 50, 50, 50 points of damage. 50 points, off. so I put 39 back on, so that's 11 off. Yep, you got okay, it. Okay, cool. Perfect. When do we want to do freedom of movement stuff? Not yet. That's Oh, right, but no, that's like okay, only okay. lasts for an just hour. Just checking, just checking. So, here's the thing: do we do we go for the out, outer walls to take out the the shield first? Probably. I think so. Yeah. Once we go the in, we're going in. Outer walls of the city. Of Tharamvala, yes. Yeah, How are we going to take down entire walls? Do we being... have to take out the walls? We have to break a couple of the crystals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those crystals that we were like kind of started to break when dome. we were. If we just do a hit and run, we can cause so much chaos that all of these gloom stalkers are going to be busy dealing with everything in the air. Hey, you remember our old plan of just set everything on fire? Let's do set everything on fire. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, you, it, that's actually a brilliant plan. We could disable a, a, a crystal. Maybe I could light a signal. Distract people while they're distracted. We make it to the next one. And as long as we're close to that one, they don't know that we're here. They can yeah. see us. What are these crystals? Stay within sixty feet of me. We don't know. We don't know where these crystals are. What are we? They're doing? all around the. They're all around yeah, the. Outer walls. The outer we wall. saw them when we were in the city before. Yeah, in the Shadowfell. Remember, we we, we, we kind of right. jabbed at one and decided against it. All right. Yeah. If we break these crystals, this could help. Bring Everything. Down does anyone have know? The help in does anyone know that you're here? Vecna? Uh, 
the female wizard, wizardess? She knows. And the Death Knight. And if how, they've been how, watching how, you, he just vanished. We should run now. But we I should move. But they yeah. thought I was dead. They yeah. left me for dead. So they don't actually, but they, they don't necessarily know you're in the city. I think they'd be surprised to see me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's move. Okay. We should move quickly. Yeah. Okay, stealthily, okay. let's try to make it to the outer wall so that we can cut out some of these crystals. Okay. Yeah. Um, first off, make a perception check as you glance out to let's see how close you are to the nearby wall. I'm fraught with danger. Uh, At least we get there. Okay. I mean, okay. Um, you notice you're on a different part of the city than you were previously. You guys had been mostly, like, if, if the city's moving forward, like, if you consider the, the direction that the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you consider the direction that the Titan is traversing forward, you guys were to the back and right side of Tharam Fala. As, a, like, a clock, if, any, you know, if, if, if 12 o'clock is where it was traveling, you guys were around 4 or 5 o'clock. Okay. Um, looking now at the layout of the city, you're closer to 11 and 12 right now. Okay. Um, and you're maybe about. 200 feet from the nearest wall. You can see the curvature of the dome is pretty striking from your current position. And you can see the, the pulses, the waves, the, it's like it's this constant, imagine like a reverse waterfall of energy just shooting upward and every, every now and then there's, there's a, a burst. Does it look like there's an area that, that the pulses are brighter along the wall? Uh, yes. You do see the, the the pulses aren't universal. There's certain <laughs> locations, about six of them throughout the city, that you occasionally see them. Are we close kind of to one of those pulses? Uh, you can maneuver there. It's not like directly behind you, but you can eventually get to that location. Okay. Yeah. I see where one of the crystals is. Let's let's move towards that let's go there. We'll potentially. Get, we'll get Grog to, to to smash it to smithereens. Yeah. Or smash smithereens. Yeah. Yes. You do it. You like it. Smithereens. Smithereens. Smash smithereens. You're so good at punching walls. You do you. All right. So. I would like you all to make a stealth check. Yeah. Are you all walking on foot? Are you taking the gloom I'm, stalker? I'm on top of the gloom stalker. Okay. Um, is it walking? Yeah. Do we, we still have passive. It's, 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 it's currently walking, yeah. unless you, you want to unless you want to hover with it. You got to stay within sixty feet of us. Oh, Thirty yeah. feet of us. Sixty. I'd like, I'd like to 60. hover. Okay. So okay. as you guys are are staying Ooh. low key, Archon is currently riding against the back of this gloom stalker as it's hovering in the air above. <laughs> and the stealth check you're going to be rolling. Is going to be to see whether or not anything notices you on the back of a gloom stalker. Okay. So the gloom stalker is... is not going to register on the radar of any of the current watching creatures because it's part of its posse for the moment. So is this with disadvantage for plate armor or not? I would say no because it isn't a movement-based stealth check. You're just trying to Love stay it. still. So with this is the bonus. With the ten. Plus ten. With plus Love ten. It. Good. I think. Yep. Uh, Thirty-one. Ooh, wow. Yeah. So you're just clutching the exterior of Never it, trying the train to stay down. low. You're like, you're you're pulling into your armor like a turtle shell almost, since it is black, mm -hmm. um, and using that to try and blend into its form. And can we um, kind of stay under the shadow of you the guys? Can move along. Yeah. So thirty-one. Oh, uh, twenty-nine and twenty. Okay, thirty-four. Kila. Thirty-two. Max. I rolled a four, so it's thirty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rope. Twenty-nine. Oh wow. Eighteen. What? Oh, man. What? No, I I thought I did oh. it wrong. Nineteen. Okay. The head has muscles. Okay. A five and a six. All right. So you got a glossy. As you guys begin to maneuver <laughs> through the streets, <laughs> dodging from building to building on the outskirts of Tharam Fala, uh, thankfully, one the streets are a little more sparse on the edges. You also notice as you're traversing, and this this is interesting. Um, <laughs> It's his headshot. <laughs> I would have liked to put yeah. it. Uh, if he yeah. had signed it. Like, oh it's uh, it's Archon's commercial headshot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's uh, one in black and white. Yeah. <laughs> I can't find that a reproduction. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's his like work in the it's office so look. Yeah. Yeah. That's such an LA joke. Yeah. Oh my God. All right. So, as you guys are maneuvering, um, Vax and Vex and Keyleth as well, you have the high passive perception of the group. Um, you notice that the droves of undead that have been clogging the streets of the city and the clusters of cultists that seem to have been running around busily, running from location to location with some work on their midst, um, the undead were just scattered and wandering, are now unified and moving in patterns. They're now being driven by some intent, whereas once they were just scattered amongst and, and kind of in a holding pattern, now they're maneuvering with solid purpose, away from the sides of the wall and the, uh, the shields, which enables you to go relatively un unnoticed, but you're seeing them now gathering towards 
similar tunnels to the one you came up in. Shit. You can see now dozens and dozens of zombies and skeletons and the occasional robed cultists, both warrior and mage alike, all beginning to make their way down into the Titan at various points in the city. Down. They're going to go. Vesselheim. They're going to go attack the city. Oh God. We got to get these shields down so that Vasselheim can actually have <laughs> a fighting chance. chance. Yeah. Let's find a bridge. All right, let's do it. As you guys make your way around the edge of the, of the city, you follow these pulses. They occur every two minutes or so, so you have to keep an eye out for it until one happens and then reorient your direction. But you taking point on this, you lead everybody, darting from place to place. Um, man. Rolling shitty ass perception. That's okay, man. Let That's it okay happen. for you guys. Yeah. Let it happen. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Um, <laughs> eventually, you come around uh, one cluster of exterior buildings. It looks to be what, what was once a manor that was converted to a fortress, um, like a small exterior fortress to this inner circle of Tharamphala. You curve around, and there you see, familiar to you from once before, the walls that surround the exterior of this inner sanctum of Tharamphala and the basis of this field that contains the entirety of the city. Um, looking at the wall, you can see, the, you can already feel the dangerous vibration of this field being so close. There's just this kind of violent hum to the air that with each pulse kind of hits this, this certain frequency of sound that causes your ear to tweak just a hint. Uh, and you can see these violent waves of green-blue magical energy just <laughs> Up the side of the wall, like, like like a very powerful reverse waterfall, just shooting up to gather and maintain this field. Um, you cannot see the crest. The crest was visible from the outside of the wall, um, and the energy field is being produced on the outside of the wall. You are on the inside of it, but you can gather the base location of where this burst is happening to get an idea of loosely where it might be. How thick it. is the wall? You don't know. And we saw the crest before because there was a doorway in the wall, in the Correct. in the outer wall. Is yes. there any kind of doorway around us? Uh, you glance over to where the door was below the crest before, and you can see the opposite side of a door currently. Yes, it is shut, uh, and appears to be made of like hard, hard wood with its iron bar reinforced, both uh, kind of cross hatch. Well, we can try the door, and then if that doesn't work, Grog can make a new one. Mm. Yeah. Let me check out the door. Pretty. pretty it was a pretty thick. I'm not really so keen on making doors as opposed to knocking them down. No, you're very, you're very, you're mm. aggressively good not at communicating. With All right, I'm um, just me. Let me check and see if the door is trapped. How are you with doors? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> Thankfully, I only rolled a nine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, so 26 for investigation. Uh, the door is locked, but it is not trapped. All right, let's open it up. I, uh, I hand Grog some jerky from my pouch. Hungry? Oh, suck it, man. Mm. <laughs> Don't share it. Mm. 28. 28, okay. Um, so the the door. And it's, it's interesting, because you put as you put your, your lock picks in to feel the tumblers, uh, you can feel the, the metal vibrating, like the entire door is And as you hit it, and the door swings open, almost like something's been pushing it on the opposite side, it whoosh, swings open and slams on the inside of the frame, and there you're looking at just a wall of violent green arcane energy. Oh just <laughs> coasting by, actually this is it's blasting downward right now because the threshold crest, as you recall, was uh, above the doorway in the wall. Can we see it? Like above the doorway? Is no, it like in the flush. archway? It's like on the other through. side? It's on the other side and up on the wall, and okay. currently where the door opens, there is just violent magical energy okay. slamming down. Do yeah. you think it's possible to like punch up on the archway yeah. and like yeah, knock maybe. the so crystal can, down? So pick up a, a rock about that big and just take, walk 10 feet back and throw it at the energy. It hits the field, and there is a violent flash in that section, about a foot radius around where it was, and the rock just Whoa. shoots past you. Make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, shit. Ooh, that's oh. not good. Uh, 16. 16? Mm -hmm. Strange. Wow, you haven't, you, that's the first time you failed a dex save in a long yeah, time. I rolled a three. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so happy uh, you are. Six, you are fallible. This is why you were trying to choke. Yeah. Uh, you take six points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, it's a D4 plus two, but it, it it literally pelts you in the side of the, the jaw and the neck, and you turn around and just 
feel it. You could feel like the pulsing of the blood beginning to flow into the bruise that's going to be there tomorrow. I literally just got choked to death uh, 18 hours ago, so I'm not sweating it. What are we going to do? <laughs> Dog? You think you can Let's punch start up? Drilling up? Okay. Try Go punching up. All right, but if we interfere with that force field and it somehow hits us, we're going to be hurting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. only should we back up a little bit, except for me, we should yeah. also like have an, an area that we're going to run to, right? Because I'm sure this will bring the noise. Yeah. Is there a house nearby? Is there a house uh, nearby? Th there's about a 20 foot gap between the wall and any nearby building, and there's the large kind of fortress like mm -hmm. manor that you saw earlier. Um, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's, I'd say fortress like manor, it's not like a huge house. It's, it's two story and it's, it's a decent size, um, but it looks like it's been reinforced in the walls. Like somebody had designed for it to be a place to hold off some sort of a stand, probably from the, uh, the war with Pelor's army and long that's ago. Close by. That's the closest thing to the story. Okay, we can yeah. get ready to run there. However, we're staying within sixty feet of you while yeah, you're All can's sure. gonna stay, just in case it needs of like course. a double a double punch. Yeah. You know, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's probably okay. more than twenty feet, actually. It's probably like 30, 40 feet. Thirty feet away. Yeah. Oh. Okay. How many Gloomstalker riders are in the sky above? Um, I mean, overall. <laughs> uh, make perception check. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Uh Eight. <laughs> there's a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> like, there's a lot of them by Entropis. Like, Gloomstalker shit hits me in the face. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, I mean, you do notice that there's, where previously there wasn't, there's like some sort of a cloud gathering at the top of this dome that mm -hmm. seems to be kind of funneling down onto Entropis. Uh, Actually, we gotta get on this. Well, hold on. You gotta stay here, right? Because of the. That's what I said. I'm staying. All right, fuck Within it. 60 feet of you. I would like to rage. Okay. And I'll go, Tiger Uppercut! And I'll just bump <laughs> the, <laughs> the roof of it. Go ahead and make an attack. Oh. Uh, yeah, destroy. 23. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage d4 plus your strength modifier. Uh, that is 15 just by itself. So. Times two. That's 30 points of damage with a punch. One punch, man. One punch. Just fucking siege, man. That's good. So as you slam into it, you guys watch as right above the doorway and the door frame, the entire wall. Which is a spider crack shoots up about twenty years. The wall's about thirty feet tall or so. Um, actually, that's about about twenty so feet. Um, and it cracks up to the very top, and you watch as parts of the large parts of it break <laughs> off and fall, but it hasn't completely collapsed. But it's sustained some very serious One damage. One more, we run. Yeah, and take cover. One more. Um, yeah, kill it. I also need you uh, to go ahead and make a Constitution saving throw, please. Oh no. Uh, I'm going to walk up behind him. He's yeah. within ten feet of me. He gets a plus four. And plus two awesome. from me. Oh, oh shit! Well, it, it, it doesn't stack. They don't stack. It doesn't I'll stack. Take the plus four. It's plus four. Is when <laughs> I'm backing the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. yeah. Off the table. From the aura. Aura of protection. <laughs> Provided by Tiamat. Twenty twenty-four. Twenty-four. Touch. Whoa. Right. All right. <laughs> you. You suffer, it would be 14 points of force damage, reduced to seven. Okay. Um, and you're pushed back 20 feet, but you're not knocked prone. Okay. So as you slam into it, there's a burst Whoa. of arcing energy out of that section of the doorway and wall that slams into you. You go spinning past, spiraling, and you catch yourself in the ground about 20 feet away, Whoa. in the middle of the open there. Uh, catch yourself. Um, like a Jackie Chan film. <laughs> Still don't fucking see you, okay. It's <laughs> a very loud. I'm rolling so shitty today. Yeah, well, Thank you. you're going to roll well when it counts. I'll take a shot. Yeah. yeah. Take a shot as well? Yeah. All right, so as Afis Grog spins back and catches himself, you walk up to this door frame with your axe in hand. Yeah. Go for it, roll an attack. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be a, it's going to be a 19. 19 hits. <sighs> 19 hits the wall. There's an AC of 18 hey. on the wall. The wall has my armor class. That's yeah. really, that is really depressing. <laughs> With solid thing it's here. A magic, it's a magic wall. That's going to be 20 points of damage. 20 points of damage. That'll do it. Ooh, so as, nice. as Groggy catches up and look up, you watch as Archon just rushes forward and with a giant leap cleaves the axe into the stone. As it does, the archway collapses downward. First oh, no. off, make a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm standing there like a catcher. I'm just ready. <laughs> just ready. Con save. All right. Ew, oh. not, not the 
big money. This is not. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna be. More whammy? It's gonna be more, an, whammy. more, more whammy than uh, than big money. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, that's a, that's a nine on a concept. That's not gonna do it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nine. You suffer uh, sixteen okay. points of force damage, and you get blown back into Grog's direction and knocked prone. So you, you catch, but the impact okay. actually pushes you back five feet, and, the, and he falls face first on the ground. <laughs> There's actually a dig in the ground, like a groove where the impact is. At that point, as you watch the wall crumble and collapse, you see suddenly dislodged from its position the uh, about two and a half foot wide threshold crest stone that is embedded in the wall there crumbles downward and falls out of its space. As it does, there's a series of bursts of vibrant arcane energy that just <laughs> shoots up the wall, causing this side of the wall to glow exponentially brighter than the rest of uh, the shield, at which point, like a large slice of pie, one-sixth of the dome just <laughs> falls inward, and for the first time since you've arrived, you see the non-filtered sky above of the darkened clouds that have completely encased the upper atmosphere of Authensia. Uh, which, which direction? Now are they can get in. You also, you also glance past where it crumbled, as the city is at a slight angle forward, the way it's placed on the front of the Titan, and you look down and see immediately around the familiar sight of the Vasper Timberlands oh, that surrounded the exterior of Vasselheim. Oh God, we're there, we're there. And there ahead, <gasps> not more than maybe. A few miles off, you can assume from this distance, you see the singular mountain pillar that this, that Vasselheim is built around in the outer wall in sight. You, I, I don't know, do we keep going? Do we try you to also, get down somewhere? at this point. Uh, Alderaan is in sight. <laughs> We're coming around that there we go. <laughs> um, everyone make perception check, please. Uh, I got this guy, don't worry. Famous last words, yeah. Yes, uh, oh, hey. yeah, don't fuck me. 27. Oh, I hate that opal dice. 27. 20. Was this passive perception? <laughs> because if it was, then I rolled the natural 20 of passive perception. <laughs> the natural one. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> 18. Three. 12. Okay. Um, Three. So, uh, those who got over 20, as soon as you see this, 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 this there's this small victory in this moment, of, of joy and accomplishment that is immediately washed over by the realization of how close you are to the city. Um, the, <laughs> the, the two hours that you were gone, still better than a full rest, however, has put you within proximity of the city. Um, and you hear this familiar, large, airy, kind of reedy, stretched screech in the distance. And you glance over and you see in the distance, barreling down in your direction, a skeletal dragon Shit. familiar to you, not far before. Move, 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 I don't move, think we're move. gonna be able to move. We're gonna run and hide. Move, move, hide though. Uh, uh, we're gonna move. hide. We're oh, gonna, gonna run away right? from this. Hide, At least hide, get in, hide. The, in this building that yeah. this there was that in yeah. case it's the, parts, all right? in the same enclosed space. Rain. Yeah, but it's like. It's All right. there's there's yeah. like a there's like a there's a tower like structure and then there's that building that was reinforced to the be reinforced a few spots that will okay. scatter and All spread. Right. But we are not going to scatter and spread. We're going to stay together no matter stay, what. We have to stay within sixty feet. feet. There is no yeah. scattering. Within sixty feet, feet of us. Okay. Well, if you all super are, important. They spot us. If you all are rushing feet, into this yeah. building. Yeah. Yeah. The Everyone make a stealth check, please. Okay. Uh, is this a hovering, yes, hovering stealth check? Uh, <laughs> if you want to still stay out in the open, that is up to you. Oh, God damn! So they're all dart, they're all darting into a building, so the choice is yours. You can stay with your, uh, with your beast. He's kind of one of them, so I can kind of leave him outside somewhere. You're on top of him. Yeah, I am. So, do you want to try and blend into his form? I'd love to. I think that's what I want. Okay, to then make yeah. make make a. You still get plus ten. Make a straight up. You would not be within thirty feet of her once that when she enters the building. So. Can you do like the cool like John Wayne thing and like go underneath of him and like yeah. hang on that's his what belly? I, that's what I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to do. That's okay. pretty cool. Make an athletics yeah. check. Athletics check. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. That's, that's okay. Twenty-eight. <laughs> As this happens, you immediately climb down to the underbelly of the Gloomstalker, and you now 
to maintain hold on it, because it's physical form, and it's interesting, now that you've been this close to it, you've been wrestling it, you feel it's partially corporeal, there's something about its its physicality that is almost gelatinous, like the, it's it's made up of, of a combination of shadow and physical will. And uh, as you clutch into it, your fingers kind of dig and begin to seep into it, almost like a, like a, like a cluster of tar. Oh. Um, but it holds you fast, and you're there underneath. Gross. You can make a stealth check without disadvantage, but this will... This will it's like a gnarly acupuncture. Is it? is it a boy or a girl gloomstalker? <laughs> I'm close enough to know. Uh, gloomstalkers are actually sexless. Okay. Um, they they have no natural... It seems to um, be sexual. Oh, do I have a little... You do oh. not. Hey. Oh, hey, that was um, that. We don't hand them out of the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be an 11. Okay, good to know. Okay. Rest of you guys? Oh, uh, 16. No, 18. 18 Add 10. Sorry. I did. Uh, okay. 22. Uh, 33. 46. 27. 30. 19 and 30. Okay. No. Uh, 43. Oh. Okay. As you guys all dart into this building, you, you all quietly listen outside as you maintain hovering in place. The skeletal dragon <laughs> swoops down, and as its wings catch itself, <laughs> the wind billows through the space in the center here. You can see a bunch of the uh, the dust and pebbles and loose rubble that's been kind of built up around here, and the wall that was left behind just gets kicked up and kind of spins a, a brief dust devil in the vicinity. The skeletal dragon there still flying. Make a perception check. But we're within 60 feet of him, right? You said we were in. He's kept relatively close to the building. Okay. So I didn't get the plus ten. No. No. Okay. But you're still hidden from view from Vecna. Perception. That's not. That's not terrible. That's a sixteen perception. Okay. At, as soon as the dragon gets gets close, and you've seen it flying about up in the kind of stratosphere area of this dome before, um, you can see there are still bits of kind of flesh dangling off of the bones, mm -hmm. um, and it is a. Familiar colored flesh. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Whereas you and your adventuring party had traveled here no. before, no. this risen dragon form seems to have been torn from the corpse of the mount that brought you to this city. Oh no. You see, as the, as the skeleton, uh, or the, the skull of its body, its eyes crackling bright blue-green energy, there on the back of this dragon, oh, no. you see two humanoids standing on its back. You see uh, a dark-armored male with pale skin with a well-kept beard and short hair with his arm around the waist of a female who's currently clutching onto the back of its bones. You can see the woman in red robe is being blown up. Her hair uh, bound in the front is wild behind as she has a necklace bobble that hangs around her neck, crackling blue-green energy. As she has her hand forward, she glances around at the space angrily. What? <sighs> Looks over at the gloom stalker. Oh, what have we here? Is this your doing? Maybe she doesn't see you. <laughs> Maybe she's talking to the gloom The gloom stalker, I control the gloom stalker and make him screech. Adorable. <laughs> Wouldn't you say so, honey? And the man behind her goes, oh, quiet. Well, I'm a fan of taking thorns out of my sight. Is it time we do a bit of Surgery, darling. And the woman goes, but of course. Oh, how I've missed you. And she nuzzles into his neck a bit and turns around. The dragon <laughs> lands onto the tower across the way, facing in the direction of the gloom stalker, and it inhales. And you watch as it begins to <laughs> breathe in all of the shards of bone matter that have been scattered across the streets of the city begin to whip up and spiral into its rib cage like a blender. As it pulls back, and as the dragon's mouth opens, it releases a blast of bone shards that arc out in front of you. You and the Gloomstalker, each I need. Oh, no. No. In, into the earring I say, this is our chance. We leave him as a distraction and we go. <laughs> They don't know we're here. We can run. You and the Gloomstalker make a dexterity saving throw, please. But here's the thing. 
Like, we're not gonna have a better chance to get them away from Vecna. Surprise Should we attack, attack them now? Plus, we have one extra ally. Two. Yeah. We can attack them now. Away from you Vecna. said deck save? Correct. Little okay, I actually it's true. <laughs> have. It's true. It doesn't know where you are. An advantage on deck saves that I can see. Just, there you go. Maybe, maybe wait okay. for them to land and be. They are so landed. Assumed. Aren't have they, they landed? landed? Are they have hovering? They landed? They've landed on a tower right across from the building where you guys are. How far away is that? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, let me show you. It's, uh, I rode in on a white dragon named Obatala. Oh! oh. What? Oh. What? Oh, oh. no! Oh. 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 oh! And they're on this, they're on this? How did you so, know we would be here? Oh shit, sorry. sorry. It's my, uh... Um, How did he know we would be here? I had oh, a few possibilities. No. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, oh it's okay. Briarwood's down. Bony Not dragon! Me. Oh, man. Oh, oh, God. oh, oh no, they're dead, we're dead! Oh, yeah. If that was the way it played, you guys would have been dead a long time ago. One hit. Wait, did you put like a cool little acrylic thing on there to make I them totally like mount it? You were playing. <laughs> 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 Currently riding your gloom stuff. Hey, on top of my dude. Yep. Uh, thank you, John, okay. Paul, and everyone at Gale Force 9 for my sweet ass mini that just arrived <laughs> from the UK today! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good time. Thank you. Pretty Thank you very much. There you go. Oh, my God. Sweet. So we're so. in this building? <laughs> well, I was kind of on the bottom, but we'll, we'll let it. Yeah, we're well, putting it there. Yeah, 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 that's the range shit. of the blast right there. Run okay. it tough. And maybe you rolled really well in there. All right, so you guys, let's go ahead and figure out your placement here. Okay. So. Oh my god. If you guys rush into this building here. <laughs> oh, there's a window. Oh there's windows. God. Okay, 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 okay. So exciting. Oh, oh my man. god. Okay, so you guys rushed Downstairs? around and into this side. So you guys are in the base floor here. Okay. Where do you want to be? Can we? Can I run upstairs and look in that window? Sure. So I'll put you at the window there. Okay. Who else is placed where? Wait, so we I'll entered, be downstairs. You guys entered around. There's no way to over see the out window and there. No, there's, there's no windows, 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 windows on this side. That, just whenever you feel like it. Okay. Um. So. This is dirty table. There seems to be some windows on this side, right? There's a couple of small slits, but they're facing out this way. And then would you say we could use the attic windows? Uh, that, that's, that's more up to you. The place there. To you. there would be no okay. attic windows. Um, I'm, I'm this gonna... has been reinforced, so like a lot of like, there's been places of armor on the bottom. The only windows that are available are ones up top, and even them only have an arrow <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm just Because we can't see around there, I'm going to use it as a reference photo. Fair enough. So, <laughs> Max, are you up with your sister? Uh, and, yes, I am. And Trinket is out. All right, so you bam, trink it out of the next one. I bam trink it out, but he's down by he's down by Grog. Okay, we'll put Grog. We'll say that you were <laughs> quite down in this building, being as quiet as you can. Percival, Scanlan, Keyleth, Pike. I'm lot. behind my boy, my boy Grog, my boy Blue. Oh, uh, there's that right. other you're window. My you're my boy Blue. Up on the second floor. Yeah. Okay. So we'll put you up there. Oh god! Oh god! Guys, do not worry. Oh god. Well, we'll, we'll we have an that. extra. Scale. Plus two to our hit points. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fine. <laughs> the most amazing two D ten so roll good. ever. Two. <laughs> All right, Scanlan. I mean, I'm just in there somewhere. I I need a second Scanlan. Oh, is Caleb up top? Got it. Caleb's up top. Okay. <laughs> I think yeah. I would be near the window where I could kind of see. What's what's your name? Archon. Yeah, we'll Archon. Archon. Yeah. We'll say for the purposes of this. Okay, it's work on scale. You can just move with me. It's so fine. So this will be a tiny scan. I'm sure. Scan. Where are you? Uh, near the windows that can kind of, if I, uh, the downstairs windows where I can kind of. There are this is so intense. Right here, there's downstairs. like small slits. Yeah. They're all armored up. So but I can't. Oh, they're armored up. All right. So then I'm upstairs. All right. Okay. So we'll put that there. So we'll say for the purposes of this, you guys. Are I can't believe we're fighting the fucking Briarwoods again. That's, that's gonna be fun. What that's is this, not. The third time? That's not the death knight. Third time. time. No. 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 Yeah, that's her. Ah, her, her such dude. a bitch. Sure. So. Yeah. That's that's Lord Brown. Okay. Now that we're set, thank you for your patience. He's a vampire. Uh, He's a vampire. So what'd you roll, you and your oh, gloomstalker? Uh, well, me good, not him, what not it, it, not so good. Uh, I had I had a twenty-seven <laughs> gloomstalker, eleven. I'm trying to be give the proper. Yeah, that's proper. Gender grammar. specific. Yeah. <laughs> they. 
They, they. they. rolled yeah. an 11. The they rolled, yeah. The... Uh, it's an amazing shout-out. And you roll? Uh, well, actually, no, wait, hold on. They yeah. would They shout would benefit out. from my aura of protection. That's true. So they would have a 15, I would have a 20. That's what they're plus six? The Gloomstalker gets a plus six dexterity saving throw. E, oh, plus six. I'm looking at the dex modifier, just plus, plus three. three. Right, it says under saving throws, dex plus two. Oh, because great. So Wait, then it? let's throw in no, an extra dex three. Plus that's eight, sorry. Oh, shit. We'll take so, yeah. it. so then it, they, they had a 20. I had a 27. All right, you both succeeded in the save, so you take yeah. half damage, which is only uh, 26 points of necrotic damage. That's solid. Uh, okay. Sorry, piercing damage, not necrotic. So, that, so that as the bone shards go slamming into each of you, uh, that completes the dragon's turn. Now, everybody, please roll initiative. Okay, come on, come get some. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Come get it, you fucking All right, 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 all right. You said 16 now? Sorry, sorry, my guild eyes just amazing for it. 26. 26. Correct. Okay, I got that right for there, 26. Yeah, yeah. So, do I roll for this thing or not? Yep. Do I uh, roll for the thing? Be yes, you within the next Separately hour? of no. me. Separately. Okay. Okay. Don't say any of. I'll save it the easy bit. Let's make it on your turn. Hey Fair man, enough. I can do There's a lot going on here. All righty. In game hour, not this game hour. Right, right, right. Oh. Right, right. Mm. No. So I mean, you 25 to 20. Uh, thanks to Kaz, 27. Yeah. Oh, 24 Ooh. for me. Right. 25 to 20. I just said that. Right? 24, yeah. 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 20 to 15? 18. 17. Nice. For me and they. 18, 18 17. <laughs> right. You're being that bad. So, oh, okay. So 18, 17? Yes. Yeah. Do you always do this or is this new for you? I always do this. 15. How do I miss oh. this? Nice. Wow. Is there a cricket in the studio, or is that part no. of the sound effect? No, it's in the studio. It's not that intense of a fight. 15 to 10. <laughs> oh There's a really ten. annoying cricket. Yeah. yeah, you hear Dax, it. Dax, what were you again? 24. All right. Nice. That's a cricket. <laughs> you were looking at me in Jiminy? the eye when you said it. All right. Cricket's initiative is sadly 30. Your... He's like, uh, I should do it. Keyless, what'd you get? Six. <laughs> so did, so did Scanlon, too. Hateful eight. All right. He will separate initiatives for you. I don't know. This is new for me. This is new. This is first time. Have you been waiting your entire life? So is that everybody? Yes. Yeah. I believe it's everybody. That's everybody. All right. Matt, just manage the 10. People and three creatures on the field right now, and we'll be fine. I know, be good. <laughs> All right, first up first, Grog, it's you. It's me. <laughs> so. Already raging. Yep, you're already raging. Can I run, uh, do a, uh, let's see, there is a window, right? There's no killing rats in a basement. Can I run upstairs? Okay. Full deal yeah. here. There you are now. Up. Protect the wine casks. <laughs> right there. Get and can there. I jump out the motherfucking window? That you can? Yeah. Is oh that God, uh, my right full 50? Uh, I'd put that at about 35, I'd say. You got 15 feet still. Awesome. So I'm going to uh, double dash with the spider boots that Percy gave oh, me, and I'm yeah. going to run up the tower. Oh, yeah. And just go straight. Yeah. One dash. One dash. So you get up to the top of the tower, and you are now base to base with the drop pad. Oh, yes. Right there. Did you those, just those boots were a good call. Go farther than 60 feet Sorry, away from me? This? No. Technically, no. radius wise, we're radius wise. He's close to you. Could you? Yeah, why are you making me feel bad? That's killing. Just remember that because it's a it's a thing. Drink right, both. Yeah, but they might be able to just uh, communicate with. Vecna. They could, yeah. but we don't know. We could kill them before he knows. So that means if I get up next to this thing, I would be in range yes. of the sixty feet. It's you a, are within sixty feet right now. Just right now. do what you do. It's don't Vex's job to keep us That's in radius. Just to keep what 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 don't what bonus do I have? That doesn't give you a bonus. It just keeps Vecna from seeing. Fair enough. It's yeah. It's her anti telekinesis ring. You okay. are within melee of the dragon, yeah. Perfect. Which is, that's my like, the only way we're going to get the drop on him is if he doesn't know we're actually here. Yeah, so he's yeah. With my here, they're going to tell him. We're going to no, kill them. We're going to fucking kill these people. They're, they're going to go, my bonus gonna action, can they're here, it, uh, and then that's it. How do you know they have earrings? They don't have earrings. They have magic. Message. Vax, you're up. Maybe. That's something I have to do and suppose. Oh, I'm way at the bottom. Unless you want to, I had a 24. Oh, sorry, that's right. It can't be done. All right. All right, so, Vax. Okay, can I lean out the window and attack? You may. Okay, I lean out the window, and I am going to use. I, can I see Delilah? Can I shoot at her? Sure. With my sharpshooter, she doesn't get any additional cover or anything. Correct. For the dragon. Okay, so I'm gonna sharpshooter Delilah 
with one of my needle arrows. Okay. That I've been hanging on to for a gajillion years. So that is a 26, 25 to hit. 25 to hit? Yeah, even the shield, she couldn't stop that. Okay, that hits. Yes. Okay, 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 Good. Are you shooting Two. for the dragon? No. no. Oh. Big D. 15, yeah. 20. Is that sneak attack because she didn't know I was there yet? Technically? <laughs> oh, Grog's standing right there. Grog's standing right there. Well, Grog, Grog's in melee with the dragon. Um, I'll say because she was not aware of you, they were only aware of him, so yeah, sneak attack. It's not a crit, it's not a surprise attack, but it, you get sneak. 20, uh, 29, 31. 31, yeah? Uh huh. All right, 31 points of damage. And then my second, oh no, 41, because I was sharpshooting. Okay. Nice. And then, oh, that one definitely doesn't hit. But the it second. wasn't in the thing. Yeah, I know, but it still was a roll, so I think it. What kept. is it? It's seventeen. Seventeen? Nope, that misses. Yeah. So the first, as you lean through the the, the window, you release the first arrow, and as Delilah's up there, kind of you know, both clutching the necklace and has her hand out uh, on this wand, you hit the, her hand with the arrow, and ah! <laughs> looks over and looks down at the window, right towards you, and there's a moment of recognition, and she sees you. Bitch! As you fire the second arrow, she dodges it. Oh. Goes, I remember you. Oh she's, no! She's you. <laughs> she's you. I'm gonna use my my bonus action to hide. <laughs> okay, so you duck off to the side yeah. of the window. Not that it matters, but I'm gonna roll for stealth. Yeah, that did nothing. Uh, twenty-one. No, nope. thirty-one, because I still haven't cast Hunter's Mark. Okay, good to know. All right, that ends your turn. And with that, it is now Delilah's turn. Oh shit! She brought up on the chain. Okay. She did. Shoulder nineteen for initiative. No okay, okay. So it's Grog. Vex. Oh, eighteen. Grog, Vex, Delilah. Delilah. Percy already hit with where I am at the window. Yeah. I don't know where Vex is, I forgot his number. He's eight. eight. He's eight. Okay. Percy okay. what? Percy Arcan Pike. She? Uh, it's, it's our con, sorry. Yes, sorry. Uh, no, don't. He can't. I'll, he can't I'll get spell, old names wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Pike. All right. Oh, con. She is going to point her finger down at the wall where all of you guys are, and a thin, Green ray streaks out from her finger across. It's like disintegrating the wall. It seems to be. I don't like the phone. I know. <laughs> when there are too many dice to roll, the phone comes out. Oh, no, no. I'm just confirming the. Uh, yeah. Look, the it deliverance of the death. Um, um, the method chosen. The size of the space that it can disintegrate. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we, got a, we got a Dragon Ball Paladin. We're fine. Yo, could you bring up uh, Tiamat and have her yeah, help yeah. with this dragon? Ten foot cube of it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. She's, she's, <laughs> so yeah. She's, right. cool. she's, she's on hold. You got on speed dial. This entire yeah. wall, okay. right here. Or, or that one. Well, you could just turn it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's true. You could just turn the whole thing. Stuck in. There we go. Uh, yeah. God, that's so dope. The wall is disintegrated in place and now reveals entirely Vex mm. and Vax. I'm like, nah. Looking out the way. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which point, as she pulls her finger back and the wall just <laughs> turns to dust around you, you just hear off say, I'm sorry, honey, but no. Oh, oh, hello there. Oh, I didn't see you. Hello. That's going to end her turn. It is now the dragon's turn. Mm. The dragon is going to, we'll see if it, that first attack does regenerate. Um, the dragon. No, 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 I'll make it okay. reckless. Okay. I mean, that's the third time it's fallen. You know, I know. At this already? point, I'm just gonna take them off. We, we I should have put, put tape on the bottom of them. That's we my fault. We have tape. We can get tape. If we get some tape. I can do tape, that. Actually? Is there gaff man, tape in the house? Man, I really she wish we had some, some tape, tape right tape. now. I know there's a row of it back there. Oh. Dear oh, dear oh God, send tape. <laughs> did you get it? Did you get the attack? Did you send tape? Dear dear it's Archon. We need scotch tape. <laughs> uh, I believe it's our That's fine. It's fine. So as the dragon, <laughs> you get attack opportunity in the dragon. Uh, it's a 34. 34, that hits. Yeah, get that roll back in the day. Mr. Brian just a, just a little bit. Green, 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 green,
It's hovering right above Ish. the ground. It's trying to get down into the space of the wall that's currently mm-hmm. exposed now. You want to uh-huh. pass the tape over here? Since Please pass the tape over here. Let me ask you guys a question. Tape over here. Yeah. Handle that. I'll take All right, so how much damage is that going? So uh, this dragon would be considered undead, yes. yes. So with the swords, 2d10 slashing damage to undead. That's 32 points of damage. 32 points of damage to the dragon. Nice. We didn't have so as it <laughs> whoops up, Dragon takes one arc with the blade, and as it streaks across, it slams into part of its foot, and you watch the bone just splinters upon impact with the sort of cost. As the uh, the dragon lands, <laughs> it brings its head down into the gap where the uh, opening is and arches forward. As it does, it fills the God entirety of the space. Oh, it inhales the second time. You watch as all the bits of bone arm. spiral up into it. It, it regenerates for the second, for the second time. Nice. The bone shards spill up into is its chest. Is this an attack roll that it's about to make? No, it's a saving throw on you guys' point. As it releases <laughs> this torrent of, of bone shards and rock and whatever else it could like pull up into its chest and releases it, I need everybody in that room, uh, both Scanlins, Keyleth, uh, Percival. Do I not have cover? Scanlin. Uh, cover's not going to help you on this, unfortunately. It fills the whole space. Oh, wow. Should have rode in on a horse. Yeah. Um, dex saves? Uh, dexterity saving throws, guys. And trinkets. This doesn't give us like spell resist, right? No. Scanlan two is going to use cutting words to reduce the damage. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Dex. Okay. Not good. Mm-hmm. That's good. Maybe. Okay. All right. Scanlan 1, 18. Scanlan 2, 25. Both succeed. 18 barely. 18. Succeeds. 17. Mm, barely Damn it. missed it. Fuck! Six. Okay, so, so evasion means zero. Damage. Zero. 31. 31. Succeed. Mm-hmm. All righty. Um, so, so, the only person to take full damage on this is Keyleth, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, double checking here on the bard sorry, ability. Can I sorry, sorry for D and D. Sorry for D and D. Damage by D twelve. Yeah. yeah. So go to roll D twelve. On all of us. Five. So hey, five hey, hey, less. Hey, hey. So that's it's, good. That's, that's good. That's five less. Which is fine. No. No gift so, force. So uh, that is charge. forty-nine points of piercing Ooh. damage to you, Keyleth. Forty-nine. Yep. Forty-nine. Uh, the rest so of you take. Uh, that would be 43. twenty-four. That's minus the five. Yes. Four, my, one forty-three. Minus 49? Because it, it yeah. Okay. I'm at, I'm at 94. Oh, it it fills awesome. the space there, and you all just, you feel every ounce of exposed Once skin and done. flesh has now just been hit with a thousand needles. Done. I did, mm-hmm. uh, I did. That ends its turn. Percival, you're up. Hmm, okay, just a quick, just so I can kind of uh, gather my wits. There's there's an uh, angry Delilah with a wand clutching some sort of weird thing around her neck. Yep. There's a Silas with, I assume, what would be a brand new sword. Probably. And they're sitting on top about how many feet up on a dragon right now? Uh, I'd say about 15 feet. It has to be 15, let's, 20 feet. Let's, 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 let's have a little fun. Um, <laughs> let's have a little fun. All right. Um, and we're, oh good, and I have an escape route. That'll do really nicely. This is going to be fun. I'm going to Bugs Bunny this lady. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shot with. Uh, Don't look down. Why? Bugged, never mind. Okay, never mind. Oh no, that was good. It took me a second. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a uh, shot with Animus. Uh, boy, I'm nervous. I'm going to burn a point of grit, and I'm going to make her drop her wand. You got this. Focus in. Okay. You got it. You got Go it. Roll the attack. Mm-hmm. Walk in the park. Uh, that's a 31 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Yeah. And that's a. Let's make her drop stuff. Is a uh, strength saving throw. <laughs> Natural five. Yeah. So as she's, as she's holding the wand out with the hand, <laughs> she glances back, and as the smoking gun is there, she goes, mm, I certainly remember you. Miss you too, darling. Uh, is that, I still do damage on that one, I Yes, you do. Uh, so that's, uh, wow, I am so Her hand is so now covered in blood, and you can see like, one of the fingers thing uh, looks pretty heavily damaged. That's, uh, She's like, let's do a little, let's have a little fun. That's, uh, Rock does not count within melee of the Dracolich, right? That's just I mean, he could hit his toys. Wing. Uh, Grog is not melee. Correct. That's nine points of damage plus five points of psychic, so 14. Okay, 14 points, got it. Um, for my next trick, um, I'm now going to uh, uh, burn another point of grit. All right. And uh, let's push Silas uh, 10 feet. Okay. Uh, so pull that, and that's. 
another 31 to hit. That hits. Yes. So let's uh, take a little damage and do a little psychic. I do not like this die. I'm getting rid of it. Um, that's fine. It's only, uh, again, nine points of damage plus two points of psychic. Okay, so 11 to silence? And uh, 11 to silence, and silence has to, silence has to now move 10 feet back. If it's right, no save, right? No save. Yeah, so gets mm. blasted yes. off the back of the dragon. Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Bugs Bunny, but you did Woody yeah. Woodpecker. Yeah, I did. So yeah, yeah. Woody Woodpecker is obviously on the certain level has more shade. Is, yeah. is this is creature prone? under control prone. to the point where someone takes damage and has to make a control save? Well, don't we know. don't know. I mean, if it used to be yours, it maybe. was mine. I don't know. But, we'll but, it, but, it, but it was, know. yeah. It, but it's not anymore. Dead anymore. Now it's dead. Um, maybe you can try to get. All right, so he it. he's blown off and lands prone on the ground. I know you're in there, buddy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you like a little jerky. Like, <laughs> all right, jerky's good. Uh, uh, and uh, for my next one, I'm going to uh, let's uh, let's push Delilah ten feet. Uh, Fuck that, okay. bitch for my, for my final trick. Come on. Uh, that's a twenty-eight to hit. Shit, that hits. Yep. Yes. Sorry, man. This is my this is my best trick, and I burned a lot of it. For that. So yeah. that's uh, I should have done some extra damage on that, but no, I didn't. Ah, was, oh, fuck, I'm prone. Uh, fifteen points of damage plus four points of psychic plus ten feet. All right. She gets pulled off the side. Oh, everybody's falling. Oh. Oh. Take some oh. fall damage. Put her behind the dragon. Yeah. Actually, both of them should be behind the dragon. Okay. Right here. Yeah, both of them prone. prone. Did they down. take damage from falling? They did. Each. Yeah. They both uh, took 1d6. And they're both prone? Or 2d6 so each. Sorry. That's a. Uh, yeah, five points pleasure damage each. Uh, and then I'm going to. Man, I should have burned some ball into that. I feel like an idiot. Um, I can't know, and that's just going to attract him. Yeah. So for the rest of it, I'm going to use a bonus action to run a heal. So I'm going to give myself. Uh, I'm going to give myself. Uh, oh, this is the die I'm keeping for a while. Um, 19 extra points back, and I'm going to run downstairs. Okay. So you run down to this area. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm heading towards that back door. Okay. Perfect. Uh, that ends your turn, Percival? Yep. <laughs> All right, Archon, you're up. I would like to rage. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh look who's thrown down there. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Sorry, audio team. <laughs> <laughs> the testosterone in this group just went Premiers. from a half to one. Yeah. <laughs> did you say you went into a frenzy rage for mine? I did. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, I. <sighs> now, question. If I fly past the dragon to Delilah, do I give the dragon an attack of opportunity? Uh, yes, you would. I would. So I have to go through this thing. Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to fly yeah. the Gloomstalker right up to yeah, this thing. Rage. <laughs> Gloomstalker pulls into range and is going to. It makes two attacks on the. On the dragon? On the undead Obatala. Go for it. Yeah! Barack Obama. Oh, terrible. Actually, terrible. Oh, no. Oh, no! No! Um, that's terrible. Oh. Uh, wow, this thing is not. Okay, yeah. so that's going to be a. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> It's a, a, a 13 and then a natural one. Ah, oh, both miss, unfortunately. Fine. Its claws streak yeah. out in front of it, and unfortunately, it just scrapes against the bones, no effect. Okay, but I'm going to. But you have now. your turn. Yeah, now it's me. Okay. Uh, That's an awesome. Is that your warmer box? This is mine, yes. Yeah, it's, it's really it's so cool. cool. I keep looking at yeah. it. Yeah, it's pretty hot. They do those specials, those one of a kinds that you oh. can buy. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> I don't know where to find you, which camera is on. Next campaign, kids. Next campaign. I have an idea yeah. for, a, for a. I paid for it. <laughs> I paid yeah. for it. Right. Um, <laughs> so I get advantage on my attacks. Because I'm raging. This is the first time I've ever raged. Well, yeah. Well, if you're, well, if you're going reckless attacks, you can. Oh, reckless frenzy, frenzy rage. Then yes, you can. Yes, yes. Okay, great. So you're going frenzied rage as opposed to regular rage? Oh, <gasps> frenzy does. Yes, yes. Okay. Have to hold it. Well, oh, what, what, I hold. Remember oh, because you, I'm not. So not I'm not frenzied yet because okay. I use the bonus in rage. Right. Okay, so yeah. I use the bonus attack bonus to rage in the first place. Right. Great. Okay. That first one is going to be a <laughs> a a mm. thirty-three to hit. That hits. Yes. Mm. And this thing yes. is and this thing is undead. Correct. Yes, Queen Tiamat. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pump a third level divine smite yeah. into it, which is okay. 
Okay, just bear with me right now. Don't, we don't do math fast ever. Two, two die eight for the axe. Mm-hmm. Two die eight for a first level divine smite. Three more for second. No. Second, second third, third level and undead. Undead. Correct. Whew. All of it. All eight. Dump it, dude. Unload. So it's seven. All right. Oh man. Okay. Okay. This is not bad. bad. <laughs> Math. <laughs> Math. <laughs> I want to make sure I've got it off. All right. It's going to be. That's going to be 49. Oh! 49 points of damage on the first oh, yeah. hit. So, as you rush up and the Gloomstalker is scratching towards it, you rush with the giant arc. You watch as Fain Eater's blade suddenly springs forth these darkened spray of colors. Red, green, black, every chromatic dragon's power thrust into the blade as you slam it into the side of the ribcage of the undead dragon, watching bones splinter and break from the blast of dark energy. I love it. Second attack. Go for it. That's a good one too. Yeah. Yes. That's going to be twenty-nine. All right. Same thing. Third okay. level divine Ooh. smite. Seven die eight. Okay. Ooh. Forty-seven. As you pull the axe back, you arc it a secondary time, and this time with the sound of of it's like a. A union of four different dragon cries, the fifth one being your own, as you slam the axe a second time, hitting the edge of its clavicle. And it just carves through and breaks. You can see part of the bones just shatter and then kind of reform, but still broken and not in the same way. It's taking this it's a serious round. Okay. Just a hint, a tiny hint of, of remorse for having to kill this thing that I helped raise. Correct. Yeah. As a legendary oh, action, I'm so your blade so with a legendary tier. action incoming. <laughs> Silas Briarwood is he's going to go ahead and move his speed. You can hand me Silas, please. Uh, I got it. I got it. Uh, he's prone. He he's prone, so he gets half of it, and he moves through, uh, and he gets part way through the dragon. We'll say so he's about there. Okay. All right. In a he, dragon. That ends your turn. He, is Silas is up and moving. Silas is up and moving. End of your turn. He, but he was that's, that's, that's all I got. Perfect. All yeah. right. Yeah. Silas's turn. Silas, seeing you come up and destroy the oh, dragon, no. grins, no, no, rushes no, no. up to, in, kind of up to, climbs up the side of the dragon, jumps onto its thigh, and jumps in the air towards you, uh, holding what looks to be a giant black and great axe in his hand. He, that's going to go ahead and make a strike at you. Oh no. Um. Oh, you know what? No, he's not going to. Oh, no. Silas has said, rushes up, axe in one hand, grabs the side of the skeletal rib cage, hanging off, looks up at you and goes, you seem rather strong, and just kind of looks you dead in the eyes. No, no. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. No, come on, no, baby, come on, come on. Come on. Cool. No, do not get turned, Does do he have advantage on some, a wisdom something? No, he nope. doesn't, because we didn't take, he didn't have the feast. Can I, can I cutting words? I don't want You've to already used you. your reaction, buddy. One of don't us has. Well, it's true. Oh. <laughs> That's true. Come on, Scanlan, Scanlan Prime Scanlan. steps up. Cutting words only if, uh, you can't give a bonus to somebody saving throw. Okay. To this. Then never mind. Okay. Yeah. Come on. You can reduce an enemy saving throw. Got it. Okay. You got this. To the yeah, yeah, yeah. Carver. Yeah. 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 You can do this thing. Straight up roll. Here we go. Come on. Mm. <gasps> Not <laughs> He would have charmed you, and you would have had to start fighting. Oh, oh no. you start killing us! Oh. So, so oh, uh, as, as, he, as he stares at you, you feel this cold presence begin to consume the back of your mind, and you feel drawn to him. There's just this force of charisma and drive. Uh, and as you begin to lean forward towards it, you feel this oof in your holy symbol, and as you glance, you break the gaze just for a second to look down, and you see the multicolored fury of Tiamat reach up and block and obscure the vision from him. And as the flames burn off, you look up again, and the presence is gone. And he looks at you with a 
<laughs> a frustrated glance. Wow. Um, oh, yes. He's going to use the rest Bridge. of his. Oh my God. Yes. All right, he's going to use the rest of his movement <laughs> to go ahead. It's and fucking on right and now. Dark, <laughs> dark back around the side of that tower there. Okay. Where are you going? Like, how much, how much movement like, does he have left next after? Next to the door? Uh, well, kind of well he, he, got up, he used a uh, legendary action to get up and get his movement, and then on his turn, he got oh, his movement. Right, right. Um, Not a good use of legendary. Yeah. So on his turn. It's good. It's um, good. Um, that brings us to Pike. Okay, so Go can Pike. I get up stairs? Sure. But just like stay like a. Hidden so somewhere is enough? <laughs> to about oh, where the twins are. There. Okay, so um, I'm going to cast. I know, ching, 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 here I come. I'm going to cast Beacon of Hope. Yes. Um, and choose any, uh, all of, everyone that I see. Everyone within 30 feet that you can see gets affected. Yes. That you can see, does it say? Choose any number of creatures within range. Which is 30 feet? Yes. So you'd be able to see Percival down there, yeah. yeah Would I be able to? I can see Grog. Is that thirty? Grog no. is farther than thirty feet okay. from you, unfortunately. Can you see Archon? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Archon's yeah, like in yeah, direct vision. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yes. yes. Okay. What does this do again? You yeah. have it's advantage maxed. on Wisdom saving throws. So much oh. healing is maxed. Well, and death saving throws. <laughs> nice. Death saving yeah. Wisdom and death. Okay. Um, and then I am also, um, as a bonus action, oh, going to cast oh. Sanctuary on Vex. Nice. Okay. Do we have well, any points for that? Sanctuary is a bonus no, action. It's, it's a bonus action. Yeah. It's maximum max. Okay. Nice. So you don't roll. Okay, okay. Thank what you. does that do? What does Sanctuary Well, just to keep you in the Okay, okay. Sanctuary oh. means that if something tries to attack you, it has to make a will saving throw, or wisdom saving throw to see if it does so or fail. It's what, it's what, what Earth, did Earth did Breaker him. did for 12 uh, turns. Just, All right, and your turn, uh, Pike? Dude. We need Pike. to get back to back. Is that your turn? At some point. Yes. Yeah, um, this is the best thing ever. Lats to lats. Yeah. <laughs> like a fucking cobra. Am I able to sort of get hidden around the wall? Or since I already Next to this um, much Your much movement would have gotten you just up to the stairs like at that point, so you had to climb up again. Like okay. I can't. Yeah. All right. The measuring tape, bro. At the, at the end of that turn, um, too much man for me. Swooping down, you hear two impacts on the roof above you. Love this. Oh no! Oh no! no. And no. you hear the the crowling, tearing sound as the somewhat long, dry, rotten wooden rooftops that are above you guys get pulled open. No. By two bloom stalkers that have joined bitch. the fray. Toothless? Kind of a bitch. Are they undead? You don't know. I mean, like, just do they count as undead? They do not count okay, as undead. Is the roof off of it? Or? Now, right now, the roof is open, so so it's damaged bits and part of it's so fallen in more, and you guys through. can move on. So now they have visual on you. Okay. But that's all I can do this turn. It took them their full movement and action to break in. Oh, they're all up in there. Uh, that's going to end their turn. Scanlan, you're up. Scanlan one. Scanlan 1 turns to Scanlan 2 and sings a song of healing. Uh, wait, does wait. that mean our Scanlan 2 as in the... Uh, Which yes. one are you, prime or two? I'm prime right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, some some, uh, some cannot be healed except by... Ever? They can, they can be repaired. Oh. What does that mean? But not healed with a healing thing. Correct. Or a potion. Correct. Potion. How do they get repaired? Or is uh, it like a... A doty situation? Kind of. Like once they're gone, they're gone. Yep. Duct okay. Uh, like, then never like mind. Pinocchio. That. So after the after yeah. the. I'm just saying because you would know you would know this one. having known the spell sure. and the the, the the significance of its creation. Um, if it is damaged, you can repair it in an alchem alchemical laboratory using rare herbs and minerals worth hundred gold per hit point. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can 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 Scanlan two heal himself? Scanlan 2, no, he can okay. heal other things, but right. the, the actual uh, simulacrum cannot heal other than being repaired. Oh, then one. Fuck. Uh -huh. Little man. Uh -huh. from what? Hey, man. Let's go. The drag cool. breath. Um, all right. Oh, shit. It's all good, guys. We're going to be fine. Let's say. Uh, it's fine. we got to end some shit. I said, goddamn. All right. Uh, well, then Scanlan 1 will heal himself. <laughs> With uh, just a bonus action healing word. Okay. Um, and then uh, he will grab Scanlan 2 and dimension door behind the dragon. Oh, shit. All right. Oh. What are you doing? So both of these guys appear behind the dragon. Awesome. Like next, like right behind the ground. Do you Delilah? know Silas and Delilah are right there? Delilah or here? 
uh, back there. Or is that right here? The... Silas is right here. Yeah, there. The, right next They're to Silas. Yeah. Right there. You okay. want to be behind them? You want both of you yeah. to there be you right go. behind Silas. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll Did you add your Mac? Yeah. I'm allowing you guys to move things. Got it. Huh? Yeah, you got it. Behind yeah, Thank you. Do you want within, um, like, melee range, or do you want back, like, 10 feet? Uh, back 10, 10 feet. That would be great. All right. Okay. So that's your action, bonus action. Mm-hmm. Now you can move. Uh, yes, and Scanlan 2, wait, this was Scanlan 1. Scanlan 2 hasn't gone yet. <laughs> Scanlan 2 is at the very end oh. with Keeler. Uh, Scanlan 1 <laughs> will uh, rock around the side of the thing. Okay, Ooh. there you go. All right, Vax, you're up. I really am? Yep. Oh my, okay, so uh, if I get to the edge. Actually, at the end of the turn, mm. Silas is going to go ahead and use a uh, another legendary Scanlan action. Two? What? What? Well, he's got his, he, got, he got him back, actually, because he used it before last one. So he, has, he used his first legendary action to... Give me silence, please. Yeah. Bloop. But... To... Walls. <sighs> Head up. He can climb up walls. He runs up the side. He can run up the sides of walls. And glances down, vampire. looking That's where true. you are. Not vampires can do Vampires, man. All right. That's going to bring us to Vax's uh, turn. Yeah, okay, so if I get to the very edge there, can I? am I in range of Delilah on the ground with Sharpshooter? Because uh, the cover doesn't do much. Correct. Except full cover. Yeah, she, she would have cover in this circumstance, but you avoid it with Sharpshooter, so you can't. Okay, and am I within 60 feet of her there about? <clears throat> yes. Okay, I'm going to throw Whisper at her, and she's down, so I have advantage. Uh, that is a 27 to hit. 27 to hit, hits. And I'm going to bamf there. Okay. All right, so here we She's go. She's prone. Yeah, so advantage. Yeah. Yep. So you have disadvantage on the attack against her. For what? Because she's prone? Because she's prone, so it's a ranged attack. No, 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 you don't, have, you don't have advantage against her, because there's no, nothing giving you advantage. Oh, her being prone doesn't give me advantage? No, no. actually, her being prone attack. against okay. ranged attacks so gives disadvantage. you disadvantage. Right, going again. Going so roll again. second time. Going again. That's much worse. But, but doesn't it, it cancels <clears> out? For him. Because right? of sharpshooter. Sharpshooter just means she ignores There's cover. No, no, oh, it just means okay. ignores cover. cover. Yes, it doesn't give him so advantage it's still in the attack. Disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Correct. That sucks. Okay, I'm going to attack again. That one, one. misses. That, that was one? a 18. 18 technically would hit. She's going to go ahead and use shield as a reaction to go ahead and add plus five to her AC. So she's on the back, she sees the dagger, and she goes, Poof, and just deflects it off. Tight. Okay, she burned okay. a reaction. Burned a reaction. All right, That's second good. attack is a natural 20. Hey! Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Uh, with Whisper, she has to make a saving throw uh, with a DC of 18 or become frightened of me for a minute on mm. a crit. Uh, what was the DC on that one? 18. 18? So she's a plus 10 wisdom save, so that's going to put her at 20. Okay. All right. So, so the two, 10. Is a, uh, two, and, uh, mm. two plus eight, four. That's a I great love that mechanic. Mm -hmm. That's great. Seventy-two. Seventy-two? Yeah, it's a crit. Right, but it's I not sneak. Double the dice. Right, but it's not sneak attack though. Oh, sorry. So, seventy-two times sixty-four, thirty, thirty-two. Excuse 32 me. Points. Thank you. No worries. Thirty-two. Wow, your reverse math was super fast just then. <laughs> that would have taken me five minutes. <laughs> All right. Um, and I'm going to bamf there on it. Okay. Okay. Oops. Totally about to end the fire. And don't worry. And with my bonus action, I'm going to throw my third dagger up at the wall. Okay. Uh, can I throw whisper again? If it like, is it? I don't know if is it like quick draw, or does it have to change dagger? Technically, I'd consider it to change a dagger generally, okay. because otherwise, it's like because you're throwing them so fast. Like boomerang in it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Then I'm gonna uh, instead I'm gonna disengage and I'm going to dart back between the scanlins. Okay. Between the scanlins. Good to know. Between All right. Two that ends your turn back. <laughs> two scanlins. Keyleth. At the end of your turn. Oh, Salas no. is going to use his second legendary action oh, no. to attempt to Wait, make. She used a reaction to knock with Silas. dagger, right? Silas. Silas said she used shield. Shield. Yeah. Shield. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. is a reaction. Correct. Silas. So she can't hit me. 
right. with an attack of opportunity. That's not what this is. This is Silas oh, using legendary action. There's nothing to do with Delilah. Yeah. You're talking about your disengage. Don't worry about yeah. it. You're fine. Um, Silas is going to use a second legendary action at the end of your turn to go ahead and take a swing at Grog with his Great Axe of the Eclipse. Mm -hmm. Great Axe of the Eclipse. Wait, Delilah or Silas? Silas. 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 Okay. Um, that's going to put him. That is a t oh, 20. What? That hits. That hits, okay. That is 14 points of damage. I need you to make a uh, reduced to seven. Uh, seven. Uh, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, no. Okay. With advantage. Oh, no. With advantage. With advantage. Mm. Oh, wait, that's a 10. Natural 20. Oh. Yes! Oh. Oh. Was a three. Oh my God. <laughs> so as the blade sinks across you, you resist the impact, but you feel this this cold sensation across the wound that begins to spill across your body, and you just angrily, in your rage, flex against it and just manage to withstand and shrug off the impact of the blade. Yes. That ends that. That brings us next up is Keyleth and Scanlan two. Hey. Hey, hey, Scanlan 2. Hey. Are you just as charismatic as Scanlan 1? I've got all the words to make the girls okay, like me. I don't care. Oh, and I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Um, okay. Keyleth is going to try and do like a one two punch here. So she's going to move forward. Boop. Boop. Mm -hmm. And then does she see Delilah? Uh, the make bones? a perception check. Through the bones. I'd say probably, right. actually. You watch her get knocked it's back, an, you're it's fine. A, it's a partially you know translucent is. dragon. Okay, I'm gonna reach out and I'm gonna do um, an entangle spell right under her. Okay. So unless she can make a strength save versus my spell shit, she's... Uh, that is a four plus one, no. Fail. <laughs> so she is restrained. Okay. Ooh, and then I am going to run and I'm going to use my mantle of the tempest jump to Ooh. jump, and then like, like I'm trying to be kind of dope here. Um, mid air, I'm going to change into a earth elemental and uh, try and grab onto the bone dragon and see if I can like snap his neck in the process. Like, wow. Grapple the, the bone dragon's head. Okay. So tangles in action. Yes. Okay. So. But then I'm just running and jumping and grabbing right. for the rest of my movement. Jesus. Okay. Do we need some more tape? Yes. Well, you can't. Uh, actually, we finally just need the the way right over here. Yeah. You're gonna ride this thing like a mechanical. Yeah. Mm. Do you want me to get the tape? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So you you leap over. Uh, I know, right? You can't. You can't. Is that doomsday? So that's that's the rest of your turn. <laughs> Yes. You, yeah. So, so yeah. you, no, after don't. entangling her, you run, leap, and as the wind from your mantle <laughs> picks up, you watch this gust of wind lift her. Um, go ahead and make an athletics check. Oh, to like try to land on the just dragon? A straight up, tr just straight, straight athletics. Yeah. Come on, come on. All right, Get all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You <laughs> eleven. Okay, not too bad. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. That's, yeah. that's, that's enough. It, well, it was maybe a 15 foot jump at this point, it's, yeah. and it's tripled because of the, um, mantle. the your mantle. So you get, yeah. you leap, and land, transforming into the elemental and grappling onto its back. <gasps> All right. That ends your turn, Keyleth. Scanlan yeah. too. She's Left. grappled now. She is. Yes. Yeah. Fuck her shit up. She's prone and grappled. Prone and grappled, and not for a very long time. So if we hit her, it's like it automatically hits, right? <laughs> Physically, you get advantage on attacks against her. Is Big B's hand a magic attack or a physical attack? It's a melee spell. It's attack. a melee spell, so you get advantage on the on the attack roll. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, then I'll change my plans. Shit. And I'll do that. I'll do. Uh, Scanlan two will cast Big B's hand. Okay. At level six. And just pound her really hard. <laughs> Uh, what is, is that like a Field Seymour Hoffman happiness reference? Is he, is that 68? Uh, or 88? Hold on. Shit. Let me pull hand. Is it deep I always cut. forget. Oh, man. Is it, and it's fifth level and you've cast it at sixth, correct? Yeah. So it's an uh, additional. It'd be an additional 2d8 to the. And it punch. starts at 48 or Correct. 68? Oh, so it's only 68. 68, yeah. Do you like to borrow some D8s? Yes. You know what? Shit. 
How many? I'm gonna do it at, at seven, level, level seven then. You already said six. Okay, that's fine. Uh, all right, so a bunch of eights. These are we have to roll the hit first. Picks. So oh, yeah. D20 with advantage. Uh huh. Seventeen okay. plus eleven. Yeah, that hits. So okay. go ahead and roll. Uh, roll your six d eight. Six d eight. You got my. Pick them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Or you can use the six. smite dice. Oh, I like these. Okay. Smite dice. Uh, eight, six, eight, 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 eight. Twenty-nine. All right. Thank you. Oof. All right. Uh, tw- uh, twenty-nine, and then, I guess, as his bonus action. He'll inspire Vax. Okay. He's not even here. <laughs> <laughs> Sing to the space where he was. Uh, he, uh, Scanlan, Scanlan 2 is not, uh, he only knows the songs of Scanlan, so he will sing sort of weirdly hollowly. When I get that feeling, I want Claro to heal it. That's all he knows. He only knows the songs that he already knows. Greatest hits. All right. So when 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 he gets back, give him give him the D12. Uh, yeah. All right. Then it's gonna have to start. And then he moves. Uh, he ducks back behind there. You got to do okay. Uh Yeah. Just just peeking out a little so we can see where Bigby's handed. Okay. At the end of do your you turn. Be in this doorway, maybe. Silas is gonna use his last sure. legendary yeah. action. Sure. To so go ahead and yeah. move his speed without provoking opportunity attacks. Oh. So he leaps Fine. off the side and lands right next to Delilah. <laughs> Whatever. Great. Boosh. So I guess did Delilah get right. entangled because he did just land in difficult oh. terrain. Vax. Difficult terrain, he's not entangled, I don't think, for his he's spell. Because he's not there yes. with the casting, but difficult terrain means if he moves across he's, it, it's. He's it's, in difficult terrain. Okay, good to know. I have rocky ground. That's all I have. <laughs> all righty. So, you entangled. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's roughing. Got it. All right, cool. So that ends the end of legendary action. Grog, you're up. Can I jump to the top of the banister here? Mm-hmm. So I'm looking down upon old tangled up Delilah. We'll just stay there for a second. Okay. May I leap off the tower and straight onto Delilah's prone body? Yeah. Sure. Delilah. Make an athletics check. So romantic. Oh, yeah, like right feet stomping her chest. Oh, that's easy enough. Make make a. No, make an athletics check actually to see. Okay. In case something yeah. goes horribly bad. Yeah. You are raging, so you get advantage. Twenty-five. Okay. Easy enough. At that height. You take eight points of bludgeoning damage, reduced to four. Cool. And <clears throat> you land, kind of arcing over her, both feet <clears throat> each yep. side of her, and you're just kind of standing, looming over her body as she's wrapped up in vines, going, yeah. <sighs> I fucking hate this dead bitch. <laughs> and I just raise the sword yeah. and start swinging down in these huge arcs oh, at her. Man. Okay. Two, the oh, the first it, two it, attacks it. at her. Okay, as you pull the blade out, the voice in the back of your head just goes, Yes, uh, she's part of the web. Uh, uh, uh. And you just give in to the fury. <laughs> so go ahead and make your attack. Uh, are they with advantage because she's prone? Correct. Well, she's restrained. So, so not reckless. Correct, okay. Natural 20. Oh. Yeah! She gonna oh, die. Butcher. <laughs> Again. That motherfucker. Should I go ahead and roll the second attack? It'll roll the damage first. Okay. I mean, she's hurt, but she's not terrible. Okay. Yes. She's about to do terrible. Yeah. <laughs> 14. 21. Oh, it's 21. So please, 14. Is it is 21 plus 14. Help me. 35? 35. 35. 21 plus 13? 14. Yeah, yeah. 35, okay. Um, so that's those. Make sure I'm doing this right. Oh, that's before the modifier. <laughs> 35 times 2 now? No, no, oh. just 35. The modifier plus. goes on at the end. Yeah. What is it? Oh, no. 51. <laughs> yes. What do you get for the crit on cast? Saves. Not attack. Hmm? What do you get for the crit? <laughs> That's why I'm asking you to double your dice. No, 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 no. I mean, my brutal. I roll the damage die an additional. You roll the damage die, 
double that, add the modifiers, Which and I've then done. the additional damage. Dice. And you're raging, right? Two times. Yeah. yeah. Plus your rage damage. Two, Don't forget two, to double two that. Two damage dies at this level. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. level. We'll fucking see. This is that crazy new sword. Three. Yes. At 17th level. Three. Yeah. yeah. So oh three my God. D10. So 51 plus three D10? Correct. Oh. And is that doubled too? No. no. Okay. That would be crazy. 59. 62. 62. <sighs> We're pretty low. Okay, so. Uh, as as you bring the blade down with this horrible That's screaming one hit. hiss, one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, 62 points of damage. Um, the blade jams into her chest, and as you twist it, she screams, yes, 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 and the yes. blood from the wound sprays out in the middle air and then freezes, and then <gasps> sips into the blade as it's like sucking yes! the blood. Oh, yes! She's like uh, entangled, and she reaches up and grabs the blade and starts like, pulling out of the wound. She's like, oh, there's blood spattering up around her mouth, and she's still alive. Oh, did you did you want it out? Here, let me help you out of the bucket. <laughs> Roll again. Okay, okay, okay. That is a thirty-two. Okay, okay. okay. roll damage. Okay. <laughs> like the music like stops. Mm -hmm. Twenty-six. Twenty-four. 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 You jam the blade in a second time and gash across, and it carves open this part of her chest, and you can see the blood spatter out. The, the bones are exposed, and she's on the ground, shaking like she's she's hanging on by a tether. And her eyes are going wild, and she glances over, and her hand goes out, and you can see Silas, who's right next to her. His eyes are wide, and he's reaching out to grasp for her hand. Uh, so need, so, so need your turn. Oh, your frenzy raging, mm -hmm. right? Oh no! Yeah. Come on, come on. I was going to do something to Silas, but fuck it. We're going to have a blessing. Come on! Chop off her hand. Oh, damn it. Chop off her whole arm. Just fucking get it. 33. That hits. That hits. That hits. Roll damage. Please die, Delilah. We want you dead. Third time's the charm. 23. 23 points damage. Are you rolling extra undead damage on this? On these attacks? Because no, she's not undead. Nope. Nope. 23 plus, I wasn't even adding, I was so excited about the sword damage, I was forgetting my rage damage. So. Right, but you rolled 3d10 there. I did. Which is. Yeah, the d10 plus 2d10 slashing damage to undead. Right? She's so, not undead, though. Oh, she's not? No. Oh, shit. You've been adding that to all the attacks? Mm hmm. Okay. So. Note it, roll. I just figured she was dead and not dead. And roll 4d10 for me right now. Okay. I'm going to retract that from the damage she's taken. 1, 10, 15, 22. Okay. So she's still wounded, but she's not hanging on by that thread. Okay. So the damage you rolled for that attack? 24, you said. 24. Yeah, 20. yeah but that was but I hadn't three. Added so my... just do your damage again because just that. Just roll the d10 and add your modifier. Okay, fair enough. Shit, I'm so sorry. It's okay. But you weren't doing your, he wasn't doing, I wasn't his doing rage my rage modifier. So you could add that then, potentially. Yeah, the, the, the difference. So that's 21. Okay. So. With your rage? Yeah. Okay. So as you hack on a third time with the blade, making the smear of blood across the ground, the entangled vines that hold her there. Um, are just just soaked in crimson at this point, and she's coughing and sputtering. You can see the open wounds in her chest, and her hands just reaching out. Silas, and he's like going for her at that point. That's the end of your turn. She's That's still it. alive. Yeah. All right, Vex, you're up. Good job. Good job. Good job. Shit, I thought she was like dead. I figured. No. Ah. She's oh, alive. Man. She's a clone. Is Sai? Yeah. <laughs> She's a clone. Oh, really? Yeah, I, yeah. like I cloned she cloned herself, herself right? Clone. Like that Silas clone. Is like yeah, that. yeah. The dragon's dead. No, because I faced her before. It's, it's the Gloomstalker. Yeah. yeah, but she could no, be a revenant. No, no, no. She's a bet. She's a fucking clone. I just figured he was. Wait, what is that? She made a clone of herself and like she grew herself out of mandrake. Yeah, like the Rakshasa. So she's like a real. Okay, so if I attack her, it's at disadvantage or with. With a ranged attack? Yes, because yeah. she is, well, she's restrained, which gives her advantage, so it technically balances. it would be just a regular attack roll. Okay, then I'm going to attack her. She's already restrained. Fuck it. I'm going to attack her with um, a blazing bowstring. Go for it. Got her, got her. Yes. I can't believe this is a uh, 17 plus 14 Goodbye. with sharpshooter. Yeah, that hits. Okay, well, minus damage. five, so, okay. Um, oh god. Yeah. 
so good. 15 plus 2 is 17. 25, 30, plus the blazing bowstring, 37. Um, that's everything, right? Did you do your plus 10 for the sharpshooter? 47 for sharpshooter. Did you know. 47, I didn't have no, 47 points of damage with the sharpshooter. How do you want to do it? Yeah! Like that finger. <laughs> she was it. reaching out for that dimension door. Oh, oh, oh she, yeah. Yes. Oh, so, fuck. as you see her hand reaching out, and she's, you see their fingers tracing the incantation in the air as, as Silas's hand reaches outstretched for hers. I no, you don't. I point my finger down at her, so I'm about to shoot the arrow. <laughs> And then as it shoots, I just keep pointing at her like, how's it feel, bitch? <laughs> as she reaches out, she's reach, she, her eyes are locked with Silas. She's not even paying attention to Grog at this point. All she's focused on is escape. And Grog, as you look down at her, and Silas is looking into her face, reaching out, the air just through like the jaw and out the side of her cheek there. It just pierces the cheek, and the eyes just go cold. In her hand, the, the spell incantation fades, and the hand just twitches, and then falls to the ground still. <laughs> As that happens, Silas, his hand still reached out, goes, No! Oh, I feel so bad for him. No, you don't. Does she have another arrow? Consider that I do voice. have another attack! He turns around to look at you. Vengeance, I suppose, is mine this time. Make your and second I attack. attack him. Yeah. <laughs> this With is a unique reversal of the last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This With happened. Blazing Boat String. Okay. Sharpshooter. Yes. Uh, so 28 minus 5 hits. 28 minus 5. 23. Yeah, that hits. Nice. Okay. That is, that is the end of Delilah Bray. Like Multiple and forever end. Fucking bird. Clones take a while 16, to. 16, yes. Oh, no. 16. Get uh, 23. 33 damage to. 33 damage to him. Okay. Uh, seven of which is fire damage. Gotcha. Okay, cool. That's in your turn. One. Were her hands her own hands? Uh, they seem to be. Okay, um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna run uh, down the stairs. I'm gonna move and run down the stairs. Uh, okay. To the lower level. I can't reach that far, but. Yeah, I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, all right, so, first things first. Oh God. As soon as Delilah's body goes lifeless, Keyleth, you feel this sudden shift beneath your feet as the bone structure that maintains the body of the skeletal dragon collapses entirely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Let's. You suffer. Silence. Uh, 11 points of pleasure damage. That's fine. Oh, he's, he's not um, going to play in Percy, you're up. right now. <laughs> um, so. I want to try and come around here, if possible. That's definitely possible. Uh, with your speed 30, you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, just, just here. Don't forget those two guys. Yeah, Gloomstalker's up top. Gloomstalker's up top. They just got there last turn, so. What's Percy going to do? Gloomstalker or Silas? Oh, yeah, no, that's like, yeah. that's a real question. I know what Sun Tzu would say. Oh my god, Delilah. <laughs> yeah, Delilah's dead! Fuck so, Percy, what are you doing? Um, first thing I'm doing is I'm taking a, uh, I'm taking a uh, grit shot at Silas with Animus. Alrighty. Uh, and I'm doing a head shot just to make his life a little more complicated. Do you get them at reproductions too? I do. <laughs> Taking very nice headshots. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually I go to Prince Charming. Mm. <laughs> is there, do you really? I do. That is not a place. Is that a place? That's a real place. It's on Ventura. Percy. Yeah. Sorry. The most LA moment in our game ever. Just now. I don't know about that. Yeah, maybe not. Um, okay. So. Very <laughs> solid. Good. Good for autographs. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, yeah. That'll do. That's a uh, twenty-six to hit. Nice. That'll hit. And he has to make a. Uh, uh, a, a constitution saving throw. Okay, uh, he's gonna use legendary resistance to succeed. Uh, that's fine. 
Okay. Um, it's four. His first one. So his first one. Um, he still takes uh, sixteen points of damage and two points of psychic damage. Alrighty, eighteen. Got it. Um, and uh, I'm going to take another headshot because that's funny. Okay. Um, and that's uh, <laughs> thirty-one to hit. All right. Go and roll damage. Uh, that's uh, twelve points of damage and uh, one psychic damage. All right. And does he make his uh, Constitution saving throw? Uh, he does actually. What's the DC on it? Uh, uh, the DC is twenty. He, he rolled twenty exactly. Fine. Uh, I'm going to take another okay. headshot. Burning my grit. Pew. pew. <laughs> um. So here we go. Uh, that's. Uh, I should have gone for a sharpshooter. Uh, 27, that's 34 to hit, Jesus That hits. Uh, another constitution saving throw. Uh, that is a 20 again. God, Six, motherfucker! 16 plus four, both times. Uh, so that's uh, 15 points of damage plus four psychic. Okay, so 19 so total. 19 total. All right, so as he's there on the, his arm out, it's kind of just seething with rage, his eyes burning bright red, like the same shade as uh, Grog's, which is disconcerting. As he's back, each, each bullet hits him, and he just doesn't react. And he's just looking down at her and back up at Vex and down at her. Oh God. Is that your turn? Uh, no. I don't like the way he's doing that. I'm burning an action surge. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use some sharpshooter and I'm just going to take, uh, I'm going to burn my bonus and reload my gun. Uh, so that's, uh, here we go for just, let's just take three more. Let's just take three sharpshooter shots okay. and see what happens. Um. It's cocked, I think. Uh, no, no, so no, no. There, there. I should not have rolled all three at once, but that's. But, no. Oh well. Um, so, so the way they landed, it would be it would have been the third one anyway. So okay. Okay, so two shots. That's uh, 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 11. 15 to hit. No. Fifteen misses. Uh, he puts a hand up without even watching and just kind of deflects the bullet from the air and he just the bullet. Off. Twenty to hit. Twenty to hit. He's going to use his reaction to use parry, and the second bullet, he with the other hand just shoots it off to the side, not even looking at you, just staring at Vex still. He's uh, me. And the sh oh, no. third shot, uh, the third shot uh, jams at a two. No, I ran away. You um, can't see me. <laughs> and I actually have was glaring, glaring at the you space ran. you were and where you ran. Yeah. Um, Through all material. Oh no. Um, I actually I have a resistance now to psychic damage. So I take 1d6 psychic damage now for my gun, not two, correct? Okay. Yes, you do. I take my four points and I'm happy for them. All right, that ends your turn. Uh, that ends my turn. Archon. Come on. Come on, Archon. I command the Gloom Stalker to shriek. Okay. I just read this. What does it do when he shrieks? Within 60 feet, the Gloom Stalker emits a terrible shattering shriek that impacts all hostile creatures. Each must make a DC 16 constitution save or become stunned until the end of their next turn. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. All righty. And, and that's those two, and it's Sun. the two up there, right? Mm -hmm. the two Technically stalkers. they are, yeah. Whoa. All right, so. What the fuck's this dude's deal? That was what they were going to do the next turn. It's like Banshee. Oh, wow. Right, so that's a two on the one Gloom Stalker. Yes. That is a, with a, this was a, what save? Constitution? Constitution. 16. 16? Yeah, no, with them, that, that's a 14. So they both fail. Both of the other Gloom Stalkers, all of a sudden, their head begins writhing around. They're stunned for the end of their next turn. And Silas is. Oh, it's cocked. Uh, he's going to use the second legendary resistance for the day. Burn him out, burn him out. So she resists it. And now I'm unimpeded direct all the way to him. Correct. Okay. Destroy him! Giddy up! Giddy up, they. Fly this over to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. High five, Keyleth, yeah. on the way in. Yep. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Oh, right. man. This here. Fucking hasty. Cool. Man. <clears throat> okay. And I will. I'm, I'm going to reckless on this. Yeah, you are. Got a boy. I think I'll reckless. <laughs> yeah, great. Oh, so I break. Okay, that's. Uh, I like the magical flourish of the die. <laughs> that was like some David Copperfield. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Just salt bay your dice. Uh, does thirty-two hit? Thirty-two does hit. Okay, yes. great. Does is this guy undead? Yes, he is. Ah. He is a vampire. 
Yeah, so might touch it. Out of curiosity, the, the bones of Delilah, she just kind of like deflated like a bag? Is that what happened? Well, she's dragon? just dead. The skeleton fell into just piles of bones. Piles she's of bones. She's okay. But oh. she's, I mean, she's not okay. She's, she's not she's, like a zombie. She's, no, okay. she's just a slashed up human. Like her whole torso is just a mess, and she has her an arrow just through down. her jaw and uh, cheek. Outer, outer eyeball. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um, great. Well, then I, um, I would like to like do a second level divine smite, which is going to okay. be six. Got it. Two, three, four, five. Six die eight. Six die eight. Holy shit. Yeah. That's a, that's I rolled badly. That's a twenty-eight. <laughs> that's bad. Oh man. Yeah. That's bad. All right. Twenty-eight points. <laughs> 20 All right. So as you rush forward with your axe, you swing down into Silas. You could slam in the side shoulder, and as the the spark of the divine smite energy slams into his side, you can see him. He's now starting to feel the pinch. Ooh. At least all of you. Swelling around him and his allies coming. That's a cock. Yeah, yeah. let's roll again. That's a cat. It's a dice, actually. But. <laughs> That's a cat. If I've ever seen a cat. That's not great. That's a uh, 19. Uh, 19 does not hit, unfortunately. Oh. I would like to frenzy. Okay, so you roll your third check. Frenzy reckless. Yeah. That's going to be a 27. 27 hits, roll damage. Okay. Mm. Kill it, kill it, we'll, go, kill we'll, go, it. we'll go second level Divine Smite again. So. Three, four, five, six, six. Come on now. Please. You remember yeah. from my friend John? Come on now. Man. Yeah, my friend John bought me really some Smite dice. dice. Let's go. I was uh, admiring nice. them. All right. Oh man, that's a lot. Of... Oh, that's, that's rough. That's rough, isn't it? Damn, John. God damn it, John. <laughs> that's, a, that's a 29. 29 points. 29, which was okay. terrible rolling. It was bad yeah. rolling. It was bad. I rolled so bad. as you arc, arc, you know, first attack slams into and bursts. The second one, you swing, and Silas's form like turns to shadow temporarily and just dissipates around the blade and returns. The third hit does strike true in the back of the head. He ah, yelps out in pain as the blast bursts upward. You can see the flesh kind of burning from the impact of the radiant damage. Yes. That in your turn? I believe, I believe so. All right. Yes. That brings us to Silas's turn. No. Silas does not regenerate because the radiant damage kept it at bay. Isn't he stunned? Off? I did not know. He's that. no. He, he resisted. Awesome. Um, the, the divine. Yeah, I didn't know yeah, that. Radiant damage prevented his regeneration. Um, looking at his current circumstance, he's going to. No, 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 no! Don't. He no. watches. He glances around, and his body no. into, no. into a bat. Scanlan no, no. is going to cast counter spell. Yeah, it's not a spell. Oh. Oh. Vampire ability. Scanlan 2 goes to counter it, though there's no spell to counter. Vampire, um, it vampire really turns into a bat and oh, no, is going to I have a reaction. Away. Can I, like, can Keela, Ellie try to grab it? Is that an, an, uh, Black uh, Bell well, attack? Well, no, no, you don't get to grab it, you get an attack of opportunity. Can I? You get an attack of, you get an attack of opportunity. Okay. You get an attack of opportunity. Oh, Grog gets an attack. attack of opportunity. And Bigby's hand. Uh, Bigby's hand does not get reaction. Did they get an uh, attack of opportunity? Gloomstalker would as well, yeah. But one they, attack. They get okay. one attack of opportunity. So. Against the bat, correct. Which means if you if you hit I'm him like, enough, I mean, yeah. he drops back to yeah. human. Yeah. Yeah. Hit him. That's not how a vampire bat form works. Oh. It's, not a, it's not a polymorph technically. Ah, oh, goddamn! He has it. the same hit points in the bat form as he does his what normal form. No way, really? A reckless tripping attack with that fighter. The does that work on a bat? Can you trip back? a bat? I don't know. I don't know if it would ground him at least for one here. second or not. I've got some ass. I don't know. Do That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Who, who it goes might not. first out of all of these attacks of opportunity? Okay, I'll go uh, you go first. Turn. Okay, then I would like to attempt to snatch the bat with Gloomstalker. Yes, come on, yeah. It has a snatch. Oh, yeah. Get that okay. snatch. Snatch that bat. Snatch that bat. Snatch. 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 Get that snatch. You like eggs? All right, scroll attack. Yeah. Eggs. <laughs> Man. Eggs. Uh, that's a 24. Thanks. 24 hits? Snatched. What does that mean? Snatched. Uh, uh, pierced, uh, the, snatch. okay. the target is grappled. Oof, the target on, is considered now restrained. Oh, man. I can also fly with my grappled target at half of my speed, and it's two die six plus six piercing damage. Right? That doesn't check, like this. Check, check it doesn't like this at all. Because the because the because the snatch is a special attack essentially. Um, as a reaction, because reaction gives you uh, a, melee a melee attack, it's not an actual attack choice from your. Okay. <laughs> 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 
I'm gonna double check here for you guys sure, real fast. Sure, sure. Double check. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that me trying to? Was that me trying to sneak uh, one? No, by? no, no. It doesn't no, say no. that it's special. Yeah. No. Why don't you plan a backup? Yeah. Yeah. Making us miss one of our other players. Okay. Yeah. Just double checking here. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. It's like a fidget. I need to have a it's fidget. fidget I, need a, I need a food for my nervousness. Oh. I would let you know if it snaps while it's in your teeth, it hurts a lot. I know that yeah, from experience. Oh, it's so yeah, it, this you is like what Dr. Seuss warns us about as kids. Like, you could break with you. Yeah. Guys, what are what are those shirts? Yeah. Can you hold up that shirt so again? Sorry. I mean, it feels like. Oh, there it is. Oh, the benevolent. In the meantime, this is the this is the this is the face Matt's not making right now. Oh, and definitely not Matt. If you want to enter the raffle, I'm not sure how this works right here, but I brought this shirt. We're gonna rub it all over Travis at break, and then the winner is gonna get this shirt. Musk laden. It's they only come in extra large. I will say because I don't allow monsters to use special attacks as reactions and haven't used in the entire game against you guys, because yeah. that would have been much more dangerous. I won't allow it for the circumstance, nah. but he does still do the damage on the regular attack, so. Fine. Okay, great. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna bite this right, right. in the fucking nose. So, okay, hits, so it's still hit. The roll still hits. Good roll damage. All right. It could also be a Halloween costume. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah! It's pretty Is that you, Oh my goodness, Matt, oh, you're worse, sir! <laughs> Okay. It's Thanks. got really weird suddenly. <laughs> We're gonna show up to the next game all wearing them like a, like a like a terrible council of evil. Oh, yeah. Good. Hey Travis. Plus eight, that's oh, twenty-one wait. plus eight twenty-nine. Just, just the eyes cut out. Uh, not bad. That's uh. Do you want me to break it down, piercing and necrotic? No, it's fine. Okay, twenty-nine points. Actually, no. Actually, you do need to. Damn right. it. Okay. Uh, then we're gonna have. Hello. 19 piercing. All right. <laughs> and eight necrotic. Okay. Cool. 19 and eight. 12, sorry, 27. <laughs> Make your attack opportunity, your attack opportunity, and your attack opportunity. Right. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Reckless trip attack. Don't fuck me. Kill! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little fucky. Kinda it's did. fine. It's kind of fucked me. Oh my god, I've got seven shit over. 12. No. Yeah, that's Off his armor. 30. Yeah. That hits roll damage. Yeah. 34. Hits roll damage. Ooh. Well, they did I did die. Okay. He's kinda, undead, right? Yes. I do the. You first, Grok. Yeah. No, no, please. That bad no, no, no. You. Barbarian. No, you were up first. No, <laughs> no, no, I, I, I mean, Arc. Please. Yeah, but like you felt you did that dynamic okay. jump. It was really cool. Yeah. Jocks were not Science. this polite. We rolled back because it's a one, which I was not doing. They were to each other. Oh, no. 17. Yeah, 17, and then I roll a d8 to see if the, or to add, add d8, a d8. d8. d8 additional damage, yep. Yeah. Oh my god. That's my first one I've ever run. Five. Shit, what did I say? 17. Thank you. Plus 22. Five. All right, 22 damage, and trip. Trip. it's a trip attack. What, what's it say it does? Uh, Oh, I'll pull it up. No, I'll, I'll, I'll pull it up. No, 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 no. I've got no, it you, right please, here. It's, uh, please, please. Uh, After you. Uh, here we go. Shit. Okay, mm-hmm. strength saving throw. Oh, right. <coughs> uh, that's a natural one. So he uses last legendary resistance to resist it. Fair He's out of legendary resistances, though. All right, and damage on that one? Uh, just pumped the first level uh, Divine Smite. Okay. And uh, that's going to be. Twenty-one plus three is twenty-four. Twenty-four plus fifteen is going to be like forty. All of his equipment goes into his form. Okay, that's going to be forty points of damage. Whoa! All right. So as you all slam into the side of this bat form, it shrieks out and then just takes off, and he's going to use his action to go ahead and go into a dash and continue to fly away. I feel like I would be able to get an get an attack somewhere in here with considering my range is if I pulled out my big gun. Oh yeah, no, we're coming back to that. Okay. He is at that full speed in that form. Plus, we're still in the initiative or the reactions come from that. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, that ends Silas's turn. Pike, you're up. How far away is he? Yeah, where in space? Uh, is he he here? would be about, let's say, at that flying speed of the bat, which I have to look up now because that's a thing. That'd be great. How could you not be prepared for getting one of those? I know it's this, this bullshit, Matt. Sure. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can you do that? All right. Just so you can just. It's the power that I got with you. Fly speed is 30 feet. 
Remember? So he's 60 feet away from you guys at an angle that way. He's like here? Yeah. So he's okay. He's like, like 60 I'm, feet I'm up tickling there. him. All right. So what do you want to do? Spike, what are you doing? Okay. I'm going to. <laughs> I love your commitment to the tickle. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to think of which thing I should do. Okay, I'm going to try to guiding bolt it. I'm good. Guiding bolt so go ahead and roll. Butt. You want to move forward so you can hit him? Yeah. So getting bolt, I believe you have to roll your your attack on that one. Yeah. Yep. Make a range spell attack. Okay. Oh That's okay. That's okay. Come to that. Happen. Eighteen. Eighteen does not. I'm going to use guided strike. Okay. Yes. Which can add plus, plus ten. So plus twenty-eight. Plus ten to your wing. Oh, you can use it on yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Guided strike yeah. is for myself. Perfect. Or God's blessing is somebody else. That's what it is. Yeah. So go for it. That hits. Okay. Good roll damage. Yay! So Kill him. I'm gonna do it at third <laughs> level. So that's for sixty-six. Yep. Sixty-six. Sixty-six yeah. radiant damage. Oh, that's bad. All radiant. 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 That okay. is a really good roll. That looks solid from here. Ashley Johnson, finally, Clutch. finally rolling. By coastal roll. By coastal roll. <laughs> 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 now I want sushi. Okay, well, 23. Ooh, 23, okay, so blast in there. All right, it's been now shining. The next attack is that has the advantage. That's good, that's good. Okay. Any returns or so? Let me see. Where are the balloon sections? Uh, I don't want to use that in case. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, that's it. I'm gonna, All right. I'm gonna End of your turn. Going to use yeah. legendary action to move its speed. The bat is now 90 feet away. Shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, that ends your turn. Uh, that brings us to Scanlan. Or oh, the Gloomstalkers, actually, which are no longer stunned. But that's the okay. end of their turn. Sure. And if Gloomstalkers turns, can use another legendary action to move another 30, so 120 feet away. Oh. Um, oh. Scanlan, you're up. Shit. So They're he's really far away from us now. He's just full sprint. You said 120 feet. 120 away. feet, yeah. Oh god. It's 120 feet away. Can right. you do anything at 120 feet, Scanlan? I, I can do something. Do, I can do one if thing. If you guys let me go right now, I can try. You can do something. Uh, uh, Scanlan one will just ring. hold go, his go, 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 his go. turn until the uh, those gloom gloom stalkers are in range, or, or until they move, and then he'll cast uh, I don't know, fucking wand of magic missiles. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> All right. Some bullshit. And the Scanlan's turn. Use third final legendary yeah. action. Is now 150 feet away. Shit. No. I, let me go first. Let me go first. You well, now it's Max's turn. Yeah. You can't switch your initiative. Okay. You can if other people hold. Can you describe? No. Because no, no, no. then he'd still. He. If they he hold does your it. action, they can hold their action, but, but then he will still, he would still at the end of their go. turn, he still gets yeah. to do it. All right. I'm gonna use my movement and dash. of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 5, 60, and I'm gonna. Uh, Paladin attack the Gloomstalker up there. Okay. Uh, first one is a, that's great, that is a 33. And the second one is also pretty good, 25. Okay. Uh, do those both hit? They uh, both. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. They have a AC of 15. Okay, shit. Should have called Sharpshooter. Um, all right, so the first one is one, I'll say it was nine. Well, once he gets away. Can you legendary resist Okay, and then four. No, scrapple check is versus. Saving throws. Seven, check. so 11 and seven. Oh, yeah. Just okay. 11 and seven on that one. 11 and seven on that one, all right. You can't grapple. Got him. Ends your turn. Yeah. Uh, Keyleth, you're up. We can't tear out. How far away is he? 150 feet. Okay. From, from where he was. I'm going to drop my form. Okay. Take my action to cast Earthbind on him. It's a 300 foot range. Oh! Alrighty. Oh my god. Please, please, please. Drew, it's He insane. used up his legendary resistances, right? He did. So what's 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 save he has to make? Strength versus my spell save. Do you have a do you have something that because is of your hit? 23. Oh. 22. So Wait, do you have five. do you have a do you get does she get advantage? 22? Because yeah, of it. Yeah. Okay, wait, can 17, you do anything? Can you do anything? It was a can you, can you 17 plus 5. No, you can't do anything? The last no. time you hit him, did he? Or does that mean way out of oh, range? Yeah, advantage. She gets a, it's, it's a it saving throw, it's not an attack. So, yeah, the Earthbind does not take effect on him, unfortunately. Oh. He's can I do it again immediately? Can I, like, try again? <clears throat> no, it's an action to cast the spell. Yeah. Sorry. 
<laughs> I know. Can I can no, we all hold? <laughs> wait? But, and, but could I do but, it? Yeah. Damn it. Mm. Okay, Scanlon's so up. Anything? He's, like he's 150 back. feet away. Mm-hmm. Rolled so fucking high. Can you run 30 feet and then do something? Can run 25 feet. Can run 25 feet and then reach 120 feet. Yeah, if you wait, all, what so happens yeah. to the I'm five feet shy. <laughs> wait, I can get you on the back of this thing and fly it up there. Yeah, yeah but, but we can't get out of range of the ring. Yeah. Unless we want to. Blow I mean, it, as soon as Silas isn't uh, there, he's yeah. going to know we're here. So we so. have to stay within 60 feet of it each other. More or less. Now, now we're not. We can all just run. If, if, if you all too. try again, I can, or if you all hold, I can try again. No, because he's going to keep running. If we hold, he just keeps moving. Yeah, but it's a 300 foot range spell, and he's only 150 feet away. No, but he can dash 150. He already did 150. Getting to Every your turn, turn so he'll be able to do another 150. But it's a 300 foot range spell. So he'd still be. It would be. So he's well, still right. Right. we don't. We don't, have, we don't have to hold our, our turns. We'll just get back to you. You yeah. just. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, no, we're fine. I mean, like that'll happen eventually. We can, sure. That's gonna get there. Whose turn is it? It's Scanlan 2's turn. He's gonna. On, he's gonna two. bonus Something. bonus action Bigby's hand grapple one of the Gloom Stalkers. Okay. The one we've been, the one we've been working on. Working on. Alrighty. Who wants to move that? Be punches. Uh, not punch. We'll gra- say, grapple. Uh, okay. Cool. We'll say we'll say for the purposes of this, <laughs> they're they're easily killed. They're pretty easily killed given the circumstance you guys have. The chase now. Well, did you want to kill away. them or yeah. save them for riding on? I think I'm. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's 40? 40 minus 3 is 37. I, I'm, this one's got like 37 hit points of damage. I mean, uh, look, just do do. Just try to get silence. Do what you feel, Scanlan. Well, I mean, I'll so, I'll just hold them for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, no, I appreciate that. We'll say, Rob, you go up there and start. Yeah, that'd be great. Anything you want to do? A fresh one would be good. So I go want to see what the inside of them looks like. Okay, so. For the purposes of that of expediency, mm-hmm. that's going to spend time just trudging through these things. You guys start hacking at these these gloom stalkers. Well, one we're saving. Save one for him. Take down Except the other. Except for the one okay. that we're saving. I will say to note that the, the control feature generally is like a once a day type thing. Oh, then uh, never mind. We kill it. Not like a can constantly <laughs> regenerate to the next thing. Let me read my description that you sent me. <laughs> All right, now I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, okay, so I'm like, calling Mike Merles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right so back to me. Uh, so back to me for example, we get back around everybody. Right. Is so, he still fucking here? Well, I guess it's Silas's turn. Okay. Silas dashes twice. Wait, is it oh, Silas's yeah, turn or my turn? Sorry, it's your turn, then Silas's. It's so my ahead. turn first. I'm going to take my advantage shot. Okay. Because I have advantage because of oh, with which gun? With bad news. Wait, okay. Why go didn't for I get to go? That's right, oh. you're first. Go for it. Yeah. Right. Can I run out the door and hop on my broom and fly as Ooh. far as I can? No, 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 no. no. Ring. 60. Ring. Yeah, but I mean, I can only get 50 feet away from you guys. So if I come okay. here. As soon as you go around, around that side, mm-hmm. you're starting mm-hmm. to get close. Oh, Up to really? you. You have Scanlan all the way over there. You're so bar- you barely have a Scanlan in your. Yeah, so I can't leave. Right I'd now. have to run up. The, so I'm at the bottom of the stairs. If I run up the stairs and broom it from here, how far would I get? Uh, that I'd, you get like 10 exactly. feet out the window. 10 feet out the window, and he's he's, your range he's 150, window. and I'm my shot is what one, but with sharpshooter, no, nope, that's doesn't different. Doesn't affect range; it just affects your chances. Shit! Wait, let me look at Fentress. I'm just hoping there's something that says it's 300 feet. It's fine. Fentress does not change your range. <laughs> okay, then it's only a 120 foot range, right? With a longbow. Well, the the the, the book. The way longbows work is you have the minimum, you have the inner range and the outer range. So, if he's beyond. But if you're sharpshooter, the inner range, outer range is the inner range. Oh, Correct. yeah. But it That's doesn't true. go further. It's still go the further. max. Yeah, yeah your max is 600. My max is 600 fucking feet? Yep. Huh? Oh, my God. Oh, so yeah, you can just walk up and take a shot. Okay, then I'm going to walk up to the window. Between your heartbeats. And I'm going to try to cast <laughs> Bramble Shot on him. Breathe out. Okay. Get that fucking game. With advantage. With advantage? Because it's, it's an attack. Because Guided of... bolt. <gasps> Go for it. Make your attack. Much better. Holy. Much better. Freaking half elf. <laughs> My. 20. 20 just hits. Oh! 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 Yes! Yes! Get him down, get him down. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so. Down range. 12. Yeah. <laughs> Down range. Right. So that's 18 plus 4d8. Come on, kill them both. 
No, but you're, you're, Ooh, you're, you have the two different ranges. 18. Because your range is definitely 30 and 60. Yeah. That's but you can go with the full 60 without taking disadvantage. 30, 30, 30 range is 300. Yeah. 40, 40, 300 is normal. Disadvantage. Yeah. Right. As a sharpshooter. Amazing. That's literally like. It's a crazy feat. Like, yeah. 40, 43. 43 points oh, of damage. Fucking hell, yeah. And? And he has to make a strength save of DC 17 or be restrained. Dex is killing okay. the pirates. That is a 9 plus 5. That is a 14. He's down! the arrow. Puts the bag, he watches the arrow bursts into a sudden swarming of bramble vines that wrap around and the bat just. It's falling? Sick! Oh. Yeah. Does he take bludgeoning damage from hitting the ground? Uh, he does take a little bit. Just a little bit. He's, 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 about, he's about 80 feet up from that because he's going at an ang- angle, so he takes 8d6 bludgeoning damage. Oh, but he's in a little brood ball, so he's protected. Alrighty. No idea. Oh my god. That was the most sniper thing you've ever done. That was pretty awesome. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Out the window. And with that, you watch (laughs) as the the bat form (laughs) dissipates. The brambles fall. We can open. Is he there? He could have tried. Make a perception check. Mm. I can't see. Can also do others. Could I see? Can I see him? Make a perception check. Can you look? No bueno. Can I try? 26 for Vax. We all make perception. Do I see, do I see a fart? Are all of them? No. You see a misty cloud Mist. in the space where silence was. Wait, Thirty-four. Don't we have to get rid of the misty cloud. cloud. Or we something? have to just destroy the cloud. How do we fight him before? Sun, sunlight, sunbeam. sunlight destroyed him before. Radiant something, right? Sunbeam. sunbeam destroyed him before. When he was in the gaseous form. Now he's a gaseous Whatever form. Whatever that word means. Okay, so I yeah, I rolled a thirty. I rolled an. I rolled a, a huge. It's um, it's, it's, he's dead. No, twenty-eight. It's just a, well, twenty-eight. How far away to, is he? What? To gonna, perception. We have to get yeah, no, no, you see the mist. Now. How far away is he? Don't cross his face. Uh, about a. <sighs> he's 150 no, feet. No, no, no. He's more than 100 feet. No, he didn't get a chance to go. No, he didn't get a chance to go yet. Because, because, yeah, right. So, but yeah. Our, 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 he's 150 feet away. Yeah. 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 So, as a group, we can all crazy. try to move forward. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, as we get closer to him. You've got, you've got what it takes. How, that's true. How far is daylight? What's the daylight? Casting distance. Can you run forward and get close enough? You guys aren't going to want to hear this. I can run forward and sunburst him at 150 feet away, but it's going to burn my eighth level spell. Don't do that. Nope. Mm-hmm. No. But uh, I have Sunbeam, which is a sixth level spell, at 60 foot away. Uh, mm, how far is is? Nope. I dropped my I dropped my form. Yep. Nope. What if you got on a mount? Mm-hmm. Just get there as fast as but you can. But we can't go outside of the 60 foot bubble. Foot. We, can we can all go. We can all move together, Let's and, and together. he will not be able to move at high speed Let's as a, as a miss. Hopefully. Can I scoop up Vex and dash like 60 feet ahead and then sunbeam him for another 60 feet? Dash is your action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we can't, we have to stay together. We have to stay together. Well, you're in the gray, right? Or, no, where are you? She's green. Where's she? I'm, I'm me. Green. She's green. Yeah. We're, you're. I'm. I, I'm, I'm like the, technically the right. Soccer. You're the blue. Right I'm right there. here. Right now, I'm up on okay. the same level, next to Pike. And Big B's is. And the blue sucker's dead. <laughs> is it your? Is it your Everything's turn? Everything's going Everything. to hell. Who? Yeah. Whose They're turn is it? They're dead. If it's if it's your turn, it's finishing to finishing vexes. No, it's Percy's turn. Okay, so Percy, your turn. Uh, you could I'm technically not. try to. Sh- oh, you yeah, missed it. I'm going to. Was that a Jenga? <laughs> um, uh, wait, 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 I have a weird thing I'm gonna try and do. Oh yeah, god, no, I need to get, I need to get within 30 feet. No, the thing I need to do, I need to get within 30 well, feet. should you move forward as, you can get within 60 feet of me, so just move I'm gonna forward. move, I'm gonna move to the edge of where I'm capable of moving right now at my speed without getting, I'm gonna start heading in that, I'm gonna signal everybody and say move as a group. Yeah, okay, okay. So we're gonna try and sync our movements. Oh, big behold, I think. All right. As long as I want. So we'll say, for the purposes of this, no. the mist travels and vanishes from sight by the time you're able to catch up to it to get it to a place where you can destroy it. Delilah Briarwood has been destroyed, seemingly, for the last time. Silas has been driven to wherever he needs to recover. That's right. It'll take him a lot. Coffin. Does it take him a He's long got time? a coffin. Can I Vecna gives up. say one thing right now? <laughs> yes. yes. As we were moving, I didn't realize we were you know, moving in the, in, in the bubble. 
We didn't get very far. We didn't get very far. I cast Animate Dead on Delilah, and I raise her. What? <laughs> oh. You're doing what? We're fighting her again. As you guys, no. are, as you guys finish <laughs> yeah. focusing, as, as you look out, you can see the mist, and the mist just kind of vanishes. And at this point, you can see now, looking up, dozens and dozens of gloom stalkers have all turned to see this out in the open action that's now taking place in the space around you. You're all out, not being stealthy, mm-hmm. firing and shooting out into the air, and you see now clusters of these things heading in your direction. As you turn and look to the side, you watch as Delilah's body gets up from the ground. Rise and kneel before your master. And as the shambling corpse of Delilah falls to her knees before Archon. Oathbreaker, baby! (laughs) As it begins the realization of you, what is coming at you. Two you could handle, maybe. There's a lot in your direction. You revealed your position, the wall was already destroyed, and Mm -hmm. everything is swarming in your direction. As you all begin to turn around, you hear this deafening roar from the sky above you, and you glance up to see a flash of brass light. Yeah! As Devosa comes swooping in through the barrier behind Hundred or more Wyvern riders yes. risen from Vasselheim to join the rest of the brigade come swarming in and collide with the Gloom Stalkers. You now see a frantic dogfight cluster as hundreds of one and hundreds of the other begin just slamming into each other, tearing each other apart. You see blades swing, you see arrows going flying, and Devosa begins to do sweeping rounds back and forth across the sky. You realize. If there is a moment to move with the distraction, it's now. Oh, no. oh shit. Go. I load Delilah on the back. <laughs> I grab her wand. Yeah, the okay. wand. Oh. And her holy symbol that fell to the ground. Okay. Whatever that sparkly Whatever thing that was. Thing is, yeah. Uh, the, the glowing that. sparkle light in it is yes. inert. Okay. Is oh. what? Inert. inert. It was the it was the controller. I yes. still know. Uh, so we have it. We have it. We're yeah. towards the tower, right? All right, and you guys begin bolting your way towards Entropis uh-huh. with its large funnel-like cloud encircling the top of its spire. And we're going to take a break. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> no, we recruited Dip to Oh, God. Alrighty. I want to find this dude. <laughs> I am oh, not. Got him. <laughs> what a dick. All right, oh, so we're going to take a quick break because uh, we want to probably push it about 11 tonight and then we're going to leave. Mm-hmm. So um, make a quick restroom break, very, best we can. Very quick. Come back. Yeah. See you guys here in just a minute. Yeah, the break yes. we're giving away. We're giving away things. Jack's Machina. So many things. Actually, Jack's yeah. Machina. Max or Ryan, is there like stipulations on the shirt? Nope. What? Nope. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it yeah, out. Great. Let's go put this on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you here Take in a few the minutes. Off. Take the wrapper off. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Satine Phoenix, co-creator of Maze Arcana and a dungeon master on Fury's Reach. Welcome to GM Tips. Today we are going to recap in case you've missed an episode. Tip number one, play touch your style. Tip number two, repeat. Tip number three, ask the table for assistance. Tip number four, set boundaries and table rules before the game starts. Tip number five, the GM at your table is now a player. Tip number six, use the pre-established rules to counter push the GMs at your table. Tip number seven, be a good role model. Tip number eight, storytelling basics. Tip number nine, read a story with Robert Mickey. Tip number 10, read a hero a thousand pieces of the writer's journey. Tip number 11, use a story clock to plot your story. Tip number 12, pick a leader. Tip number 13, characters in their world. <sighs> of exciting new shows from Nerdist, Geek and Sundry, and Alpha. Let's check them out and fix that FOMO. No doubt you are a fan of the many great tabletop shows from Geek and Sundry like Critical Role, Sagas of Sundry, Vast, and Shield of Tomorrow. But are you still a little intimidated to start your own game? 
have no fear because Jason Charles Miller is here. Check out his new show, Starter Kit, which will walk you and his very special guests through starting a game of Dungeons and Dragons. My pal Darren DePaul and I have been forced to make a morning show just for you every Monday morning. So get out of bed and get your coffee or tea. You'll need it for the games, the music, the weirdness. We're contractually obligated to make this, so you're morally obligated to watch it. Thank you. The spookiest podcast around, Bizarre States, is hitting the road. Well, at least the 405, the 101, the 10, the 5, and the 134 in Bizarre States, Los Angeles. Join Jessica Chobot and Andrew Bowser as they check out Devil's Gate Dam and the Suicide Bridge. Don't worry, though. It's not all scary. (laughs) If you are as excited as we are for the next Wonder Woman movie, be sure to check out Nerdist's interview with director Patty Jenkins to hear about why she's excited to see Diana in the modern world. If you happen to be heading to NYCC and are an Alpha member, we want to see you at the Alpha party. Come to Barcade for some classic games, pinball, and all-around good times. Request your invite via the link in the Alpha announcement section under Come Party With Us in New York City. In honor of Starter Kit, we are giving away the 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons Player's Handbook. To win, head to the Alpha Forums and tell us what you would put in a Starter Kit for a friend to get into gaming. Good luck! Thank you for checking out all of the new shows on Nerdist, Geek & Sundry, and Alpha, and please let us know what you think in the chat or in the forums. See you next week! Hey, Critters. As always, thanks for supporting our shows. It's time for this week's Wormwood giveaway. All you need to be eligible for this giveaway is to type the code word I'm about to give you one time only in the chat or you will be disqualified. This week's gift from our friends at Wormwood is this flame box elder dice tray. And the code word is tyrant. Remember only to type it once. Good luck. Congrats to the winner of my Elder Wood. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on Tuesday. It's not even close to being in my wheelhouse. I mean, I've never hosted, I've never hosted anything. So. It's honestly, it's really easy. I mean, I'm, Matt Key did it, so that's a lie. That guy can barely form a sentence. I know, so you'll be great. Wait, how, how am I dressed like a hipster professor? I don't. Talking to people about voiceover, remember? Uh, I, wanna, I don't want to do that. What am I going to say? I don't know how I got my job. I just started acting and following the work. That's fine. Let's just tell them that. That's great. That's all they want to hear. Um, are we ready to go? Ready. Wait. No, Wait, where, what? where are all the people come from? I didn't agree to anything. Why are we on a spaceship? Liam, you have two choices. You either do this episode of Signal Boost, or we unleash Matt Key on you. You do the voice of Doctor Strange. I have too many questions. Have a good show, bud. I'm Liam O'Brien. Welcome to Signal Boost. Good morning, class. If you'd all pull out your VCRs and put in the tape for Kenneth Branagh's Henry V, we'll get started. Uh, oh no, the... The, the V is a Roman numeral for five? No, 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 that's like a really terrible sequel. The, the fifth, just, you know, separate the V from the... Not a great start. Uh, okay, I know what you're thinking. Kenneth Branagh's Henry V? That's how I become a voice actor? Yes, I mean, that's where I want you to start. Anyways, trust me, this movie changed my life. I'd already seen plenty of Shakespeare. Hell, I was in an uncut high school production of Hamlet. Uncut. Apologies to my family for the five hours of iambic pentameter, but uh, until then, Shakespeare was little more than an English class requirement that induced visions of sighing fops and crushed velvet and overlong monologues to skulls. But then swoons! This film comes along, drops King Henry down in an ocean of sweat, filth, and gore, and I am locked in. Branagh's film planted the bard's vaulting language firmly into reality, making it feel raw and accessible in a way that I had never encountered before. 
I probably watched the damn film 40 times before I made it to NYC, and every elven king, lowly foot soldier, and demon voice I do today, is inspired by the mastery of language exhibited here. Now, the St. Crispin's Day speech and the aftermath of the Agincourt alone are worth the price of admission. Or, you know, the $2 digital rental. Look, you're the one who wants to be a voice actor. See the damn thing and be inspired. Hey, hey, Mr. O'Brien. Mr. O'Brien, would you mind signing my Doctor Strange comics? I only brought a few. Hey, Liam, hey. Um, what spell do you think is the most powerful Doctor Strange spell? It's Crimson Bands of Sidorak or Winds of Watum? Bolts of Balthak. Flames of the Fall Teens. Seven Moons of Munapur? Shoot of the Seraphim. Uh, Ruby Rings of Ragador? Demons of Danak. Vipers of Altor. The Vipers of Altor. Vapors of Altor. That's a good one. Fangs of Ferala. Hey Liam, do you want to wear my cloak? Hard pass, Matt. Afternoon class. Hope lunch was great. Now, if you don't pull out your digital media players for IDEA, uh, not as in a flash of your own genius. No, this is somebody else's flash of genius. And by Jove, is it ever? IDEA is an acronym for International Dialects of English Archive. This is an online digital resource that holds a massive archive of accents from around the globe. Oh, warning, danger, this is a rabbit hole! IDEA has gathered recordings from every nation on the damn planet, providing a free and invaluable resource to actors in every medium, including acting on the mic. You can find multiple speakers from every nation of various backgrounds and ages reading the same short story about a uh, goose named Kama struggling with uh, foot and mouth disease. Uh, anyway, uh, they also speak about their own lives for a while. Uh, there are other resources you can find out there that break things down phonetically. I have found IDEA to be the best. I've used other resources before too, but for those of us who are basically minor birds uh, and can pick things up by ear, this website is a gold mine. Germany alone has 20 different samples. It is the best. Matt Key is right behind me, isn't he? No. Yeah. I don't like this show anymore. Hey. Do you need anything? Uh, you know, Matt, I, uh, I think I got it. Uh, you and I should have a wizard battle. For real? Like you actually are a wizard? You play Doctor Strange and you actually can do this? Hmm, hear that? Quiet. Ooh, so nice. A fun Home by Alison Bechtel. Yes, that Bechtel, whose name is attached to the Bechtel test, wrote an award-winning graphic novel back in 2006 that was later adapted into a 2015 musical that cleaned house at the Tony Awards. It is a coming-of-age tale as Bechtel, a character in her own story, sifts through the memories of her childhood, dealing with such things as coming out of the closet to a dysfunctional family and grappling with the memories of the man who was her father. The musical portrays her at different stages in her life as present-day Allison wrestles with her family's history asking herself the question many of us do about our parents after they're gone. Who are these people? You know, even after a couple of years of repeat listens, I still put this album on in my car about once a month and ugly cry. Do me a favor, try this. Go to YouTube, search Ring of Keys, Sydney Lucas, 2015 Tonys. Watch, listen, and then tell me that kid isn't seeing and feeling those moments as if they were actually happening for the first time. I spend a lot of my time in the worlds of ninjas, mech pilots, dragon slaying, and ninja mech pilots fighting dragons. Uh, my guess, digital media viewer, is that you do too. And I agree, they're awesome, but it's crucial for you, the burgeoning artist, to strip away the lightsabers and eldritch horror and return to the core stories of people and family. Look, accents and impressions are all fine and good, but if you want to act on mic, you need to revel in the richness of human experience and Fun Home delivers a hefty helping of it. Always return to the theater. Oh, 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 Liam, this is, what is this, the fart dimension? This is like the worst dimension ever. If you don't leave me alone, I'm going to leave you here. 
Oh god, no, please, no, 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 I'll do anything, fine, 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 just, I'll leave you alone, just please get me out of here. But like, what's it like to play Doctor Strange? That must be really awesome, right? Okay. No! No, don't leave me! It's just bots, it's nothing but bots! Hey, do you guys care if I just hang around in the background while you shoot the rest of the day? No, no, feel free. Cool, I have so many dad things I have to do, I just, I'm tired. Hey, take your time. Thank you. Hey, Liam! Liam, hey, it's me! It's Matt Key! Hey! Guess what, I'm still in the fart dimension, but it's cool. It's totes cool, don't sweat it, man. I've learned so much, like, time is relative here, so... Hey, like, for instance, I've learned how to talk through farts, so that's cool, right? Hey, so I'll always be with you, which is great. So, hey, quick question, Bolts of Balthag or Vapors of Valtor? Yeah, I'm just gonna slip out. Bolts of Balthag, right? It's totally bolt Bolts of Balthag. Vapors of Valtor. Mm -hmm. Bolts of Balthag. Don't follow me, Matt! I, I can't help it! Bolts of Balthag, Vapors of Valtor. But it's definitely Bolts, right?
welcome back. A little longer than I anticipated, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to jump in here, but before we do that, the winners are uh, for the Wormwood box, we have uh, Zabando is the winner. Yes, Zabando! And for the Jocks Machina shirt, we have Alkion299. Congratulations, Yay! you get to join the very exclusive Jocks Machina Club. Testosterone Poncho. There's only five of these. Yeah, that's limited. Man. Yeah, there's my trainer Ron, who plays another Goliath, and my brother Nick, who plays an elf ranger who is incinerated. Oh, by God, the bro. fucking Death Knight. That's right. <laughs> so, That's right. so, bringing it back in, as you guys are charging your way towards Entropis, running through the streets, uh, you do the best you can to dodge in and out of any sort of uh, things that might catch your attention on the street side. You see most of the undead uh, and various cultists have been filtering down beneath the city uh, a while back, and you're not entirely certain where they are at the moment. Um, the few dregs there are around there, you guys easily enough dodge around. Pushing forward, you see the spire of Entropis growing taller and taller the closer and closer you get to it. And as soon as you get to the base of, its, of the spire, you look up and you can see the broken seams of the once toppled tower, now held together by the network of glowing magical threads, like arcane veins, wrapping the tower and lending an unsettling organic nature to its visage. The exterior still stands windowless, like an obelisk of tyranny looming over the entirety of the city. The apex, of course, is now obscured by shadow and cloud, this slow-spinning tornado of twilight darkness, entwining the top, locking visibility and possibly entry at the top. Numerous gloom stalkers encircle the higher level, not currently engaging in the main fray, which is chaos all around, and you see more emerging from this cloud, almost seemingly creating them. The large front doors to the tower appear somewhat ajar and open. There is one rot behemoth currently standing in front of this door. Box Machina, what do you want to do? I don't want to overthink this. But I feel like the sword said that it wanted to cut the webs of Vecna, yeah. can I just cut the tower down? Uh, I don't know, I don't know if that's I take your laugh as a, as a sign. I don't know if that, you can cut the whole tower down, they'll probably try to stop you, don't you think? Certainly try. <laughs> good, good, no. Yeah. Perhaps not. Um, I feel like, do we see any other doors, like secret doors maybe? Uh, do we see invisible doors? Windows. You do not. Perception, you don't. Glancing around, you don't see anything. It looks like this is the, the, the door entrance to it. You can make an investigation check, but you have to get up against the wall and like carefully check it. Can I do that without letting the rock behemoth see me? Uh, you can certainly try. Mm. That's a big fat no. You can certainly try. That's not a no. But we're directly in front of the, the door a ways back. How far Yeah, back? you can see it. It's, you're about 40 feet away from it, kind of off to the side, glancing over where you can see the rock behemoth just looming in the archway. We didn't really think about how we were getting up the tower, did we? Here's a possibility. Charging Here's in. a possibility. Yeah. I have a gloom stalker, and I have Delilah. I put her on the back of this thing and fly it up there. Maybe this thing moves out of the way. Maybe the rock behemoth moves? I'm just saying. Can she talk? Can you make her talk? Can no. she talk? But she looks I can't just like Delilah. I don't think I can puppet her. I can tell her to do commands. Can you yeah. tell her to talk? She'll understand what I'm saying, but I don't think she can. By the way, as you've made this journey forward, and Delilah's been shambling behind, you know, sitting behind you, this strange pain has been hitting you in the back of your shoulders, and you glance back and look at the corpse of Delilah behind you as what appears to be a rapidly growing tree is protruding oh, and growing out of the chest on. of the corpse and is now kind of setting weight off of the top of the uh, Gloomstalker as it's trying to flutter up behind the party. Sorry, Wait. I'm sorry, that's, uh, can I, can that's I, a thing. Can I, I can, can I cleansing touch and end one spell? <laughs> it's less of a spell effect and more of a, uh, a a divine seed that was placed inside its, her body when she was slain by the Vestige I placed Fendris. my seed inside of her. 
Uh, and it quickened. I, Don't make it weird. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to... I make everything weird, man. I'm, I'm not going to further question you about that. Um, <laughs> you knocked her up. So. Yeah, okay. Uh, it must be an elf yeah. thing. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. Okay, great. Um, Maybe they'll think that it's just a fashion thing, and they'll let her through. It's still growing, and it's not protruding. It's about, it's about four feet from her chest now, and the body is now starting to get a little top-heavy. You top just chop the tree down. It's a thin tree. That's not very thick. It's maybe about. <laughs> oh yeah, brother. Okay, so you take a couple of hacks at it, and eventually you manage to cut away the tree. And now there's like a trunk that's now stopped growing <laughs> about a foot out of Delilah's chest, with like roots that have now taken root up into the shoulders and the chest. That's kind of sick. It's like she's got a built-in shield now. Can I take one of the fancy robes <laughs> that remains in the bag of holding and drape it over the trunk coming out of her chest, so it's a little more hidden? Oh boy. Sure. Yeah, Does anyone have any like woodworking skills? <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, just whittle it down. I I need a house. Can I take her branches and make one? You need it. A house? What? Oh, it's the giving tree. Oh! <laughs> oh. 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 What was that? I don't know. So, you had this rock beam at the entryway. What are you guys okay. doing? Yeah. Well, our okay. options are somehow flying up and or going in the front door. Do we fly or? up or do we go inside an avatar? I'm sure there's no traps or yeah, it's, horrible I'm sure things it's on the inside. Lovely inside, inside of it. there. The last time Pike and I took it down with a couple of earthquake spells. Don't think that's but that didn't help nearly as much as we thought it would. I mean, we didn't have to go up the damn thing, so, you know, maybe check yourself before Let's you just take it. charge in. This is a freaking giant, right? We've killed giants. Behemoth. Just is it dead? That simple. Undead. The rock behemoth? It's undead. It's undead. It is undead. Beast. Yeah. It's undead? It's undead. How big is the rock behemoth? Uh, the, the, the rock behemoth is about 12 feet tall or so. Um, and it's just just a mass huh. of stitched together undead flesh. I've got an interesting Medium idea. Medium or large? Yeah. large? I've got an idea. What? Can I borrow some of that uh, inf infinite rope? Of course. All right. I'm taking the infinite rope and I'm tying it around my little gem that I have. Um, <laughs> the little blue gem? My little glowing, my little glowing gem. Are okay. you going to do that like that twenty dollar bill trick in New York City thing? More or less. <laughs> So, oh my God. are we all are we all agreed that it works? It. Yeah, let's do this. If it doesn't work, we kill. Yeah, we'll just drag it out of the doorway so we can kill it. Well, yeah. I'm just yeah. going to make it move away, uh -huh. and then we can go in. And then once we're in, I'm just going to yank the. the I used demo to light. do this with stringing a GI Joe for my cat when I was a kid. Yeah, she loved it. I'm sure the rock. Okay, cool too. so. You take the you take the the, the the pulse stone. You tie it around. I tie it around <laughs> like a monkey fist yeah. knot, and uh, I toss it about. 20 feet away. I'm going to give it. A, I'm going to give it a throw. I'm going to just throw it about 20 feet away from the, uh, from the, uh, from this, from the stone. Are we all? We're all in agreement of this. Uh -huh. yeah, this is the best plan. Yeah, of my sure. life. Right. Wait, wait, one second. Do we want to like lure it into a house and all of us just be waiting to gank the shit out of it? Well, technically, wait, hold on. Do, uh, don't yeah. you paladin types have you something that can make it our ally? Like a flare oh, no. in the sky above you, as you see a cluster of uh, gloomstalkers. Immolated by a burst of flame breath from Devosa, who's now up in the stratosphere. At the same time, you see about a dozen or so wyvern riders go riding into the slow spinning storm and just get disintegrated into pieces. I'm they just going to throw. <laughs> the, I'm actually going to throw the gem, then pass the stone giant into the room. Okay. So just oh. a little bit, so that so anything. Make a strength in the room. check for me. That's a bit of a. It's a bit of a, a strength check. Okay. Okay. Uh, nine. It makes it about the That's 20 good. feet you intended to. All right. Ting, ting, ting. Pull it back and have one of uh, um, I mean, not that you're not strong and very. Point. So, what, what's very the range on this, this um, little stone? Strong of mine. 30 feet. Okay, it is within range to affect the rot behemoth. Okay. So I, have to, I have to roll, though. Um, I have to, well, was, I have to do a roll to see if it, it survived the throw. That's true, yeah. So. The stone? Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ting, ting. So, it's a will save for Ooh, the rot behemoth. Ooh. Oh, you gotta DC do that thing where you move uh, DC 15, for wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> That's a two, no. Wow. So you guys watch as the rot behemoth, the stone, ting, ting. it's like it's a metal armored face and glowing coal eyes turn. What, you're drawing it towards us? And it walks no, over to the gem just and just stares at it. Oh. So let's all go in, shall we? Yes, let's just And I'm just going to, still still going to walk around it stealthily. and stealth in. Pass without a trace is still fucking up. I think we go in outside. Uh, if it's been problems. less than an hour. Make yeah. a concentration check for me real fast. Make a constitution save. And we just watch the wyverns get obliterated trying to fly into the yeah. swirl at the top. 
Uh, 18. Okay, you maintain the concentration. Yeah. Yeah. Referring to the blast from the skeletal dragon earlier. All right. So, did you guys all roll stealth? Stealth? Uh, Plus 10. Natural 20. All right. Wait, is stealth? Uh, I rolled a 2 and a 2. Oh, so that's 15 and 15. Okay. How do I do I'm gonna, this? I'm going to clear my, this my gun gun stalker right. with the zombie. Uh, <laughs> How does this like work? Practically Zombie's not stealthed, um, but it is undead. Mm-hmm. The gloom stalker. Cleared. Ah, We're going it's inside. hard to be stealthed with that gloom stalker right now since you're We're going inside. Kind of we don't need it anymore. It. You want to leave him? I mean, I what are you so. going to do with a flying thing in a, in a narrow s- stairway? We've seen inside, we yeah. scried inside, it's a very narrow oh. stairway going up. Can you Dude. have him climb up the side of the tower and just oh, meet yeah, you up meet top? meet us up top? Wait yeah. for your signal to... He ain't going to survive that. Well, he can <laughs> try it there. You might. You might. Yeah, I think that would work. <laughs> okay. You can do that. <laughs> yeah, I hate it when you do that. Um, okay. uh, I mean, I love yeah, it. I, mean, I hate it. I mean, I love it, but I hate it. <laughs> yeah. Just also double checking. Grit, grit is a reset after combat, not a reset yeah. at short rest. No, it's okay. short rest. It's short rest. Okay. Just yeah. checking. I I have the wreath back on my neck, correct? Because that's how yes. it works. I put yeah. it back on my neck. Yeah, you put it back on your neck tuned. once you've once, once you've attuned. Correct. Okay. <clears throat> they meet us at the top. <laughs> Okay. As you step off and look into its eyes, you know your eyes flare the bright yellow color, and the Gloomstalker nods, takes a step back, and then leaps onto the side of the tower. Its claws gripping in, and as it bats its wings, it takes off and starts heading upwards. Circle at the top and wait for my command. It seems to acknowledge your commandment. Sweet. All right. All right. Now disadvantage roll and heavy plate. You got it. Do I have a plus ten? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got. All right, twenty-seven. Okay, nice. so twenty-seven, two oh, and two, two 15, and two, 15, 15, 15. 15. Yeah. Natural twenty. Twenty-nine. That was a one, but it's a thirty-seven. Because <laughs> you rolled a luck. What? No, no Matt told me that because always of 10. reliable talent, because one reliable talent shit. for him, he always has talents. a ten minimum. That's fucking badass. That's awesome. mm-hmm. Thirty-seven. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. All right. Oh wow. So, as you guys all dart. In, around this rot behemoth, who takes pays no mind to your presence, you dart into the the partially ajar doorway into the base of Entropis, the tower itself. It's dark inside, uh, and as soon as you all dart into the interior, the doors are still partially open. You can see the the faint glow of the very very low general light that uh, encompasses the city of Tharamphala. Um, the uh, the normal greenish blue glow of the the shield is offset a little bit by the natural light that's coming through from the opening of the barrier that you guys have opened. However, the light still diminishes as you step into this large chamber. Uh, as soon as you enter the chamber, uh, those of you with dark vision glance around and see it's a big kind of thoroughfare. You see large, oh, sorry, thoroughfare, a large um, kind of uh, foyer type chamber with pillars that go from, from bottom to maybe 25, 30 feet up to a ceiling. Um, across the way, you can see what appear to be two s- spiral staircases that curl upward, and there are maybe 30 or so humanoid figures that are in the center of this chamber. What are they doing? Well, as soon as you guys step in and turn around, they all turn and look at you. Oh, mm-hmm. boy. Okay, they're undead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they can just... We need that orb. We need that orb they, Once they're within, within range of us, I'm going to wait. I mean, they're moved, they're, a lot of them are going to be right upon you right now. Can yep. I sense what kind they are? Divine sense, tell what type of fiend, celestial, or undead they are? Uh, they, they are undead. They appear to be mostly of the baseline skeletal or zombie variety. Mm-hmm. It's a cluster of undead that are just set here as a... Okay, I'm going to tug on the, tug on the rope. Okay. And pop the, and just, and pull it up and toss the gem right, <laughs> right smack dab in the center of us. Okay. It, or, unless somebody else wants to throw it. That no, doesn't matter. That's fine. Yeah, I just, yanked it, right? I just yanked it. So okay, you yank it. Go ahead and make a roll. See if it destroyed or not. No, it's good. Okay, the stone <laughs> arcs in the center. The blue kind of pulse glow light billows out, and you see this the various zombies and skeletons charge into the light. They kind of stop and stare at it. Yeah, we'll Let's see. Do you see fifteen? It's Thirty roll. Doesn't. Can't you kill masses of? I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. We can do one okay, at a time. Okay, so so it looks of the. 30 or so, about 20 of them stop and stare at the glow. 
while you hear a bounding, heavy footfall sound behind where you came from. Uh-oh. I thought okay, okay. he was not still within range. He's following no. the little. You gem. pulled the, to- the the stone from where you were inside the chamber now, so he's now rushing in after where the stone. So works. spread and let him run right into the ring. Yeah. Oh, we can we can get out of the way and let him maybe yeah. run into the undead. That as soon are... as he enters, he's in range, yeah. doesn't he? Possibly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's move out of the way. But ten of the undead are still rushing in towards you, yeah. and they're immediately scrambling with their claws and teeth out there. Uh, That's going to go ahead. Let's say for uh, for the people that are at the front here. Yeah. Um, it's going to be. Probably the two of you who first made it in. So I'm just going to be keep throwing this three attacks against each of you. Okay. That is uh, an 18 against you, Vax. No. That is uh, 20 against you. No. Oh. And no, that misses. Hmm. So three against you. Natural 20. Wow. Uh, 20. No. And a natural one. All right. So while they scramble at you and you push them back at bay, one of them does manage to get through, and it's going to be. 12 points of slashing damage against you, Vex, as one of them swings at you with a rusty blade that just carves past you. Damn it, Bobby. Okay. Damn it, Bobby. All right. What are you guys doing? Uh, Let's just hack and slash these people. Well, should we yeah, how many is the level? 30? Not 30, but yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah, Pickle, can you do it? Can you do it? Uh, seven, right, Bum? Yeah, I'll just um, take out my mace of disruption. Oh, yeah. I don't think there's any more spells. No, 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 right, no, no, no. right. Every channel divinity, you have your turn yeah, undead. Turn undead. Or destroy turn undead. undead. Yeah, destroy undead. I which, do I want to wait? I don't know how many undead we're going to face gonna up top. going to be too powerful for a destroy yeah. or turn undead, so it's for weak ass. We shit might like have, this. you know, yeah. I don't know what kind of armies he's going to have up top, so. so it's up to you. Jesus. And we have another one. So yeah. maybe do one of them, because I can do it now. Yeah. Okay. So as you rush in towards where this pole stone is, as the crowd of undead have kind of gathered in, you hunker down, clutch your holy symbol, and release a wave of divine energy, the, the whispers and prayer of Saren Ray emanating from you like a caustic wave against undead energy. Um, what's the DC on that? It's not written down. Would it Just be spell? Oh, 18. Yeah, 18. Okay, 18. Your spellcasting ability. Oh my god. Cocked. It's based on your spellcasting ability. Do you know what your spellcasting ability is based on? It's either wisdom or intelligence. Roll! Wisdom for cleric. Has your wisdom gone up at all? Her wisdom is. 8 plus 5 plus your uh, your proficiency bonus. Which is 1420. You're at 6 proficiency bonus now. You're not at. 8 plus 5. I am? Yeah, yep. you're at 6, six. Now. I didn't know that. It's 19. So your DC 19. is 19. Sorry, Matt. It's okay. I lost count. I don't know why I'm writing on you. No, no you go for it. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm just behind. Even with their saves, four undead survive. Oh, wow. As the shockwave emanates out from you, you watch as about two dozen of these various skeletons and zombies, many of which uh, are grasping at you, just turn to ash. One of them is here reaching out towards you. You get a glimpse of it, and you can see this one's a fresher corpse, one of the zombies. It has a dirty blonde hair, a torn chin with stubble, and for a brief minute, you can see, they see like, this gash in its stomach, it's partially eaten arm, and for a brief minute, as it reaches out for you before the wave hits, you're like, Aldor? <sighs> Turns to ash. Oh. Aldor. Member of the Slayer's take, once the prized love of... Uh, oh, oh, Felicia Day! Oh. No! No. As the flash Fall expands, back. you glance around and you see uh, a no. withered, a withered gnome corpse that's been reaching towards you, mostly bald head in places. You recognize this as one of your companions, Grubby. Before the wave hits and he turns to ash. You just killed two of our friends, Pike. Don't do that. To Fuck her. off! I didn't all know. of these, all of these, they were long dead. Uh, as this burst of energy hits and all of a sudden just dust and ash fills the chamber around you. Um, Did you do anything to the Rapa Uh Coming the, in, the Rapa Behemoth behind. What is the DC on him? Uh, what's the, what's the what's the what's the challenge rating of four or lower? For oh yeah, it's higher than challenge player. rating four, so it doesn't affect him okay. at all. Oh. Um, but the four of you, easy enough to probably cleave him down. But we'll see if even he's affected by the stone. So the last four that are there, um, as they charge into the stone. Nope, none of them make their save. So the last four that are still just are all kind of stop and stare. 
and just kind of glare at the stone in there in the center of the chamber. The rock behemoth comes looming in. Uh, what's the DC? Our DC is 15. 15, 14, does not make it. Oh. One. Hey. <laughs> Don't worry, Matt. Your luck is coming upstairs. It's true. It's true. Uh, so the hop, 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 <laughs> through the door and then comes in and just kind of stays there, staring at the stone, blocking the doorway and holding it in yes. place. Should but we, now this chamber's open. And should you we have kill to... this shit while they're stunned? No, we should just walk, yeah, run up. up. How do we gonna... know we're not going to run into like a whole bench more? Which is why we're going to keep on the rope. We're going to go all the way up the stairs, and when ready, we're just going to tug like a motherfucker. So. Okay, then all these things are going to chase after us. They're going to keep following you. Put up. Mm -hmm. Every time you pull the stone, they're going to come towards you. Yeah. So we might as well just kill yeah. them now while they're stunned. Let's just one at a time. Let's mm -hmm. just kill one at a time. The giant's going to take more than one hit. No, he's like, but we're going to get. We're going to get him. I'm going to shoot. We'll say easily enough for you guys to coordinate. The skeletons are easy enough to destroy. The rock behemoth all in one swoop. You guys could take down as one quick blast on it. Let's do it. One of the skeletons you also recognize, a heavily charred zombie making a horrid sighing sound as it's sitting there staring at the stone. And you see the remains of Vander. Is he damaged? Burnt to a cinder. Like the last thing you saw was him being immolated and screaming. I'd like to channel divinity and control undead. Okay. <laughs> and with that, before you destroy the zombie, a second. It's a wisdom save. Wisdom save? Mm. Three. Nope. You got so, two zombies now. The, yeah, two zombies. Delilah. Yo, and now your previous zombies. ally, Vander, <laughs> my friend, turns from the stone. This is fucking dark. Right now. Oh, it's so dark. So I, I'm really excited about the notion of like a Delilah so potted happy. plant that we yeah. can get now. So like, it's my Delilah. brother's character. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, from our home so room. Cool. Yeah, bro. You are now Michonne from Walking Dead. You got two zombies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bring him into the CRU. That's you tight. got him. Yeah. That's pretty tight. <sighs> Zombie Vander. Oh, man. Oh. oh, this is like rattling whatever blackened heart my character has inside <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, well, up we go then, yeah? Let's do this. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to look for traps as we go. All right, make an investigation check. Sure. Everyone all healed stuff. up to full? No. Fuck. no. Should we no. pause and 18. just heal? Or? Pause for 30 yeah, minutes and heal? Vaseline was just Potions. out the window. Yeah. Let's, let's uh, okay. two miles away. -ish. All right, what'd you roll? 18. 18? Yeah. Okay. If you take a potion, you're full, right? Don't you have your thing going, or no? Is that gone? Wait, what? Beacon yeah. of Hope. Beacon of Hope, yeah. us? Oh, Beacon yeah. of Hope just means it heals to a max that a healing spell potion. or a healing potion can do. You don't automatically go to full oh. health. 2d8, 16. Oh, I didn't know that. How long does Beacon of Hope last? Looking it up. Looking it up. I mean, uh, it is. One minute. Beacon one is minute. not so Beacon healing anymore. Yeah. That's um, okay. Do you have a healing spell for people? I do. Or? I, I I'm do. fine. We're doing a group thing right now. I'm. How about how? Are we short resting or are we doing a little healies? I don't think we have thirty minutes, but. Does it, I don't think we have thirty minutes. Will it need a, a need a full thirty minutes to do a quick short rest? Technically, it's an hour by the rules. I let yeah. it slide a little yeah. faster in times of intensity, but I'm fine. So I'd, I'd allow like a thirty minute. In quick rest. Quick rest, but. I'm fine. That's. I still would not say no to it, but I'm. I can. Ha I can live without it. Um, I just don't know that. I mean, they're fighting at Vasselheim right now. Yeah, we're at the we're at the, at the gates. gates. I'm but at 94 you know, hit points. I'm down about 50, 50 or so hit I'm points. I'm telling you though, it's this or no, or nothing. If like if we fall right. here, if we fail, right. then it's fucked. So right. even if it destroys half the city, it's, it's better than to have all of us at full fighting potential. I would like to cast <laughs> Death Ward on myself, fourth level spell slot. Okay. Smart. All right, do it. Do the short rest. Just right. do it. Wait, we're right. doing a short oh, rest? Just 30 minutes. Just, just, just do it. Okay. Oh, wait, who needs it? We, we do. Do. I can I heal her. Oh, you we do? Can, we're yeah. all, we all need healing. No, nah, do it. I'm like 40 I, points down. I'm 50 points down, and no, I, I burned much. both of yeah. my shape change. That is okay. too much. All right. All right. Who else so, is down far? Damn. We just, we just. <laughs> Yeah, wow, we have a quarter or half of Vasselheim. Like, don't you have a I'm sacrificing Vasselheim. I do do this. So how much does but it? But it just depends on the role. Any time you cast a healing spell, no, 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 it takes away from someone else. It maximizes That's, it. No, we don't no, have to. It takes off in the last 60 seconds. Yeah, so if I roll bad, or... No, but we have hit dice. You don't need the yeah, spells. Let's just do it. Spells, we just hit dice. Let's just do Bye, it. Bye, Vasselheim. All right, well, so you guys are taking a short rest in the inside super of the trunks. No, look, super short. There is no super short rest. It's a short rest. It's a goddamn rest. 
seems terrible. It takes 30. I mean, mm. Rasselheim was in sight when you were outside. Yeah. What do you, I don't know. Just, what do you want? What do you no, want? I'm just letting you know. So, <clears throat> we have potions. It's Can we drink potions? Listen, you're not going to need the potions after today. I'm it's just saying. True. Might as well just okay, take them. You know what? Just go for it. Well, no, don't take your superior, though. No, we have other ones. Though. Okay, yeah. yeah. As long as you have other ones. Can you just try healing and see what it does? Yeah, yeah, then? yeah. I'll just do. I'll just do mass cure wounds on okay. you guys. What does that do? It's a I don't know. Level. We also we broke down the burial barrier, so Vasselheim can defend itself a little bit more. That was yeah. sixth of the pie. Yeah. And I'm fifty points down, and without my B shape. Close is in though. You don't Jamon's have B shape. in here. I used it to go earth elemental. Because I thought that the Briarwood fight might be a little bit more beefy than it was. But I don't necessarily need it. Vote as a group. Hand up if you want a short rest. No. No hands? No hands? You, you want it? Just, just put your hand up if you want it. I will admit it would do a lot for me. Kayla, put your hand up. I'm going to put it up because I think that these two need it. I'll tie break it. So short rest? Yeah. Yep. Like, short rest. Okay. Short rest. Short rest. That's fine. Vasselheim, right. as, quote the leaders of Vasselheim, they have I'm defended you, themselves through right many fogs of battle. The vampire is going to be up there full strength. Mm -hmm. yep. He's going to be back. Oh, that's He's a good He's going to be back point. full strength. He might not be or back full strength yet. Rest. He'll be back something. He, he takes you, a while to rest up. It takes a while. It's like 25 a minute, isn't it? Is it's, it? It's super fast. He does oh, really? right. He would generate 25. Well, well there, nah, we there's a lot that. of things at work here. It depends. We don't know that. Roll a religion check. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know I'll do that, too. Natural one. I'll oh, join the religion type. It's good for me. But yep. <laughs> I'm a paladin with terrible religion. Fourteen. All right. I'm just, uh, All right. Blind face. But still, roll, roll a religion check. Okay. Seeing as how you are, you are, you undead is your domain. Here's the blind face. Just roll yeah. a natural twenty, Joe. I rolled a natural eighteen. Oh. oh. Plus. Zero for religion. Okay. Okay. Um. You know this because of your experience with undead. And amassing yourself in necromantic energy since breaking your oath long ago. Yeah, you do. Um, when a vampire is reduced to zero hit points and goes into mist form, it has two hours to return to its resting place. When it reaches its resting place, it has to rest for one hour. And once it rests for the one hour, it goes back to one hit point, and then it regenerates 25 hit points, or at least us, every single round. Roughly how much time has passed since we went from. About. Okay. I'd say 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 ish minutes or so. So we've got. Because you've been, you've been working hours, 30 or 40, because you've been slowly stealthing your way through right. and being careful. Right, right, so. right. But probably his Listen, box of dirt So if you take a short rest, on the roof, you're probably going to look at a, a Silas waiting for you somewhere up top. Okay. It's going to take two hours to get up the tower? It's a we don't big know. tower. I There's we're lots all of shit. Up there. There. No, meaning if you guys take a short rest, he needs to rest for an hour. It took you 40 minutes since that happened to get to the tower. If you take a short rest. Right. right. You're gonna I'm have to a, deal a, with the silence. I mean, like, mm. fuck it. If we just heal our heal ourselves. Scanlan's got healing. Scanlan two has got healing. Yeah. This is, we can this is a cross choice, guys. Yeah. So, yeah. Because he also turns people, right? He like, does turn people. I barely made that. Yeah, no. We need to not rest. Yeah, no rest. We'll yeah, no yeah, no be okay. No rest. No I'm gonna shape. take my. No what, 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 how much? How much shield do you got out of the potion? Uh, mask who's, your who's wounds. Bad? What's She's mask? bad. Okay. I'm not bad. You're bad. Who else? I could use some, seeing that. I have tank duties. How many I, can you? Okay, include? is anybody down? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm bear down of healing. I'm down. I want to say I'm at 94 hit points. So I'm down. I'm down 42. You but can I can take heal a short rest. I heal no, most of my but just understand okay. and be prepared no. with the knowledge of knowing that you're also going. Just put some things in your chamber Scan that'll be helpful has against tons a vampire. Of healing spells that he can use. So, use them. He's gonna be dead soon anyway. Like, you guys don't okay. want us losing any of our spellcasters right no. now. I'm 90. I'm at 94. Yeah. It's not a lot. It's not bad, but it's bad enough. I'm a third hit of my hit points. You do down. have a battery of low-level spell slots right now that can be used yeah. to heal things up. Yeah, if you I want can to. heal you and heal you and heal you and let's heal you, you until you're all done. Yeah, but every time you heal me and heal me and heal me, it's taking away from something else. It's mechanically just a level good. one bullshit spell but slot. But it's also it's it's whatever we can you do guys in want. That's what we're meaning. No I am magic resigning my decision you. right now. And Make a choice magic. here, guys. I know. I'm you're sorry. You're time us in the tower. No short rest. Heal, heal some people. I'll heal some more. We got this. We got okay, lots I of just healing. Use a I'm second gonna... level for 16 points of healing for six people who need it. Great. Okay. 16 points. I'll take that. Okay. 
Six. I'm taking I will one. Take it 94 as well. plus 16. Okay. That's. How many people are taking uh, it so far? I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. 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 I'm we can uh, use cure wounds as opposed to healing word. I don't have cure wounds. I have. Oh, that's wounds. right. Never mind. I have cure wounds. Uh, that's nine more points too. for you. For me? Yeah. Oh wait, I can sing a song of rest. Oh, that takes a short rest. A too. Yeah, that makes that's sense. That's true. <laughs> then I I'll do it. Do my speech if I had a short rest. Uh, well, you can do the speech as we climb up the tower. How, yeah. how much are you? Sh- how, much are you sh- like, how much are you short? Uh, speech, yeah, if you recall, she's 20, 22. She's 22 short? Yeah, I got it. No, the speech does what? Does the speech regain hit points? She has 10 minutes to t- save the speech. So, so the speech as we climb the tower, she climb? could be saying Perhaps, yeah. 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 I will heal you another second level healing spell. A greater for healing potion is 44. Is scan two. You got it, 44 okay. plus 4. All right. Uh, I'm only going to take that's another, scan two. That's another Consider 10 now, points. as no, you guys climb points. the tower. Oh, that's good. If you that's have good. any you down buff now? spells, uh, if you have any long lasting things change. that you want to utilize yeah, for the coming oh, fray, get you to full. Yes. Uh-huh. freedom of movement, the, death ward, all the things you guys want to prepare with, now's the time to do it. 141 and full. I'm going to. When we're right on the verge, when we think we're right on the verge, I'm blessing you uh, and you. I think this is the verge. Wait, wait, wait. is this the verge? Because no. if this is the verge, you still have, you still have a tower to climb, but I'm no, if you have spells, spells, like buffs to cast that are yeah. concentration that last a while, now's the time to do it. I need like to an cast. hour a while? Oh, yeah. So, Tiamat gave her 12, and I'm, I'm going to give 18 to myself out of my healing do pool. I do okay. It? Perfect. Let's do it. Okay. Pike and I burn all four of our fourth level spell splots to do. Splots. Splots. We do all four. <laughs> our spell splots to cast freedom of movement on anybody. Okay. With the That's exception, true. with the exception of Percy, who already has it. What does freedom of movement do? Wait. So how many Can't how many slots paralyzed. is that for you guys then? Three oh, each. Three each. Okay. Except we didn't account I've got some for. Scanlan two. Scanlan two or, or yeah. Archon. Okay. What's happening? Um. Okay. Anything else you want to buff? With? Yes, I'm gonna invoke my uh, blessing of pa- of the Dawnfather. Okay. And um. Oh my God. No she death wards. They're looking super. Bad. I did. I did. I did I you did death ward to yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she has a death ward. Wait a second. So one of us is without freedom of movement. Which well, Scanlan two. Scanlan two. No, but. I, I have it automatically. He now. has it automatically. Scans you have it automatically. Understand. Understand. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Does anybody, Archon can anybody cast, fast. should we cast some death wards too? Yes. yes. Wait, I didn't get freedom of movement? No. 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 We can yeah, only no. do it on the Sorry. Six we did it with an earring and sorry you weren't on. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I got I'm just over like <laughs> kicking a can in the corner. <laughs> we're it's we're all on iPhones but, uh, and you're on a Windows yeah. phone. Yeah. And yeah. Just kind of it's a razor. It's a very nice razor. Unless I burn a fifth level for. Uh, oh, for our no, I have some funky okay. shit. I have a I have a cleansing touch anyway that can end a spell on me or any willing creature that I touch. Oh, Jesus. So that should help. Oh, so Jesus. what's the plan, guys? Wait, we're doing we're, things that we're last doing, an hour. We're doing yeah. things, yeah, yeah. We're doing it. Shit. Well, I mean, I don't know. Okay. You I should invoke your unless we want to try and get it higher up before we go. It's up to you guys. That's it. It takes it's an hour. Do we think this is it? How Are we sure this is it? This is it. Is it like one of these guys? This is fucking it. This is like he's the eyes on. You can't see the height of the tower. It goes up into another floor. Okay, right. so this means anything we encounter, if it's not fucking Vecna, this then we're amazing. barreling through it and going straight. Yes. Because we have burned everything. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If so, you want to hold right. your spells until you get higher, I'll let you do that. Up to you. There's a death knight. I mean, is it? It's I don't know you. what's worth it. How much do we do? We have any idea of how much higher this tower goes? I mean, it goes pretty high. Oh, excuse me. Where is Vecna right now? How high up? Right above you. Right above us? Way up or a floor up? Way up. Way up. Way up. He's okay. on the ceiling. Do we want to try and jog another ten minutes before yeah, yeah, yeah. doing yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we want to what? Yeah, let's jog another go, ten minutes let's, let's before doing this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jog. Yeah, okay, okay. Before we burn making, everything, just letting you guys be prepared okay. here because you're Vox Machina. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go ten more minutes up, and right. I'm gonna give a speech as we go. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I'm invoking the blessing as we get closer. Okay. No, no, I'm good. Anybody else? 
Okay, guys. As we climb this tower, I know there's a lot of stairs, but the stairs are gonna be fucking nothing compared to Vecna, but holy fuck, holy fuck, these are a lot of fucking stairs. This is inspiring. Um, stairs are a metaphor. <laughs> stair, the stairs are a metaphor. Each stair that we we get across is gonna be like another step further into defeating mm-hmm. Vecna, uh-huh. you yeah. know? Yeah. So with each stair, just, I'm winded. The stairs are long, but they're oh, not man. infinite. The stairs are long, but they are not infinite. It'll be good. <laughs> And uh, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. This is it. <laughs> this is it. This is it. I feel so inspired, Kayla. Thank wow, you. That was so oh, inspiring. This is it, you guys, just keep going up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my speech. Okay. Did- Take your 17, no, uh, 19. 19 hit points. Nice! Oh, yeah. 19 temporary hit points, including, including you. 19 temporary on, yeah. And they're temporary. In not addition correct. to In our a, plus two, so now we have oh, 21. Snap. Do we heal above that? We, yeah, imati- like, we automatically well, 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 not, do. So, well, you just get temporary hit points, so like a buffer shield. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. So um, those 19 go first. Correct. Yeah, okay. Um. Okay. Got it, okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, are we getting near the top? So. Let me know, because I'm going to throw up. <laughs> who, wants the, who wants the death ward? Yeah, and, and Pike and I cast whenever it seems appropriate. Right. But who wants it? I mean, who needs the it? Thing Who's going like, to die? I know, this one yeah, definitely. We, we should do, this. okay, here's the thing. The people that have the tremors should probably have a death ward too. I've got my one hit point regenerate. regenerate yeah, okay, right. you're good. You. So Pikey you has one. I have my my mm-hmm. armor. Like okay, so that bumps you back up once you've gone down mm-hmm. once. Yeah. So not. really, he needs the and you. Well, no, you won't mm-hmm. come back right away. No, you turn. If into I have cat the, the death ward, I will pop back. Yeah. Up. There is only one person that can complete the incantation of sealing. That's me. Ceiling of what? Oh, the trammels? Once the trammels are in, he has to do it. He has to do it without Scanlan. What about Scanlan 2? Can Scanlan 2 do it? He has not book. He's not going to last that long, guys. I cast Death Ward from Scanlan. Pike, I accept your blessing. Scanlan, if we get through this, you know what that means, don't you? No, what does it mean? It means that your clone's going to get very lucky. <laughs> you, on the other hand, no. no you'll, you, you'll just have to live and wait and find out. Well, what does it mean? No. <laughs> what does it mean? Just live. Just we'll then, see. the real Scanlan comes back from peeing. He's like, what did I miss, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Ascending the stairs, you climb and climb the spiral, continuing upward. And both of the stairs, you spell upward, so which direction did you take? The right or the left? The right. No, wait, which oh, hand does Vecna chop off? Right. The left. What, what, is, what is your speech to, Keyleth, again? You, it gives you an additional 19, 19 hit points. Hit Temporary points. hit points. Temporary hit points. So add plus so wait, 19 on top. Is the left hand good or bad? When you lose them, they're gone. You them, they're gone. Huh? We're trying to decide whether we went left or right. We went right. We went right. Okay. Okay. So, you spiral upward and upward and upward, climbing an extremely long period of time. Your legs begin to ache a little bit, and then another floor opens up. It appears the tower is now divided into two chambers. It's actually like from the bottom floor up, it's now two sides to a tower, and you're on the right side. The hallway curves around the outer edge of the tower. On the opposite side, you can see the staircase continues upward. The the interior of this chamber appears to be an incredible arcane laboratory, occupying the center space of the tower side. You see six overlapping circles of dulled runes and glyphs that encompass the entire 30-foot walkway between here and the stairs, and uh, Shelves and tables of countless glass tubes and metallic vices lay out across tables, organized in a near OCD pattern. Tomes and books line the inner chamber walls. What do you guys do? I use divine sense and um, feel for undead. Okay. 60 feet. You sense around no undead in the 60 foot radius. Does this feel like it might be Delida's room, her chamber? 
You don't know. I feel like. I... Do I, from where I am, can I recognize any of the book titles? Any of it? Uh, from where you are now, you can't even see. Can it's too far you, is away. Is there any traps in this room? You can check for traps. Let's look. Fan can out. Can you sense Vecna? Yes. 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 Okay. So if Vecna moves, we know. What is that? In is investigation? Investigation. Right 24 for me. 14 for me. Okay. I mean, there are symbols across the ground here, but they seem pretty inert. Three of the circles in the center of the chamber appear to be ready to trigger. All right. By proximity, by five foot proximity. Uh, and where's the exit to this room? It's across the way, like around the outside of the tower wall, so you can follow along. We can go around the edge. Most of you can. It's a very tight walk to get through. Okay, have so a few large individuals. What's making that so tight? Is there one trap that's making it so tight, or all of them? There are three large circles that overlap with each other. Yeah. Uh, that are tr triggerable, and there are three inert ones that kind of overlap. They're all kind of, it's like a series of Venn diagrams, Did if you will. they seem forward. arcane in nature, these Yes, traps? they do. Do I have a shot in hell? Of, dis Disarming. of disarming them? Yeah. I take out the immovable rod and just have it in my hand. Okay, make an intelligence check. Natural oh. twenty. Oh. Um, you, these, up. these, these traps are far beyond your understanding to disable. Okay. Okay. We you glance at these and go, "Oh, this is bad." We would need the spells. What if? <clears throat> what if? Do we fly over them? We go. No, we the, the the people that are small, go around. Sure. I'll bamf trinket out on one side, put Grog in, go back, put Archon in, go back. Yes. So we work our way around the what room. What about the zombies? The zombies are little. Okay. They can work No, 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 around. his, his yeah. slave zombies. Little. Okay. Don't be yeah, his his dead brother. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, 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 was, I wasn't <laughs> thinking about it until you just brought it up again. I, I, like, I was actually like in an okay place. I thought, you know. I could have been something. Grog, I could have been something. Are you guys okay with this plan? Yes, let's do it. All right, we do I that. I could have been somebody, Archon, instead of a zombie, because I am. Man, the pick me, pick up the microwave in that way. So. I need everybody except for Archon and Grog to go ahead and just make a general dexterity check. Balls, Ted. Oh, fuck. I thought we would just be able to avoid it. Yeah. Child. Natural 20. Beautiful. Okay. Scanlan 2 is okay. Oh he made a 17. Scanlan 1 had a 1. Okay, so. You're what'd you get? Man. Oh, I had a roll? Everybody except everybody. for Archon and Scan. Oh, deck everyone save. but deck for them. Save. Yeah. Deck save. Oh, who's near me? Yeah. Deck save Cross. or dex check? Could I uh, retcon and say that I'm dex nine? Check. Dex you dex what did you get? You got a natural one? Scanlan did, yeah. One. If I'm next to him, because I, I give plus two to save, does know that fuck with it? We don't it's know. not an ability check, it's a saving throw. One Thanks. is an auto fail for a saving throw. Were they within, they weren't within 10 feet of me, were they? Uh, or were they? No, next would have partially across, because you couldn't get across, you're too wide. Fair enough. Um, 13. Okay, that's fine. And you got? Got it. Saving throws. A four. Okay. Oh, 28. So, knows. as you guys are moving across, Scanlan and Pike, oh, man. you both are clustered next to each other, and unfortunately, Pike begins to wobble, and you reach to grab and pull her in, but the armored weight is too strong, and you both accidentally step out of place, at which point the glyph to your left suddenly flares, and you watch as in a flash of sudden arcane energy, a cage of force-like power encompasses the both of you in a cube. You see these bars of crackling energy just around, and you're both currently stuck within this arcane Who, the gnomes? entrapment. Yeah, can, the gnomes. Can Scanlan 2 dispel that shit? I don't have dispel magic. What about uh, can the you dimension door? door? Yeah. Good question. Two yeah. If only the person in here with me was also of gnome size. Oh wait, she oh, is. Wait. We'll dimension door out. Do we want to try to get everyone okay. else across before you do that? Maybe it's a one-time only. Sure. Everybody else right. went. Wait. But I mean, well, they're the... currently blocking the path now with this cage. Oh, all right. I meant the the necklace, but I don't know uh, how this spell works. I hope it guys. works. We might just get hit on the way out. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so as you clasp Pike, and complete the incantation. I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Come on, buddy. Come on. on. This is your Come on. Thing. Uh, charisma save? Oh, Jesus. Correct. Look at that. Ooh. Is this magic? It is. Okay. 20. 
20? 20 will do it. <laughs> um, I've never had to make a charisma saving no. throw before. You are very high. Okay. Good so, so as you grab her and you both begin to transport outside of the cage, you feel the force of it push back, but the nature of your innate magical ability manages to puncture through that threshold, and then both of you reappear oh. at the opposite side. Oh Not worse for wear. The cage is still present, though, and it's kind of blocking the path across. So you climb up and over? You got, the rest of you get a good across fine. It's the gnomes that got stuck, and now the two of you are on the opposite end. You have 30 feet between you and the opposite side, and that walkway is entirely closed off. We can do this. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried one bit. Wait, did uh, you switch your boots? Oh, I yeah, did. The spider yeah. climbed to the ceiling and oh yeah. Do you want to like Cirque du Soleil this thing and we're like hold oh. arms and I'll just walk on the Two ceiling. Two shirtless and... hunky dudes oh. holding each other, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, just oh. like in crazy poses. You so sexy. Oh. Definitely take your yeah. armor off for this though. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Yes. Not for any particular. Wait, I was about to say we still that have. That was in character. You could get some oil and really make mm, it. Yeah. You stay. Out. My answer to your question was is just. <laughs> cut to cut to. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I will. Is, I will sorry, walk up it. on the wall, <laughs> so that I'm sticking out. Okay. That's like a lot of powerful things. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, the forest cage encompasses too much of the wall space to go sideways, so you'll have to go across the ceiling. Inverted? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Because I was inverted. Bullshit. Okay. You were. You were. Thank you. My contact is maintained. So, the whole time. Yeah. as you climb to the top and you pull. Archon, you tuck your feet up underneath, <laughs> and treat me like your like your dragons. I mean, like your shadow, whatever. <laughs> Paint me like one of your magic <laughs> All right. You like volleyball, bro? Just saying, can we make it out of here? We should play some beach volleyball sometime. Oh I don't know. We got hand wraps. We yeah. got some aviators. I don't know. It'd be cool. It'd be totally cool. Don't you take it. So much happening. Could you both please make athletics checks okay. for me? I'm oh, still raging. Yeah, you've still been raging this whole night. <laughs> <laughs> like the most intense spotter right now. This is an athletic check? Yes. <laughs> 22. 25. Step by step, you carry the heavy armored red scale dragonborn across the threshold of the chamber. <laughs> And you release him, <laughs> and both safely come to the opposite side of the laboratory. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Made it. Yeah, yeah, good job. Yes. Is it hot in here? Oh. <laughs> oh, no problem. All right. What happened to you guys? You're too, man. Okay. Okay. Great. 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 Yeah. Did you guys see that? <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> Continue up the stairs? Yes. Yes. So I know roughly how far Vecna is, right? So yeah. I should be able to tell. As we're getting closer. As we're getting closer, like roughly what, how much distance, halfway up the tower, yeah. three quarters, et cetera. Uh, you guys are, based on the how far you've climbed, you're about halfway up the tower. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I would like to do one thing before we leave the room. I would just like to take something, set it on fire, and just toss it on those books over there. Oh, that's dark. Mm. Nice. Uh, okay. Are Pike and I holding on? We're holding on our freedom of movement, right? And we decided until we get up. Until we get higher. How long did okay. it take us to get to this point? I'd say about a little over 10 minutes or so okay, of so just continuous knows? climbing. Right. Who knows so what well, is like above us? It could be a slower for the upper half. Fire stays in where it is. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't rise, move, it doesn't go doesn't up. Move up. <laughs> We're fine. We'll just stay on the books and then and go it's, out. I like it. The, 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 there's nothing else to catch fire in here. It would be nice. Okay. Is there anything else to catch fire that would travel upwards towards us as we're climbing it's a, stone a towering room. It's stone chambers. Full of chemicals. Just that. Okay. It'll be noxious when we brief. So you take. Is big. I take I take a torch. I actually I have one last white stone seal. That's that's a flash powdered. Wrap it, light it, and just toss it on the on the counter. Okay. It clatters and the torch burns and the powder. That'll do. All right. 
So walk away. You guys continue up away. the next set of spiral stairs, climbing higher and higher up in Tropis. You can see every now and then one of the various vein-like cracks of energy that's holding the tower together, and you can glance out and see very obscured just movement in the distance. But it's too uh, fractured by the uh, too much diffraction. Um, continuing upward, you come to a second or another floor, about four feet or four minutes of climbing next. Mm -hmm. This next half chamber, you see dozens of sets of chains and manacles affixed to the walls where tortured corpses are currently dangling from them, left in pieces, the scent is terrible, decay is strong. I cast traps? Divine Sense. Divine Sense? Under. No under. Okay. Do we see traps. the traps in this room? Um, do you want to make an investigation? Sure. I suck at traps. 18. Okay. No traps in this chamber. Mm, do we recognize any of the corpses? Make a perception check. Oh, no. no. I had to do no, it. No, Natural no, 20. No, no. All right. oh, no. I get to know you, the rest yeah. of you don't um, get to know. Most of the corpses around here have been mutilated to the point where it's hard to even recognize. This, you, this was essentially a torture chamber. Sure. This was a gathering inf information, this was a point-making chamber, um, but the ones you do see around here, most, nothing catches your eye. One does seem familiar. You look and see, and it, it, it's been a while, but you remember the face of a scale bearer Desona, who traveled across the Osmit Sea with you oh, yeah. oh. aboard a skyship. Oh, oh no. Glancing around, the bodies appear to have been cleaned of any useful items. This is mainly just a for utility and fun chamber. Ooh. Any uh, weapons or items besides the chains and manacles on the floor? Clean? The room is clean. How far above us is Vecna? Uh, about 120 feet. We should cast it now. We should do all of our casting. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Now I invoke the blessing now? of the Dawn Father. Mm. Okay. Call it out. I'm waiting for Pike. Let's do it. Okay. So. Doing a round of what spells to who? Freedom of movement to Scanlan one, myself, Bax. So only three freedoms of movement. That's Keyleth. all she has, right? From Keyleth. That's all I've Pike got. From Keyleth. Keyleth. From Keyleth, right. And then Pike. Pike, freedom of movement on Vex, Grog, and Pike. Okay. I'm putting the wings out now. Yes. The raven wings emerge. Pike, so you're doing Death Ward? Oh yeah, she I'm did it on Death Scanlan. Ward. On Scanlan? Fifth level, okay. since I only have. Okay, so fifth slot's taken. Scanlan will invoke the blessing of the Knowing Mistress. Dude. And you watch as the, the forehead space, where once you had seen the briefly visible uh, third eye of Ayun, now emblazoned like a lantern light, this bright purple eye, and in that moment, you watch as Scanlan's pupils just turn to silver. Whoa. Are you still you? I can't see anything, everything's silver. <laughs> oh god, I'm blind. I'm just kidding, I can see fine. I charge, I charge diplomacy up. Okay. And I will invoke the blessing of the Everlight. And with that, you watch as this bright light emerges from the back of Pike's shoulders as a familiar but much more vibrant and strong set of divine golden wings not made of energy, but visibly beautiful gold-feathered wings expand from her back, and your feet lift off the ground, and <laughs> as the voice of Serenway whispers into your ear, I'm with you. Okay, thank you. I banned Trinket out. <laughs> if you want to polymorph him. Now's the time. Uh, polymorph only lasts, is it an hour or 10 minutes? I gotta learn this. Uh, polymorph, I think, is an hour with concentration. Uh, 
Constitution. Could be wrong, but I think it is. Um, All right. Also, do note this is you still have another series of staircases yes. that are pretty tight. Okay, so okay, okay. We should just go up. Boy. We should keep going up. Also, I'm going to just say this now in advance, okay. and it might not be possible, but if we get to a door, I'm thinking ahead of time. If we think we're about to step out, I want to cast bless on the three half elves right okay. before going out. That might not be possible, but it's in my head to do it. Okay. Good. To keep in mind. Uh, All right. We should we should send Delilah in first. Yeah, sure. Heck yeah. I'm into that. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Scanlan 2 is going to dump a third level spell into the Tome of Isolation. Okay. To reveal the hidden text. Is it only revealed to Scanlan 2, or is it revealed to everyone? Let me see the item again. Uh, oh. Oh. D4 to every attack roll. And the text save. remains for an hour. For a minute, so. Yeah. What is it called? You're blessed. If it if it happens. Hashtag I, blessed. Ha- hashtag blessed. A D4 added uh, rolled for every attack. Actually, roll no. Or I mean, save. D4. Once attack. the text is revealed, technically anybody with any sort of uh, penchant for arcane knowledge could attempt it, but you have the best chance. So okay. we don't need to do that. No, no, I do need to to reveal the text. It's hidden otherwise. Yeah, correct. Right? Yeah. But, it, but the text is revealed for an hour. Okay. okay. So if in theory you were to fall in the book, it would be bound different. I got it. Di- okay. it. Stop reading. Yep. It's more <laughs> difficult, but it's possible. Ball round. What? 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 I have a book that I need that to read. Shit? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be fine. That's, that's how we, oh, it's and possible, I'll, but well, yeah. it's kind of what his face was. No, no. It's because he was the chosen of Ayun that he can read without issue, but the text itself is still very arcane in nature. Mm-hmm. So. It lives. Like He's the only one that can finish like the, a Kia instruction. the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. okay. And then Kia turns to, to Fax and just, <coughs> whatever happens, it, lest it be trite. Stay with us and casts guidance for the next minute, which gives you a 1d4 on ability checks. So. Like right before we go out, you mean? Yeah, before you move. Okay. Just for the start of it, it might go so ability checks. You guys begin to bolt. climb up the next staircase? Yeah. All right. You begin to spiral up the next length of it. You get about 80 or so feet up before we, and are you leading this charge visibly, or who's? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Actually, <laughs> Delilah is. Well, sure. Delilah. Sure. You're saying Delilah ahead of you? Well, well. Is that the plan? When we get up to the top. Okay. Oh, as, as you're cursing around uh, stress, stress, the edge, stress. the stairs stop into what appears to be another chamber, the chamber that leveled off. Okay. Up, so like we're seeing the edge of steps. Yeah, the edge, to the top? The edge of steps. Up All right, I'm into stealthing. Into okay, make a stealth check. Grab, give me another longsword for Zombie Vander. It's the last one I have. Thanks. Got it. Are we past without a trace right now? Yeah. 44. 44? Yeah. Okay. So you stealth up around the edge, and you see now, where was once there was divided into two chambers, it now seems that the chambers have converged once more onto a, a single room. It's not very big, and the tower's been slowly tapering the higher up you, you uh, go. The room is fairly empty. You see a few vases in the corners and some basic, basic ancient decor. Um, standing not noticing you're there, you see three figures in full uh, dark armor, similar to who you fought in the Ziggurat, um, or uh, one who was guarding the tunnel that led up into Tharam So they don't look like the big kahuna, they look like no. the underlings. The underlings. You see them in the same like kind of dark horned armor. There's one that's humanoid size and one that looked to be like halfling size. Okay. Or two of them with halfling size flanking. Uh, from my hidden position, I want to see if I see any traps in the room. Okay, make an investigation check from immediate entry. Uh, well, I'm not entering. I want to do it from my peaky spot. I mean, from the immediate entry from right. what you can oh, see. You it. can't investigate like from across the room. So there's so there's that is 23. Uh, they're not facing away, but they don't seem to acknowledge his presence yet. They don't see him. Rule 44 stealth. Yeah, 23 for the investigation. Okay, uh, you don't see any traps in the immediate vicinity of the okay. room. So what I'm going to do is slowly back down to the party, Okay. relate what I just saw. Them. What do we do? What are we going to do? Just standard undead? What kind of. No, they're no, like they're, in. They're, they're death knights. Death knight dudes. Do they count as oh, undead? God. They're not death knights. The death knight is what they're you fought. They're dudes in armor. They're yeah. dudes in armor. They're lackeys. 
Are they are they killed or undead? Hmm? The humans are undead. Can't tell. They're fully armored. How far up the stairs? Uh, they're about maybe. You guys, where you are right now, they're yeah. about thirty feet around the way, and then ten feet into the chamber. I'll, feet I'll, I'll divine sense, which is up to sixty feet. Are they fiend celestial or undead? Nope. So it looks like what they're humans. They're probably humans. Well, is it difficult for you to use that silence weapon of yours? Once I use it, I've got ten minutes. Of ten minutes of silence. silence. And I was curious that if I get close enough to Vecna, he can't talk. So do you want to? Oh, what do you so want to do? To save that. Save that. I was hoping to save that because yeah. okay. that's that might be a thing where we can keep him from casting mm-hmm. vocal spell. Mm-hmm. Can we just try and stealth around guy? them and not fight them at all? It's a small yeah. room. Shame, you and I can cut probably to handle cut two, but that leaves a third. Uh, the the you see one staircase, one final staircase that winds around the corner. Um, you actually, uh, well, you haven't seen it yet, so. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, there's no chance you could I'm, just remove the stone from the middle of the floor and. Well, have that's kind of what I was looking for. Can I like keel, take a peek and see what's up? Is there uh, any other stone? Make a stealth check. Yeah. Plus ten. Do you still have that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. That's real good. That's real good. Uh, thirty-nine. Whoa. Thirty-nine. Okay. Yeah. So as you curl around the edge, you glance inside. You recognize this chamber when you scried in here previously. <laughs> oh. Mm. Um, this was the chamber that was being left by the Death Knight as he ascended to the top of the tower. Okay. So okay. this is the last stop. <sighs> okay. So. Can you open up the floor underneath it? Can, does it look like the floor opens? It doesn't look like it's a trap door or anything. It's stone. It's stone. Can you open up the floor and let it fall? Could. Oh! Could Stubby and I each target one and you yank one into the ground simultaneously? Can you do that right now? We can't really, I mean. I could hold one. It's a single stair. Let's have you you two two take some out and we'll we'll send the big guys in and just. And it's all worked stone. Are it's all out? worked stone. It's all okay. very so it carved. I can so hold it's a one of them. Rough. Just paralyze one of them. I can also it's not hold use our magic unless we have to. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, if we don't magic. think that the room or the setup of this will fuck us up, the big boys can go in and probably yeah. mop up after or take your sneak right. attack. We'll we can follow your attacks. Okay. Because we don't yeah. want to create a stir. We might. So it's better that we do two quietly and yeah. just leave one left. Can you throw your fucking mana's bowl at the third? It's better against weaker opponents. Okay. The thing is, it's a, it's a thin staircase. It's like not three people won't be able to attack at once. I'm I'll trigger. That. I'll have ten Get minutes of silence. Two at most to be able to strike at once. So yeah. you and me go up, sneak attack, fall back, and let somebody run in and just take it out. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. So who's who's going in to? You have the taller one in the center, and then the two smaller ones flying. We'll take the smaller ones. I would send in the dragonborn because they're you've all got alive. Him. All right. Yeah. 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 Get ready to fight once right we take direction. the two out. Do you out. think okay. you can handle this? <laughs> what, no. Tell me again the three that are in the center. There's one like human sized one in the center, yeah. and then there's two kind of halfling sized sure ones. Don't fuck this up. Jock's mocking that okay. does not get hazed. So just. <laughs> I'll come. You're gonna yeah. Be... Stop bullying Jock's mocking you now. Love, <laughs> dude. <laughs> so, Archon, yes. we're going to handle the small, no and right after you'll handle the tall. Yeah. Sounds good to me. All right. So we sneak up. Is it auto crit if it's a sneak attack? If they're surprised. If they're surprised, yeah. Okay. Are they surprised? I stealth. You have to stealth, right? I have to stealth. You have to stealth. Okay. Uh, 29. Okay. <laughs> so. I will go split second before my sister. Okay. So both of you guys curl up to the edge and you see the three of them. What are you doing? We're attacking the two small ones. Throwing on the right, throwing okay. on the left. So you're attacking the one on the right, you're attacking the one on the left. Yeah. Go ahead and roll your attacks. All right. Is it auto crit? It's an auto crit. Yes. If it hits, it's an auto crit? Or if, if it it's hits, it's an auto crit. Okay. But you have an advantage on the attack, because they don't know you're there. Oh, that's good. 30 on the first hit. That hits. They all hit. Four. That's good. Yeah. Oh my god, I rolled four sixes! Yeah! <laughs> oh, shit. You did. And a five. And the light up one. I'm doing okay. And the light up one. 29 times two. 29 times two is what? 
<laughs> Both of you guys Kill got it. big damage. What is it, 29 times 2? Yeah. That's uh, 58. 58 plus 8, so 64. 66. 66. Ooh, 80. 66. And one for 80 for the first. 80. <laughs> and that's the first attack. Okay. All right, so second attack that's for each of you. Uh, 19. That hits. Uh, 12 for my second. Does not hit. Uh, no, they all hit. All oh, my sorry, attacks hit. Sorry, they 12 were, damage for the 12 second. damage for the second. Okay, my... what's the damage in the second one? Uh, You're waiting. Eight, 18 on the second. <laughs> okay, both of the armored ones inside just just like take the hit and crumple fall back, like helmet falling off. And I immediately move to the side so he can run through. All right. So the guy turns around and I'm... All right, so they're still in the center of the chamber. They're about 15 oh. feet from the top of the stairs. So if the two of you are going to rush in, you just, have, you can just, 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 just you. Just Archon. Okay, Archon, you rush in mm-hmm. um, towards the one that's in the center. Go for it. Unleash everything. Okay. Well, this. <laughs> I, I, well, I don't think I should rage everything. here. I only get two. I only get two rages. I don't want like to end. Stuck. Yeah. <laughs> everything. I was like so busy watching the action. Like, so, God fucking. Switch your roll. No. Right, no! Right, right as he runs out, Scanlan says, "Don't fuck this up." <laughs> <laughs> so as they both, they both drop, you rush up. The, the one standing in the middle in the armor doesn't react to your to your arrival. Just stands there staring at you as you rush forward and swing. You hit the armor, but you hit the edge of the blade and it just cleaves off, doing no impact. Does he move? That's attack one. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on, baby. <gasps> that's uh. No, that's okay. 21. That's oh, okay. That's 21 okay. hits. Okay. Bad from this angle. It did. It did. No, no, no. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, no. Back okay, moment. no, I see it now, but like, holy cow. <laughs> He's not undead. He's not undead. He's not undead. Nope. No. Huh. Okay. Then, well, this is going to be weird then. Okay. Oh, it's not bad. Uh, that's 28. 28. All right. You hack, and the axe slides into the front of the breastplate, and as you pull back, you see a gout of blood. The figure just takes it, not reacting. Oh, just stands there. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't kill all of them. What? Why? All right, kill. so I would what the like you doing? to bonus action. Okay. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just. Why isn't he Does it have moving? a helmet? A helmet? Yeah. Can you pop well, the, the helmet The one standing has a helmet, and the two that fell, their helmets kind of tumbled off as they impacted uh, and fell back. What do they look like up there? Yeah, oh no, the, the, that the helmets came Oh no, were they our friends? <gasps> what friends? Pull the helmet off. Oh, come pull the helmet off. I pull the helmet off. Okay. You pull the helmet off, and you watch a immediate bit of black, kind of fuzzy uh, facial hair tips from underneath, and as you reveal, you see Darkened skin and long black hair, um, with a bit of kind of colored makeup under no. the eyes, no. and what looks to be a metal band across the no. forehead, no. looking ahead, unmoving, unflinching, just locked in place, staring past you. It's Gilmore. Uh-huh. Is it Gilmore? We all. You glance up and look, and it's Gilmore <gasps> standing in the middle of the room. Wait, don't run in. We killed the two. No, we don't know anything no. yet. I, I command Zombie Delilah and Zombie Vander to go to the heads and take the helmets off the two heads on the ground. Yeah. Okay, the helmets are partially off, so it's easy enough to slip the, hel- the uh, helms off. Um, to the left, it was less of a halfling and more of just a, a younger girl. Um, it was conjamed armor, a little taller than the other. You can see brown hair with a shock of white in it, currently laying back, unmoving, hmm. bleeding out. The other one looks to be uh, specifically gnomish, uh, short brown hair, yep. um, and is just eyes wide on the ground. Is yep. that my girl? Is that my baby girl? Is that my baby girl? I think it's. I think it's an illusion. An illusion? I'm hoping. I don't know. I feel like this us? can't be real. Dead this is my baby girl. Somebody's can I? Can, go I in can I? I'm going in. I am too. Okay. Me too. Can I stand over one of the bodies and just do like a medicine a perception check. check, a medicine check? Make a medicine check. Ooh. No, no, there's no way. A woman? 23. 23? A child. Right. They're not illusions, and they are both. 
I cut the head off of the one in the middle. Of the no! Top. No! Don't do it! Don't do it! I'll go down. Don't. Don't. I stand in front of him Please and I don't. say, "No! Please don't!" They still have them, kind of the the bands. Each one of them has this like strange brass band across the head. Take the band, band off! Take the band the off his head. I, I take my mace and I slowly try to take one of the bands off. Okay, you take it off the head of one of the the two dead. Yeah, but not touching it, but just like scraping it off. Okay, it slides off. Does anything happen? No. Can off we, of one of the dead we, ones? Yeah. Can we cast Revivify? On Don't it? No. do that. Let's. Yeah, take do that. Is it, who Revivify is it? Who are is they? For sure, it is Kaylee and dead. Cassandra. It's Kaylee and Cassandra. I'm not looking. Revivify them. Take the bands off and revivify we them. Need revivify. We need. What is the band before we do anything? Take it off of Gilmore. Take it off He's of Gilmore. He's still alive. Let's no, make him. She took it off. No, of no, 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 no. She took it off is one of them. Gilmore, oh. is, does Gilmore look like he's still alive? He's wounded, but he's still alive. Okay, and he's staring so I'll do the same thing. Okay, you pull the band Gilmore. off, and the eyes kind of flicker for a second. Oh. <sighs> oh my God. What happened? Where am I? Oh my God. <sighs> All right, pull the axe back. Oh my God. <laughs> what happened? He just killed. Okay, okay. Save her. Right now. I put my hand up over his mouth. <laughs> okay. Take them. It's okay, it's okay. He looks down. Um, I, 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 stand um, over, I, I stand over Kaylee and I cast Revivify. Okay. Okay. You see like the, the eyes kind of low back and the stillness of the body, and as you finish touching the body and the warmth of burst, <sighs> the breath comes back to her and she starts coughing. <coughs> and sits up and kind of leans over, grasping. I go and grab her and just hold her. I stand over Cassandra and I cast Revivify. Okay. Oh. <sighs> These are big spells, aren't they? As you reach yeah, out yeah, and touch her huge. chest. The uh, brief moment of stillness leads as her eyes slowly blink back. And begins breathing again. This is some seven shit right here. That is so fucked up. Sean, right. can you get it, get them out of here? Um, I yes, I. How did you get here? Is it really you? Do you remember anything, Sean? Anything that can help us? Um, I, I was in my workshop and it was a flash of light and a doorway opened and I, it just pulled me through. And I take can I roll an the, insight check and see if it? Seems make an insight check, yeah. I'm taking him by the cheeks. You're in a you're in a very bad place. You're in a very bad place and time, and you need to get out of here. You need to take these women and go down these stairs and hide. Twenty one. Twenty one. I mean, it's Sean Gilmore. Fucking hell. You are in no shape to do anything right now. You need to take these two uh, women and hide downstairs. Do you hear? Where are? Where are we? What? Where, where, what's going? There's no time to explain. We're in the Tower of Entropis. We're on the back of a Titan, just trying to get them as far away from here as possible. Just Vasselheim down. is an hour away. So oh, you can fight with us. No. I. No, no, no. His head is not not where it needs to be. Wait. So, if we're in. We're near Vasselheim. Yes. What's in Tropis? No, no, no. We're in Thornfalla. It's been teleported to the back of a Titan, which is a giant mountain, it's which is much. what we're on. It's it's from the Shadowfell. You just have to get away. We're we'll away. Deep below Vecna. He's right above us. Go then away. What are you going to do? We're going to fight him, and you're going to go away. In, in thirty minutes, we could all be dead. But if we have any chance. You three need to not be here. You need to go down now. Oh, I can, I can, I. I can get the three of us away. I can teleport us. It's, it's maximum of what I can do. Um, Jamansa Ord is here. The Slayer's take has probably been vastly compromised. Just get out of woods. here and get to the woods. Scanlan's right. I, I, I could probably take us back to Amon. Like, why even stay then near us? Go. go. I'll do that. Um, you're going to fight this 
Vecna. We are. I, I hate to even ask, but is there anything you can do <laughs> still? Um, no, it's, yeah, if you make it quick. Yeah, we have to ask. Why, 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 why? I'd almost rather him stay in fight. I know, I want him to stay in fight. No, 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 no. he's, he's got to get them away. Yeah, but if you can. They're at one hit point each. Yeah, but to be fair, they're going to be dead in an hour anyway. If you can make this quick. I can leave you with some intense adrenaline, my friend. Me? Yes. I'm a fan of adrenaline. He looks around at the blood on the floor and the two barely living women to the side and says, if the one you're going to fight is the one that did this to me and them, leave a scar in my name if you don't mind. And when it's done, maybe carve a unicorn. With pleasure. Then hurry. At which point you begin to hear heavy footsteps coming up the stairs behind you, heavy footfalls. <laughs> and a number of other footsteps heading up the tower behind you. He goes and grabs the bodies close, glances around you, up the stairway, you see emerging behind you the Death Knight that joined you in the fight against Beckon. I grab Kaylee by the face Wait, and I just say to her, goodbye. The Goodbye. one that met you at the top of the tower last time you fought Vecna emerges and looks across and begins to go for the blade. I go straight for him. You go straight for him? For the Death Knight? Yeah. Straight for him. Okay, at which point uh, Gilmore reaches out to you and casts haste on you. Haste? Yes. Yes. Oh! Oh, but it lasts a minute, hurry. I, I hate to say this, but Archon, do you have him? Get upstairs, I'll hold him off. Oh, let's go, let's go. Um, Gilmore Come grabs on. both bless, of the girls. Bless, bless, Sean. Oh. It was an honor knowing you. It'll be an honor knowing you all still. At which point he grabs both of the girls and with a flash of light, the three of them vanish. The Death Knight at which point has turned to reach out and goes to cast something as Archon rushes up and just <laughs> slams the axe across his arm, knocking it aside. You can see now behind them, other cultists and other things begin to head up down the stairs, but they're currently being choked at this point where the Death Knight's being held at the stairway where Archon's just stepping there. We run through the other door. Zombies are grabbing his, I'm grabbing for his arms. All right. Oh, shit. As Archon holds off, you guys Archon, head up towards the top of the tower, and that's what we're going to pick up next. Run! No! What did you do? You <laughs> killed Kevin Spacey from Seven Motherfucker. What did you do? Oh, wow. When you revealed to a god how close and dangerous you were last game, there were going to be repercussions. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and he knows how to get to you. He knows your secrets. So. This is a great game! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. This is the most fun I've ever had! Oh. <laughs> oh. Shit. So. Oh. Love you guys. Oh, fuck. We'll pick this up next week for what will most likely be the final battle. Ashley, can you pipe in? I don't know yet. I don't know the schedule yet. Ashley! If any of you are watching or from Blind Spot, <laughs> find a way to not have her work Thursday <laughs> evening, please. <laughs> Thursday. All right. Oh, my God. oh wow. And that went a little long <laughs> than we anticipated, but we're at the end of the campaign. And oh my God. Dude, thank you. Joe, so Matt. Joe. What a turn at the table. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> We're here. Get used to it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. Thank you so much for having me. Man, Dude, Corey, thank you for coming. Like, so glad to have you. I've been so, so looking good. forward to this. So much fun. I've been You're so looking forward to this. You're welcome anytime. So oh, yeah, yeah, man. Fuck. Yeah, man. She ain't so bad. Yeah. yeah right? Well. Well, <laughs> she's pretty fucking bad. Yeah. <laughs> she is, yeah. But when your goals are aligned, it can be useful. Yeah. Fuck. All right. Wow. Well, guys, thank you for joining us for this extended episode, leading into the final fray of the campaign. Oh man. <laughs> I'm so excited for next week.
Oh, that was probably the last thing you had. First, he's got surprises and then he's got that shit. I said everything's done. That's it. Yeah, super easy. I was like, you got surprises and then you've got that shit. Dude. Oh, shit. You could tell something was up. Something was up. Oh, yeah. Yes. There's no way to know what it was. I was feeling weird about it. I was going to cut his head off. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he was some kind of sentinel and he was seeing through his eyes or whatever. I was about to try his head off. Thank God you rolled the one. I know. Oh. That, that was the luckiest Whoa. one. Yep. That, that was a time. lucky oh fucking God. one, dude. Next, next campaign. I mean, we <laughs> don't attack all three anybody. Dead. We talk to everybody. <laughs> Every NPC, I know. I feel like every punishment. punishment. That was that was a fucked up tactic, that is what it was. Fucked up. fucked up. You managed in the space of a week to make the choke out seem like child's play. Yeah, oh man, crazy. you are you are a monster. Oh, I have Vecna my, is a monster, guys. A monster. I don't know. I'm so proud. I'm my undead stressful. brother that I'm dragging around with me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is fucking so fucked up. <laughs> Oh it's really oh fucked up. Oh my oh god. Oh yeah. Well, thank you guys. Hope you had a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll see you guys next oh. week. Have a wonderful night, and it's a Thursday yet. Congrats, sir. Oh. T-shirt winners.